है द लोज एक सेकेंड है द लोज है द लोज कैसे हो द लोज वॉट इज दब्स वॉट इज दब्स हाउस यूज ड्यूड कैसे हो ऐसा लग रहा है कि अभी जस्ट थोड़ी देर पहले एक वॉच पार्टी खत्म हुई थी बीस बार उठी जाना जरूरी था नींद का क्या सीन क्या सीन कुछ सीन नहीं ना लो नींद उड़ाओ स्ट्रीम कराओ आ, मैं तो अभी सैन वाला स्ट्रीम देख कर आया भाई खतरनाक मैच था यार वन ऑफ द बेस्टेस्ट मैच सो फार बेस्टेस्ट आ गया बिना सोए मेरा स्ट्रीमर आ गया <laughs> कलरफुल कच्चा एक्सक्यूज मी थोड़ा सा ले गरीब आंखों से नींद दिख रही है पॉसिबल ही नहीं भाई अच्छा खासा टू एंड हाफ आवर्स हो के मस्त ना क्या है नींद आंखों में दिखना इम्पॉसिबल आए भाई हेलो भाई क्या गर्मी है भाई हैवी गर्मी चलो चालू हो रही है यार मेरे को दाढ़ी करना है दाढ़ी गॉड ब्लेस यू चाय कमेंट पिया पिया चाय पी लिया हेलो बंस हेलो क्लीन से आगे लोग बाय पैसिफिक का स्टेज तो है बाय स्टेज तो है कौन जीतेगा जटा जीतेगा लग रहा है यार जटा जीतेगा बहुत मारा है जटा ने अपने को आज जटा जीते का लग रहा क्या जे मारेगा वो भी लग रही है आज ये मारेगा लग रहा है म्यूजिक तो है Let's hope the play is too. <laughs> That's a great point, <laughs> Kilios. Hamlo, Hamlo. I certainly hope the play definitely. But Yarex versus Genji ka aaj ten versus left Oppa. If it isn't coordinated, Team Secret probably going to have their way. Bear in mind, it was a one thirty kickoffs, uh, and they didn't win like. Aaj kya? Aaj jo? Yeah, they only won one round, right? It was in the first half. They struggled so much on that defense. Yeah, I, I, I'm. Gonna have my eyes trained on this one. I mean, Zeta Division. I, they were in a pretty Guru tough spot. Guru versus MBR or Energy versus Pure. Bye. Pretty proficient performances on both of their worst matches. All right. Well, we're gonna see what the outcome is. We're gonna go over to our casters who are gonna bring us through the first map: Icebox, William, and Paper Thin. That book. आप तो बोले थे सेंट टूजर है वेलकम एवरीवन वी आर गेटिंग रेडी फॉर आवर फर्स्ट मैच ऑफ कोर्स टू बेस्ट ऑफ थ्रीज लाइंड अप फॉर अस टुडे अगेन बट एज वी जस्ट सॉ ऑन स्टेज इट्स गोइंग टू बी टीम सीक्रेट वर्सेस ए डिवीजन विलियम हियर विद पेपर थिन एंड वी आर रियली ऑलरेडी गेटिंग इनटू दैट जोन वेयर एवरी टीम स्टार्ट्स टू डेस्परेटली नीड अ विन टू कंटिन्यू देयर होप टू मेक द प्लेऑफ्स या स्पेशली ऑन दैट अल्फा साइड ऑफ द ब्रैकेट एवरीबॉडी अदर देन जेन जी क्या दिखाओ ब्रैकेट दिखाओ सो फार इट्स प्रीटी क्रेजी टू थिंक दैट वे बट I mean definitely team secret can get it done here today. Yes, I picked Zeta but man, I'm not bracket galat tha. At all these teams are generally pretty neck and neck with each other historically. Uh like the desk was talking about there aren't huge roster changes on either side. It's, you know, obviously Zeta's gone uh towards the younger end of sure. things with their two, two new players, but I definitely think that team secret can bounce back here today. Uh maybe even up their overall Sala, series right now. Ek gana sunne ke mail aa gaya. Two Yeah, today going to be the day. Yeah, three to two. I mean, like you said, Zeta, that baby, this is Zeta. the sixth time already, right? In the past two Zeta years. And now, if the secret table, the win at the rivalry continue. But if Zeta Division wins now, I think they start to try to just inch ahead, right? Especially with the roster changes, saying that we're working in a newer direction, uh, a direction where we're trying to grow even further. And something that's interesting now coming into the Ice Box. Yes, it didn't look great for Zeta at kickoff, 
but both teams came in with new compositions coming into stage one, right? They've kind of tweaked a little bit. Language, language, the language, the language, to become the new meta in this map. Uh, I'm curious to see who's going to be a little more locked in in their overall play. Yeah, I mean, so far, when Zeta's innovated, they've generally looked pretty good. Okay, at least, you know, matches and what the two normal one meta is, they often have a fair amount of success. Thinking Alla back to Lotus, you know, last year, Depp on the Neon, potentially. Bang we may have seen that again. Uh, could be something to watch out for, but yeah, neither team changing up from what we saw before. Mera. But certainly, Zeta's going to have a lot of new ideas coming through. I was a little... Yeah, um, copy paste. Add me, add me. With some of the coordination with the initiators for Zeta Division sure. the last time, uh, they went against Team Secret on this map. It didn't feel like there uh, was big, quite please that cohesion. Give me more they insights really like to get before, over the line, rather than actually. Really good Icebox team like Team yeah, Secret. One of their favorite maps. You know, obviously well, they were very sad to see it leave the map pool last By year. Now that it's back, yeah, their success hasn't been the best, but they had to go up against you know the likes of Gen G and others. Income under two hundred rupees a day. Uh, the, the line on this map yeah. and Neen it has, you know, it's, it's has down, down, it's really close man. usually against some of the best teams in our league. I mean, even in their previous match last week, right, it was against our Q, and quite frankly, if it wasn't for that East by Champion in overtime, Secret may as well have pulled it across finish line, of course, very neck and neck. Both those teams showing a little bit of improvement here on Icebox as well in a grueling best of three. But I love that you called that out, because this comment is just for Zeta Division. We're seeing it pop up more and more. Obviously, it's been Genji, one of the first teams to really pop popularize it but then sentinels also using it uh, throughout Master and will be previous uh, and we've seen the coordination of the double blast between the two teams not quite at that level possible. for Zeta Division but they're going to need it they want to go up the likes against Team Secret especially Jinx with Jesse Dash doing on that Silva trying to make sure that he's able to delay the enemy team uh, with the lineups that he has with the intel that they're able to gather and it's also one of the things that makes Team so difficult to go up against ka. especially on this oh, map is that Jesse has a phenomenal feel uh, for the the movements hey, on this band, he's a great job uh, bouncing off of the information Sala, from his Sentinel and like NDT, to be as well as his own utility, uh, to kind of keep his opponents in check, the, keep them under control, and maybe even stall or prevent uh, some of those util combos from ever really Bye, carrying any fruit. So, really curious how this one's going to all start out. Zeta on the attack yeah, side, yeah, 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 on the defender side, looking like it could be a relatively pacey A hit. We'll see, but Jesse's ready with a recon. See if it gets clear. They're going to dodge the zero points. Oh, and I love the early zero point command for Zeta Division as well. Covers Nest and Pipes. Now, Jeremy just trying to pretend that he's still over on Pipes, but he can't Aye. land the first shot. And he will go down to a calm and collected Mark death. And already, Team Secret trying Excuse to gain me. an advantage in the pistol. They purposely sent both of their Intel Util to Q buy extra time that. for Q. Jeremy to get snug right in the nest. But yeah. that won't be happening. And now, a 5v4 in favor of Zeta. It's well read by Zeta here. Hirodon really on point already. Some of his yeah, usage. Like we'll see if that Please is going to compare continue. Any player to ask Secret, though, the most consistent still holding player. this 2-2 two -two split Excuse as Zeta me? keeping their sound cues quiet so they're not revealing their presence Mere just yet. That zero point one 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 to the bank away. Away. And now you've got the full-on force. The last four of Team Secret making their way through some rotations here. Some long lurks from three of their players. It's going to be tough for Zeta yeah. if they don't account for this. And this is up to Jesse Vash to try to draw as much time as possible. The turret will get taken out, but only one classic herd in the flank. So Zeta says it doesn't matter how many there are. We want to push through. And Laz is going to blend the numbers just a bit. Continue that numbers advantage four to three. But here are on Depp sitting at 40 HP 40. right about. Here on one will get a kill to try to stabilize. Jesse Vash, NDG split apart. It really comes down to NDG currently on belt. Jesse's just trying to draw a little bit more aggro to his side. NDG finds a kill, but Depp will also trade on the other side of the site. That is and looking now, strong. NDG, the rookie, he's been a little quiet in the early games, both in kickoff and stage Score one. Predictions but Team Secret ka. needs him to come alive uh, right off the bat of the pistol. Already spotted. Trying to isolate the 1v1. And a quick one off of the tap. Tries to get the second, oh, but won't land that. Shot is zero crouch for it. Yeah, this is good stuff already from Zeta. Uh, already good util usage, that counter very util strong. usage uh, on the opening to make sure that they didn't get fooled by the positioning of Jeremy and then the turret placement in the back. Like like a ball so ball 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 that's kind of a, a stock standard if you know your team's going A on the pistol round. You set that turret in the back and it gives you so much info. Laz with the Sheriff, yeah, maybe not as clean as uh, you're used to seeing, but that's a tough angle to shoot from and still finding some good damage. Depp picking up a couple hey. kills as well. Hey. And that's pretty huge, but 
I, I just want to point out, Will, you and I were seeing this before. Yes. I kind of hope we get Let's to see Depp in the yeah. That's all. I'm just going to hint at that. Yeah, hopefully we catch it at least once during this map here, because Depp clearly very energized <laughs> coming into this match. The best talked about it a little bit. He's got some extra motivation, but now Team Seeker going to be a fast Ooh. push out, Bob and Envy's going to land the clean headshot right at the tip against Laz. That lets say to Division no. They want to go for a fast hit on to B. They know the strong side is on A, but do they choose to continue push? Yes, they want to make sure. Is there an anchor by Snowman? Be there, five but man. planted for main, and Huron will have to make the call the as quickly. As soon as he gets a spot here, it's going to be the first swing. Ready for more. Pop flash out. It's going to be a deep one just to push Huron back. Team Secret. They're approaching, and they're not stopping. It's just a swarm of five members with their pistols. Huron takes a big hit, but Sugar Zero's there in long range with the crossfire. Huron spotted, but he's now just drawing aggro as more members are coming in from Snowman. Sugar Zero still good for a third. Huron finally gets one, and Sugar Zero gets the fourth as Borkum tries to hold the defuse. Yeah, it's pretty good stuff here from Zeta. Leaving that controller on the other side of the map, even though he dies, gets you plenty of info. Get to the All same right, plan. A uh, good crossfire set up there. Hiro not overstaying his welcome. There's something Team Secret was doing there a little bit that I thought was really kind of cute and maybe would go unnoticed. They had the sheriff right in Envy's hands, and Jesse Vash was baiting that initial shot outside of green to set up for that sheriff peak from Envy to see if they could get some value out of that sheriff in that round. Didn't come to fruition, but little things like that uh, can really kind of snowball around, kind of change the destiny for a team. It didn't pan out, but I, I like what I'm seeing for both teams so far. And now Team Secret will just go for that fast war. We've been seeing that a lot, especially with the KO. You're able to kind of push buddy, them back buddy, with buddy, the early buddy. util. Dink laga, paise to dink laga. In that, they can really buy a lot of time here on A, and Team Secret with their first buy Shock round. Not all full armor, so they really want to make sure they can snowball forward from here on out. Not going to make any fast pushes, but Zeta, it's the bonus, just gonna go for a set execute. We've got two Bulldogs, two Rifles, Phantom and Vandal on top of that. And a Stinger in the hands by of Hero Run, who's already ticked down very low by the Shock Darts. So much damage done to Zeta on the way in though. They have a lot of weak players. Yeah. Jeremy oh, under a lot of pressure, but the Fragments are really starting to push them out, and Jeremy yeah. eventually is going to get routed out by yeah, Death. Stay Good for two man. already in the sight. Spike planted by Wingman. And yeah, suddenly the retake's not man. looking so happy for Team Secret. You've still got four members yet to battle before we are even concerned about any potential post plan, we can see on the meter map it's just the one nano swarm. NDG being held at screens. Look at this, the swing back around by the double of Zeta. And then you're on there for the swing out as well for the trade. He can't quite get the shot onto Porkum. 2v2. Zeta Division, if they can go up on a 3 0 start, it would mean absolutely everything, but they can't quite line up the shot. He's crashed oh, right under it. It's a tough one to hit with the Toxic screen, and the defuse will eventually go to Team Secret. Now, Laz, they're expecting the player to be. Diffusing from up inside the nest, but yeah. in fact they were on the box underneath it, able to defuse but from that lower angle. Yeah. So uh, didn't really get the shots that he wanted to connect. A great spray down there for Borkum oh, broke this round open for him, gets the third as well, and that's going to allow Jeremy to hold that defuse. Sico, uh, Sico, a wall idea in the post plant there for Zeta, uh, but able to find just a small weakness is Team Secret. But that early prediction, setup, Zeta wins. You know, yeah, they do some damage on the way in, but Zeta is able to once again just bully their way through. You can see the depth. Already kind of feeling it. Has the blade storm popped into this round. Recon dart is eventually going to be left unaccounted for. I think most of Zeta was able to sneak by all of this. Going to grab the orb, give a little bit of City noise away. NDG and the others so switching over. Just getting ready for some contact here. Hello, so dash on the as well. So Dev, he's going to have his work cut oh, up. Or work. Never mind. Borg of Jeff to make sure that he's still yeah. down. And before that, so Team Secret, they don't decide to greet it any further. Really utilizing the high low and the poison cloud as well. And then we do have the blade storm getting eliminated by the null command. In the perfect timing on that. Wants to make sure that they can continue the round win streak here once they've already got a hold. So Laz, his lurk has to make some impact. Next look match, look at the map. I mean, they're prepared for anything and everything. They're prepared for a lurk in A. They're prepared for a deep lurk in mid as well. And say that unless they get some contact kills, well, this map ain't opening up. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of what we're seeing so far from Team Secret is they're very content to mostly stay planted until they really have full confirmation. Oh. Bash there, my good God, with the uh, Guardian really to it. take down Laz through the window. Yeah, yeah sexy that, right? Storm ready again as the no command is wore off, left. but. Still looking for an opportunity to d distract. One Jeremy remaining. has the read on it anyway. Takes Five, Sugar Zero down. down. Good for one. Yeah, Depp's on a separate mission right now. Just going to rack up some things on the scoreboard here for himself while he has the chance. 
And of no course, no reason to stop yet. Uh, Couldn't quite get the refresh there as Envy. Another Guardian kill as well for Team Secret. So clean with these long range shots from Secret. And as you mentioned, I mean, understanding the entire team, knowing that they're that meant to play backwards. So as long as they cover all the potential flanks, they should be safe holding one angle be each. Yeah, exactly. And this is a little bit ahead of schedule there for those two initiators. Man, That's what I'm worried about with blind Zeta, jata is the util nice. doesn't really connect and nice Orkham kind of has an easy double. And Depp, for whatever reason, didn't feel comfortable to go flying in there yet. Maybe was still worried about the null command Boy. getting popped while he was in the air or something. Not exactly sure, but and it, regardless, it's very well held by Team Secret. Doing all the right things at the right time, using that ultimate to really make sure that Depp can't get any value out of that blade storm. Yeah, he still gets a couple kills in the late round when it kind of is over. And a little bit more pressure towards the belt area as you see Zeta's fanning out, trying to make a little bit more space here for Depp. That's a fast dash in, and while the flashes aren't quite there to cover yet, Jeremy still gets out alive. Yeah, yeah. Not going to take the fight just yet. They don't want to get swarmed by the potential stingers, and Envy will get a long range shot yeah. right across the screens. Two members still on the site as well for Team Secret. Envy still holding on the screens with a triple kill as well. Laz, all of a sudden, the last one alive. I'm sure he's picked up a rifle. But there's no, also the plan that he has to worry about. Up. He hears it. He catches Sporkham a little late on the swing. Still 85 HP. Three more members to battle through for Laz. He's got more 50 seconds. Out there. Everything go. that he has to work for here. He's going to go for the long way around. Now, Team Secret, how good is your internal timer? Because Laz is even going to go further through Kitchen, trying to make sure that he catches all possible angles from an advantageous sight line. Yeah, someone's going to have to piece this together from Team Secret. I mean, so like, they're waiting for screens, that's for sure. We see NDG peeking for it, left. but they're not quite ready for the entire wraparound. The real question is, is Laz, are you going to have time for this? Because you're ah. going to have to go. If you go this far, if you want to commit, you got to go through heaven, and you're not going to have the time. 18 seconds on the Do clock. It's got to be the snappiest 3K we've seen. He spots one, he spots oh. two, but he can't even finish the first kill. Unfortunate for Laz as Team Secret leads 3-2. to two. Yeah, had to go for the fast play. Even got the dink on the NDG, but it was through the wall, so didn't get the kill. A decent oh, attempt from Laz there. Uh, but again, Team Secret right? starting to get there. So plan and plan starting to understand the pace of the Zeta attack already. So you're going to need to see a little bit of change uh, from these rookies. Yuran and Hiroron are really going to have to... Kind of step it up. They've been walking ah, in and bre. getting eliminated pretty quickly, so their utility isn't finding value yet. I wouldn't mind to see an early timeout from Zeta. Bhai, ghoom, ghoom ke right Map now, it doesn't secret. still feel secret like they've yeah. got all of these pieces working together like we're used to seeing when you run the KO. See, clear the corner, but somebody, again, really pushing space, except for the, obviously, the pit on the other side of the map, but once again, Team Secret, happy to play back. Player up on screens. They are on the side Gekko behind the box. Jesse watching mid. Se. All their bases covered. Let's see if Zeta can finally get through past the pistol in the eco. Yeah, I mean, it seems to also perhaps be a little bit out of conditioning coming in from the yeah, pistol. Right, right? The early round Team Secret does push out with the Uto, oh, yeah. as we see a lot of teams do with double initiator. So now Zeta always waiting to clear for that. The real question is, do they wait for the refreshes? Now the pop flash, but he's not hit by a Jeremy. He's way on to top of screens, and the flash goes a little bit too deep into the site. Doesn't quite clear it. Now Zeta will still get the plant, but they're already down in numbers. And like you mentioned, Paper Thin, a crucial round here for Zeta to secure. So they'll even commit the lockdown. Comes in after the plant, so they're going to buy maximum next time, time possible. But you've got a Mosh and a snake bite left for the post plant. So choosing to still fight close quarters on the site, they don't want to risk it to just two pieces of utility. The Thrash trying to buy time once again, just using to delay, trying to swing out for the hero one. Thins the number for sound, but he gets traded by Jesse Bash as Team Secret starts to pile in. The high-low double swing is good on both sides of the site, mind you. And Euron just trying to spray down as he sees the second beat, but it's just too many members. Yeah, it's really good discipline. Team Secret very happy now to play retake, to just sit back, let some of this util come at them, dodge it, find the picks where they can. If none of that happens, okay, fine, they get the plant. And then, you know, Jesse Bash gets a really interesting recon dart here to the left of the box, uh, just where Depp got killed, actually, at land. Nobody from Zeta gets revealed, but you kind of get a ton of information that nobody's on the bottom floor. So Jesse, even though one of the players gets traded early by Hudon up on top of the nest there. He's able to swing in right away, take that kill, and then they can start pushing a lot of space. So, giving up a lot of ground, and Team Secret really taking advantage of it. And now would there's have, that timeout. Would have, would have Perhaps one or two rounds late, later than a lot of us might have hoped for, but still going to come out 
well enough for the Zeta division to have a room to recover. Six rounds look up, look at the first half right now. Right Zeta right. will continue the attack. There is no right something again wrong. that they'll have to continue working on is, do they even have the read that Team Secret hasn't really been pushing out? Do they really use Util to gain value? Because like you said, Beaver, then sure, they're throwing the Dizzy out, right? They're clearing the close quarters, but they're not really working other parts of the map or anything else off of that. They're not getting a reaction out Double of Team Secret. There's just not really any net positive for Zeta division. Yeah, I agree with you. I really think they need to just spread the map a little bit. See if they can bait out some of that early util. You know, it's like, at the very least, Team Secret is happy to get any contact on A, and then Jesse Vash lets loose with some of the shock darts and stuff. So bait a little bit of that util out. You know, keep Laz on maybe the A side, have him try to work that. Not this round because it's an eco, but in the future when they have rifles again. Uh, see if you can really spread the defenses of Team Secret, make them earn it. See if you can isolate some 1v1s, rely on that you know, young that talent you've got. Death and Laz, incredible Super players uh, in their own right as well, of course. So see if you can find some opportunities uh, to let your mechanics shine as well. Zeta this time playing things a little slower, of course, on a bit of a... Mixed by as well, just the Guardian for your end, but everyone else has Sheriffs for the long last, range fights last beer. on top of it. See how that comes into play for Zeta Division. Slow clears, drawing out Util across the entire map. Secret once again, content to just hold their default positions. They've not really filled any part of the sites, even on just barely holding on to pipes, ready for the exit <laughs> by Jeremy. And now it's the Odin, ready for the spray down. Knows that they might just try to force for a plant here. Here's Wingman going across, and there's the ping. He actually gets Wingman, but he won't be able to get the kills as Dizzy comes flying through over the toxic screen. Zeta Division still trying to hold on to the site, but they don't have too much room to work with, as we do see Kitchen entirely filled up by Team Secret. Zeta will have to slow things down. Uh, Depp took advantage of that timing to sneak underneath the bridge. Team Secret might be somewhat aware somebody's in that vicinity. Some shots at Borkum, trying to keep them busy, trying to get the rest of the team over here as Team Secret seeing if they can sneak around the back with Jeremy. Plant trying to come down here. Trigger Zero may finally get the opportunity, but get it on, wiped out. Yeah, the turret gets spotted as well. Zeta, they were trying to kind of bait out some peace to try to get early picks with the Sheriffs and the Guardian, but not going to happen for the time being. Adept still not spotted just yet, but he gets surrounded on the drop. He's too distracted by the members in Snowman, and now suddenly Team Secret is all over the site. Laz, the last one remaining with the Sheriff. He's good for one tap. Can he get two? Oh, gets two. Two remaining. One v two. Oh, Can't NP. continue on to the third. And Team Secret will lead five to two. Oh, Can't give Laz those one v ones no. like that. Not with the Sheriff in his hand. Yeah, that was getting a That's little, that was one of those moments where it. when you're really calling the play and you start to feel like, oh, this might actually happen. Like, I didn't think it would. <laughs> uh, uh, they like the the they the to make it as well. I'm right there with you. I really felt like for a moment there. <laughs> I was like, oh boy, here we go. Yeah, I tend to reveal his presence by... there a little bit too early, I feel. Maybe could have held on some of those shots, but... 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 It, it, it was an eco round. I mean, it's yeah, not a big it, deal. It's one of those huh? things where also they spent so much time trying to bait out the early peaks. They don't get it, and eventually they lose control of yellow as well, which means they're not really able to peek in. Snowman, so it all falls apart. But like you said, it's an eco. They get the spike plant. They're at least trying to put some pressure across the map. We'll see if they are able to use that condition, because this time, Secret, putting some early pressure with that zero point gets to or plants Jeremy in that default pipe position. <laughs> certainly Zeta is going to have to try to address <laughs> some of these high positions that Jeremy's been taking a but cause them strong. some difficulty, and then the follow-up with Envy off of that, you know, they'll, they'll kind of bait and switch you <laughs> very, very nicely. And that was something we saw even in their eco round where it didn't really matter because of the gun differential, but something that <laughs> is very, very strong oh, at the ping the there. The Odin is so brutal last. Boy, literally yeah. one HP from the Odin. Oh yeah, my god, I mean, that yeah. wall saves last life in this round. And I mean, what a setup yeah. with the drone through the window as well. A nice play there, Zeta. Double, triple peek here on the yellow. Borg doesn't really have a good exit. He's going to need coverage here from Envy. But he is going to be stuck. He has to fight his way out, and he's good for one as Envy goes in for the trade. But Zeta will trade back. Now, two to three, still in favor of Team Secret. Tell him, I've been so happy to see you guys. Trying to just delay the plan that allows Team Secret to approach onto the site. And DG, his job just to delay. He gets taken out by Huron. As Depp now creeps up. Team Secret, Spike Planet. We see the flash drive coming in. There's a pop flash. And it's going to be Depp who finds both with a quick double triple kill. And Zeta put back one on the board. Well, there you go. When you kind of simplify things a little bit here for Zeta, they're able to really work off of each other very nicely. Great read by Hirodon that somebody could be coming through Nest to fake the plant and wait him out. 
That's that's so smart from a young player to have the patience to do that and then oh, setting up depth for that flash drive. Very snappy stuff from Depp, who I'm, I'm, I'm super curious if we're going to see what classic he has in his hand, but <laughs> next could be a send he's hiding it. He's but but until I mean, he breaks that record, he's hiding it. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I also, I also uh, said that if Depp can put up at least 30 kills on one map, I'll buy the, the Zeta bundle today. So there you go. He's, he's already well on his way. He's got 10 kills in eight rounds. And he's trying his best. He's doing, I mean, he, you know. He, he tweeted about it, that, that, yeah. you know, he noticed it. Yeah, he definitely noticed it. I mean, you could tell it's something that he kind of kept in his back pocket as a pride point, right? Yeah. And, and Who no, wouldn't? Asbestos <laughs> right? just comes swinging out. <laughs> I certainly would. I'd yeah, be very I proud mean, of that. That was a crazy match for sure where he set up that original record, but now thwarted by one of the best back in America's. But for now, record hey, a read it. Like really wants Mar 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 to take the lead back, and they'll do their best, slowly creeping across it. Jesse Vash is aware of it. He gets one. He's ready for the second peak oh, as well. Ding. Gets a ding. Yeah. yeah. But he will go down eventually. Jeremy also taking a big hit as well. So Zeta Division overall still in a pretty advantageous spot here in round nine. Yeah, you do like a little bit of the change here for Team Secret. Oh, yeah. Trying to gamble a little bit that B move. might be where Zeta continues to put pressure since they had success there. Let Jesse sneak up. Jesse's still doing a fair amount of damage, so you're not super uh, displeased with that at all by Team Secret. Up on top, oh, it goes down. Plant going to try to be put in all this until once again goes into the net. Team Secret Both is just waiting for this retake. Oh, Deb, he dashes out, but he still lands on top of the box here as well, so he's going to be the first line of defense. Yeah, Olympus, as you mentioned, a lot of the util already spent, but right now, no way to break the, the lockdown because of it. And Deb, I don't know if he's going to get out just in time. Not quite, it seems. Several members being detained. So Zeta, they've got to be able to fight up close. They just have to hide. And oh, you're at needs to be able to cover. Laz gets the cover on that first one. Half did already done on the get. defuse. Thrash jumping in to try to delay further. They know it's not stuck just yet, but Depp is going to get surprised by drop down by Jeremy. A 2v2 now in the enemy. P at Team Secret. Continue to push through. They get the Viper down. It's down to 1v1. Pick goes Aye. down, but the snake might still just Aye. remaining Aye. at the edge of that spike. Woo! It's so close, Baap even when Zeta is able to win these rounds, it comes down to the last close player. Just hai. barely able to get in there. I, I mean, I love the attempt here from Team Secret, coming at you from so many different angles, that lockdown, ta, forcing Sugar Zero to have to gamble to stay in the pit to make sure hai. it stays up while he's so detained. And you know, Zeta quick to have to oh, respond, loves, they even have the thrash team. available to try to cover. Weren't able to find much value with it. Team Secret able to dodge some of that, but just barely. Sugar Zero got a snake fight that. off before he was dead. And Yordan, probably a little bit luckily, not having to be the one to clean up that final kill. Really scrappy round there. Oh, Jeremy just walking up with the Sheriff. Steals Laz's gun. Thief in the night. They the dashes out as well. So now safe with that upgrade. So that's three rifles to work with for Team Secret. And now as Ada Division, they've been slowed down. And I mean, sure, you had some better yeah, coordination this time, yeah. right? The double flash is on to green to try to put some pressure yeah, on it. Know, but because of this yeah. early kill, they have to regroup. Be wants yeah. to make sure that they're not giving any extra rifles over to Team Secret while their opponents are on this half by. So now at the minute mark, they're still reworking across the entire map, retaking control of green. Now just holding on to the lobby of A as well. Yeah. Team Secret, yeah. happy to hold back. Yeah, the real question for me is, Sugar Zero, can he find any value out of this lurk? Mm -hmm. If they can even get the plant down. Uh, I mean, right now, there's so much of Team Secret there, but now they're kind of second-guessing it. There's been no change in direction yet. Sugar Zero oh, sneaking in. Jeremy. Jeremy's position, though, it's kind of a hard one to read. He's being tucked right in until the opponents think it's entirely clear, and actually just the backup left. call as well, right? They got the zero point on the jet. They don't see any further information on B. You've still got the Nano Swarm and Alarm Bot. Team Secret has a read on this, given the time, 20 seconds left. Jeremy's still tucked in. He just has to buy time at this point. And Zeta, they have no idea that they are about to enter the jaws okay. of their opponents. 10 seconds left on the clock. Yuran will get the clear, but he's there to delay. Wingman goes down. Seven seconds now. Time is ticking away. Six seconds trying to hold on to the defuse. A clean kill from Envy. But still, Zeta, they will get the plant down. A couple members low. Envy down to five HP. Dev has to get the most out of these blaze swords. Going to tuck back out of the tux of screens. He doesn't get the shot. As he lands, Envy is still rampaging through. With well, a sliver of health. And he's trying to push through for yet another. Huron put onto the oh, same bad. aspect, and there's the snake Ka bite. Round Team Secret takes back another round. Yep, uh, this is just again, Team Secret playing back. J just comfortable to give up space, 
find this early pick, grab a gun, and back out. I mean, that's huge for them to get wins like that. Envy with some really crisp shots with that Guardian as well, helping things out. But you can see that just there's no preparedness after the plant goes down because Zeta has to spend so much of their utility to get onto the site that they're not really in a place to counter the utility, to slow down these retakes. They're trying to rely on skill alone, and sure, that can get you over the line sometimes, but against this Team Secret team, Five man beat us. Round sort of yeah, yeah, I mean, call it. It's one of those things where maybe you change the timing on your util, but even then, the perhaps bhi. just already knowing the positions you want to hold, right? The angles you want to hold, and again, the value on the lurk. We haven't really seen that as we see Jeremy being pushed away with the operator in hand. They haven't quite checked the weapon, but they do know that someone was posted up on yellow. Now catching sight on that jump deep. There's zero point. Jeremy going to dash out, but he's going to still hold the run. angle. Wants them to greet for a peek here as he slowly Pura inches back no, towards his teammates. He's got a long way to go if he goes through here, so he's going to have to regroup towards Snowball, uh, Snowman. As you see NB just providing Wallop a little bit of assistance with that zero point. on the A site, so Team Secret, Big no reason presta. for any overreaction just yet. Good job here so far by Zeta, avoiding any damage from this operator of Jeremy. Some damage traded across the sides there, Spike trying to planted. delay the plant, but it is going to get down. Yeah, and now look at them, position. they're just hiding. They're like, nope, nope, we know it's out there. Yeah, we don't want to deal go. with it. Yeah, this time though, do they uh, yeah, yeah, have any backup plan? If they get shoved even further into green, it looks like Sugar Zero going to be the insurance as he starts his flank all the round through mid. We'll see if Team Secret has a timing on it. Jesse Vash is ready for it. This crash comes out. Team Secret knows they have to wait it out. Quite a few members, it seems, getting hit. At least one for sure. Huron will answer. Make sure to capitalize on that. Zeta knows time is on their side. Sugar Zero still holding. They know they haven't even done half yet. The tap begins, and Sugar Zero now starting to flank back in, but it's still being held all the way up to the half. Envy eventually goes down. Sugar Zero not even needing to show himself. As Zeta trying to make this into a 6-6 half. This is a lot better from Zeta. Not doing a util dump this time, just kind of taking their time, baiting out some shots, that zero point gets a ton of value, forcing the player out, able to use that lockdown to buy some extra space. Really, really clean stuff overall. And then everybody, deep post plants this time, with a little bit of backup, a little bit of crossfire, to cover things, the fragment held to the late position as well. So yes, a round of applause from the fans in Tokyo. Well deserved, as Zeta could potentially tie this half up. I mean, if they do, it'd be great recovery, considering how it all started. Only able to pick up that pistol and the anti-eco. Now Jeremy best in the posted best post, but this time go. under huh? pipes. A bit of a trickier position, but of course, high risk, high reward, as he's exposed by multiple angles. And Zeta, slow creeping up, one piece at a time with the dizzy. And now the, the buys were a little weak here for Team Secret, but Envy with a rifle in hand, quick to scoot over off that contact with that no command as well. Trying to shut this down. There you go. It is going to come through in response to that zero point to see if they can slow this up at all. Or Zeta. Oh, Zeta, they're pushing through, but the Stinger is good in close quarters. NDG is holding on right under the site for the time being. So while the spike goes down, it's a 5v4 advantage for Team Secret. They still have their own null command as well. So this can be used for the retake. Smart of NDG to try to clear the close corners. They never quite got control of that just yet. Sugar Zero holding on a long range angle. And that's the swing around close range by NDG. NB eventually goes down. No time for the res. Jeremy's waiting for the lurk. They might not have seen it before, but they know oh about it now. And NDG gets the spray down running gun Hello. with the stinger. Team Secret will not let go of the yeah, lead as he yeah. finishes the half 7-5. Goodness gracious, that stinger insane there for NDG. Absolutely just fearless with it. Some great util there. Getting the read on the positioning of the player underneath uh, the rope position. They just dump a bunch at him, make him super uncomfortable where he doesn't know where to look. And that starts breaking things open and they just force their way through. It's, it's a pretty good half for Zeta in a way because it's, you know, they took more rounds than one. <laughs> so, yeah, there's, there's improvement. The bar is pretty low, yes. Yeah, <laughs> but there, it still feels like Team Secret mostly Secret had a really Zeta. good read on them. Now map changing eh? sides of the map. Secret you Zeta. know, is Zeta going to be able to flip the script onto Secret? But certainly Secret very keen to work this map. Jesse Vash sending all kinds of utility all over the place to keep his opponents guessing. It's a great job of tracking the movements as well. And, that's something certainly that is going to have to find a way to contest with because so far this hasn't gone great on this map. Carlisle really sifting through all the notes that they have prepared here trying to figure out what can they switch up on this half. 
going over to that defending side. Now, when they were playing against Global Esports, this was another case where, yeah, they knew kind of the first steps on how to use this composition. They started to get pushed and pulled around the map, and also, GE did a great job of avoiding depth a lot of those times, you know, making that operator obsolete uh, for a lot of the rounds that it was bought. So, yeah, we'll see if Team Secret has the same is game sense here going oh, yeah. into the attacking half. Yeah, I mean, the good news here for Zeta is, is Depp is having a pretty good half. The great thing about the so He's definitely feeling it. Felt like maybe pressing a little bit at times, but that's okay. Tikara. Overall, you know, you need him fired up and in the game. Uh, most I'm likely, you're going to get over the, the line. Bit See a little bit more from Euron on that Gecko in yeah, terms America's of utility usage as well. Only one assist in the book. So, uh, again, some of these board initiator board plays just bearing okay. fruit for Zeta Division. This time around, you know, but the zero point to check pipes is going to confirm Yoran's position. So he is going to have to back off. He's going to go here. It's a 2 1 2 split with Laz covering mid. There's potentially some contact with Borkum, but Borkum using that poison cloud to scooch on back. And for now, Team Secret continuing to really take their time, maybe just going to be waiting potentially for this recon dart to come back up for Jesse before they make their move. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a safe play, right? See if they push out. If not, you know you should have the numbers advantage, especially on the pistol here. Against a team like Zeta Division, they're going to hold on to the default. They don't want to overreact just yet. So we see the drone scouting early for any long-range peaks, trying to clear the close quarters of pipes. He'll be able to catch a bare glimpse of it, but the counter is zero point once again. So now Team Secret still at right. the 45 second mark. They start to push into yeah. green over by the B side, trying to put some pressure on, trying to weaken most of the map. The zero point on A to keep those members tied up as they've already approached all the way up to the entrance of B. Do they know about Sugar Zero holding this angle? Surely they check it, but there's a slight oh. gap in the toxic screen. He oh, finds buddy, one, buddy. he'll get a tag, but it's just a classic. Not gonna get the instant kill as Sugar Zero backs off. And now backup will be arriving. Turret set up in kitchen against the lurk. Zeta Division, they want to put their full focus on the retake against the site. Yes, in the no question, you this is kind of a counter for it to be. It looks like Laz is going to be aware. Yeah, he's watching that mid position. Meanwhile, Snowman slowly getting taken over. Two members on yellow. They just want to hold on. The Cloudburst will buy time. The zero point tags, only a couple members. The double flash has come in. It's quite clean as Laz gets one. Depth a second as well. And now Zeta start to swarm through, but they will get blasted and slowed down. Envy at long range can't let the shot and now a 3v1 for him doing everything he can, but with 37 hp he be able to help wingman finish that defuse this is pretty interesting from Zeta because there's that kind of idea that you see from team secret all the time where there's utility thrown one way and they're actually going the other it's not actually jesse's utility it's envy's with the zero point while they're going over towards b to get the plant down that angle to find that little extra damage through that toxic screen, again. definitely a nice pickup for Sugar Zero there. Sure. Helped soften up the forces mm. of Team Secret and also I Laz, know. head on a swivel the whole time. I was watching right his here. icon on the minimap and constantly right his triangle was spinning back and forth between the two positions, back towards the site, doing a great job making sure that Envy's Lurk was accounted for. So that shows me great awareness, great preparation so far for Zeta. Now, over on that eco, Team Secret just going to creep up in a little death ball over by A. They should be spotted by the zero point. That's a signal for them. All five members tagged up. Now Zeta, they kind of have to make a position. Do we see him fight this or not? It's a bit of a greedy position, but Hero Run will swing out. There's Sugar Zero as well. A slight mismatch initially on whether they wanted to stay and fight, but eventually they'll clean it up. Only one person dropping in that round. Yeah, it felt like there was just that that moment where Laz might have felt like he could send this send his players to the other side. You know what I mean? He's like, okay, I'm good here. I'll hold it by myself. Oh crap! Wait, get over here. They're all here. Yeah. Because <laughs> he's he's like, oh, I just gotta stand and fight it. Now they do come and trade very nicely. Uh, just a maybe a, a step later. Jinx than you would have liked, but I think that's totally fine. You only lose one player. Uh, you're very happy to do that. Like the like the I don't think its presence was ever revealed. Like the uh, stream. Mostly full armors, though, in in anticipation of it. Certainly, we've seen it from a lot of the players in Pacific and across the world. Balls of uh, so now the full armor blind kind of has to be the go-to if you can afford it uh, coming into your bonus or anti-bonus, I guess. Yeah, Team Secret. See if it pays off Buddy. dividends. It's going to be the first shot from Dev. Buddy. It lands clean on Jeremy down to 54 HP. Dev not taking a hit at all. So now Team Secret wary of this and Jeremy in danger on the entry of getting picked off by that long-range weapon. Zeta off that contact, though. Still three members holding strong onto A. Now wary with that Zeta poison cloud Excuse going up me? and down over in mid. Laz, he's keeping his eye on a potential lurk. 
Yeah, so much pressure on Depp up front with this outlaw. He's going to have to be so darn quick. And you got the other two players, Hirodot and Yuan, trying to back him up with some of their utility potentially. Want to give a shout out to Yuan, uh, a great dizzy there. They got a couple assists right, in the pistol round as well. Uh, he kind of pointed out that he was having a little trouble finding some value. Well, he quickly made up for that. Zero point comes in. Here we go. All right, he's going to go right behind the dash. Wants to find the second member. Not going to land the kill. Riyad, not the shot either. Jeremy peeking through the tongue screen. That puts him so low. Huron just has to get a scratch to pick up that kill. And now with only 25 seconds, if he's still able to clear the corner with the fragment, it's so much util being dumped by Team Secret. Onto the side, three members left alive, but Borkum down to 10 HP. NDG will make things a little bit more stable for the round. And Laz just trying to get one more kill. Will not find it as Secret takes back the lead. Yeah, nice recovery here. Secret takes a ton of damage. But Yuran, again, getting another player with this great combo of Molly's from Team Secret stuck in a bad position where he's just nowhere to left to go but to try to stand in some Molly's and hope he can survive a little bit longer, maybe get a pick for that snake bite. Bite damage to damage to There's good teamwork to flood onto the site. Patience paying off. Depp trying to again get a little aggressive with that outlaw doesn't really find too much value. Dedication to her. Love you. Love you too. Full rifle buy. So Bulldog has to be forced out for Team Secret. They're getting aggressive. Yeah, they're pushing up real far out, right below pipes as well. The high low setup. Uran's got his back. Data trying to throw a curveball here and an early drone. They realize that this is the timing for it. Checking close with the zero point, it gets taken out, and now Team Secret be very, very, very well no, aware. No, 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 that allows their other members on the side of B to start to regain some space. Whether they rotate or not, Team Secret wanting to make sure they take advantage of this timing where they're able to expand their influence across the entire map of Icebox. Getting close, right up next to a one-way. <laughs> this is so, so scary because this is actually all a setup of being on the other side of the map, and this is what Secret loves to do, but it's not going to be that initiator utility. So let's see if Zeta can kind of get the read out. out. Yeah, it's a quick setup, but Laz gets taken out. Sugar Zero doesn't even find a target just yet. He knows they have to escape, but he's not going to find the target at all at the end of the day. And with the Toxic Screen coming oh, up, that. Team Secret I mean, gets us got free. They know the A side has to be weak. It's going to be a creep in, just waiting for a potential anchor. Yuran not able to land the shot either. And Depp, he's distracted on the screen side. It's a quick zoom around from all the way deep in the site by Jeremy. Uh, yeah, I mean, it just feels like Zeta couldn't get a read hey, onto this at all. Uh, they had a bit huh? of info, but they weren't able to piece the puzzles together, come up with a full picture. Instead, it was just kind of a partial, a, a, a partial image, and Dap just had no idea. I mean, he got completely blindsided there. Yeah, I mean, I think he expected them to try to clear the site all the way through screens, as we see Jeremy eventually getting cleared, but the spike still ticking down. You've still got a potential lurk coming in from Jesse Aye. Bash, who's got the Hunter's Fury from long range. NDG is going to clear it. Now, do they know the half is done? Ah, okay. We'll have to wait and see if it even gets to that as Euron eventually falls. It's just Euron left. He clears, and there's the wingman, and that should be enough with the Hunter's Fury just eliminating little bro. Euron not able to return to the spike for the second half. Antita, Well. Maybe you gotta keep the gun. Oh, just oh my okay. God. All right. Yeah, okay, you get Woo. the 4K. That I guess that's the consolation <laughs> prize there for Zeta. Uh, but really good hai. stuff on the post. Are you on Layers with the Mollies. Layers so with the Hunter Fury. Sakta, it gets them to the win, but the economy ka. now shaky. Four teams. Two of us shaky, shaky. What are they doing? Struggling to figure out how to do the math to get this buy to go, and maybe there's a timeout. Yeah, Potentially I, I lurking. have to imagine. Be a regular one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, listen. We've we escaped our own nightmares for the time being. So far. Yeah. T1's been... not playing today. <laughs> yeah, you know, exactly. all the stars have aligned <laughs> for a smooth start. Here on day two of week two. Um, Achilles um, isn't um, casting. Um, That's true. Um, you know, um, everything um, has worked out. What um, a great day of BCG. I agree. It's been a good day for most of us. But Zeta Division. You know, obviously, <laughs> the score line not that far off, but you can tell on the players' faces as well that it just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel good. Sure, they scrape by some heroics here and there, a couple good reads, but overall, I mean, we've been calling it on the play. Secret seems to be one step ahead. Yep. And it's just the fragging power of Zeta that's allowing them to continue. Let's see if this timeout corrects that course. Last time in the first half, they call the timeout, and while they don't win immediately afterwards, they're able to get three of the remaining rounds. See if they can pick that yeah, right back up on uh, round 17. I love just the way that Team Secret works this map. I mean, so confident to, you know, show a little bit of info, show a little bit of pressure, back off, and then you don't really move, but you leave it so in the minds of your opponent that they have no idea where you actually went. Now, there's a big 
come out of Util here, expecting some more pressure towards that orb this time. In fact, does not come through. We've already seen it previously from Zeta. Zeta as well. The guns are going to be a little bit weak, so both teams having to scrape together uh, a, what they can from these buys. A lot of sheriffs, and look, we, if we know anything, now with the sheriffs coming back into the meta, teams are certainly capable of doing tremendous damage. Oh, absolutely. On these Econs, man. I mean, a big source of all these Thrift Dudes we've been seeing across the world, quite frankly, as Team Secret also just cutting noise. They're afraid of any sort of trap set up here right around the closed corners. Now, Thrash out the ready for your end. Curious to see if he uses it right away as Zeta. Looks like it's just a flood retake that they're prepared for. They already have Sugar Zero clearing out all the way up to Garage, so they know it still has to be a A hit at some point. And now Team Secret already aware of it. The zero point goes deep. It has a lot of members. They should be aware that a flood is about to fill this site. So Snake Bite early on to heaven while they go for the plant, preventing that early push. The Thrash comes in. The spike does finish. And Jeremy will go high, trying to cover for his teammates. He finds the first target. That's one down. Def now spotted on heaven as well. Jesse Vash getting the double right around the corner. And the entire team of Zeta Division falls as Sugar Zero, all lonely outside of the site, gets spotted by NDG. And Borkum, okay, not gonna swing out and get the kill. Will fall for one, but Sugar Zero just going for the pre fires. It's too many members. Yeah, big premier. And one big big already difference you're seeing between yeah, these two yeah, compositions is April. the Gecko versus the, so the Soul. And the way that Jesse uses this drone, so one of the things that Bullet Zeta Bullet can't do as cleanly is clear the back of the site with their utility and, and have it one available to them in a way that that is useful. So you have to expend those dizzies and those flash drives to clear the back of the site where Jesse can just use a drone, find that safety, and still has a ton of util in the back pocket. He only has to expend a little bit to get the information and of course the recon drone comes up on a cooldown. So he has the ability to keep that information in his mind and Jeremy with a great opener on a depth. They're ready for it, man. They see the util flying in, they know that there was an attempt earlier to try to take an aggressive position by Zeta Division. While this time it's a pop flash all the way from sight from here on, it doesn't quite land in time. And Zeta Division will lose their star duelist when they desperately need another round win. Uran just gets the dink through the floor. They're not able to clean up the kill. Jeremy Singh at 10 HP, but Sugar Zero not able to make the escape either. Shill, he'll get the finish with the snake fight. But Team Zucre now knows that they can just barrel through here run. All alone, not able to land a single shot as Envy will just jiggle for the kill. I mean, they've been noticing that uh, by right around that corner from where Jesse's planning is where a lot of players from Zeta have been mm -hmm. trying to hide themselves. So they're pre-firing that angle every time. And they rightly should. They've got plenty of kills for it. And there's been little Zeta can do about this preparation. They haven't been able to find any comfort. They've tried flood retaking. They've tried getting aggressive at the beginning of the round. Once the rifles come into hand, Plus, there's been very little Nagar success for Zeta. Most of their damage na. for Uske their rounds, for the round pistols in the Ecos. Uh, and we haven't, you know, that means that Zeta not able to pick up an operator a single time. Aega. And now uh, the mission is, so aega for aega. last, can you keep Viper one aega rifle in your hands for the next round? The next Try to have gaya. some form of force Push to prevent karke. That point happening for Team Secret. It's up. But meanwhile, we've got someone from behind. Okay, the alarm bot triggers. They know he's behind yellow, and NDG's actually just going to get the kill. Uh, doesn't quite mind if he drops his own, as he does have 3,600 credits in the bank. Yep. All the economic damage you can do Contracts to Zeta, the better. The better. And they're going to be able to get a few things go rolling here. Ultimates in the bag as well, but starting to feel do or die. For Zeta in this next One round. Hey, go for two. They get it done. Oh, nice rata. job there by Laz. But yeah, I mean, what, what, what do you want? I mean, everything you're trying here as Zeta has been thwarted every step of the way. A guardian, otherwise phantoms and vandals. Yeah, you've got the Viper's pit. Yeah, you've got the Null Command. Yeah, you've got the lockdown. It's just, are you going to be able to get to use them? Yeah. Hey, they're playing way back continue. now, other than on the B side, yeah, expecting yeah, yeah, some yeah. kind of hitter. They're going to have to go for this lockdown. Retake. Let's see what Team Secret has to say in response. Yeah, surely they read. Okay, the site's been emptied up. You've got all these ultimates. It should be a set retake. Team Secret, do you choose to push out or are you content to counter with your own lockdown? Is that going to be enough? Of course, no command as well. If you pop that first. Last doesn't want to miss a beat. So he will activate his own right there and the no command. Zeta Division not giving Secret a chance, but can they capitalize on this timing? 
We do have to make sure for Zeta Division that they are able to push into the site and start to clear out some members. And right now, the lockdown ends. They get the site, but they haven't eliminated any from the side of Team Secret. Secret just holding far back you for these post plants. And there's a lockdown. If you don't stick to that defuse right now, you've got the wingman going for it. Of course, wingman. Sneak Bite not quite able to eliminate Little Bird just yet. And yet again, it's going to be Wingman bringing home another round victory. We see this so often on Icebox. <laughs> I mean, I think there, Team Secret thought they still, even with the lockdown no command combo that prevents Jesse Vash from using the Hunter's Fury to shut down the lockdown, that maybe uh, they can just save it for the wingman, but it never gets really attempted to be used because Zeta's flooding at them, and Jesse has to switch over to a gun just to protect himself. So good recognition here by Zeta, a good change up, good utilization of their ultimates. Now you've still got a Viper's Pit to toy around with, so does Borkum. Hunter's Fury is still available for Jesse. He might Not be setting up a kind of early pick here with the drone, potentially. He loves to do that. He loves to grab some information, throw Hunter's Fury at you, but maybe just once again, going to be saving it for that. Hey, if Wingman is not going to be able to do his job, but look at this. Yeah, Borkum, he reads that it's been fast pushed to the Zeta Division. He gets one. He's ready for a second, but is he ready for a third? Not quite. So a good read from Secret, understanding that Zeta has been tightening the map on the other side, allowing them to set up for these retakes, but they can't quite get the kill yet. Not quite sure. I mean, that's some crazy pinballing there on the snake bite. Unintentionally shrugging it off, so to speak. <laughs> on the side of Jesse Vash. The best body block of his life I right mean, there. holy. <laughs> Allows him to get out scot-free from that side. He's still got Hunter's Fury in his hands, but now with stuff. the damage done on the other side, he can't quite go over to the Lurk in mid. He'll just have to use it from outside of a site. Meanwhile, the Nano Swarms this time getting rid of Little Bro. Not the same mistakes from Team Secret. Zeta do start to push out, though. They know that there's so much to work with, and Jesse Vash will land one onto Laz. He gets some extra damage down, but the pit's still protecting God. it. But they're too low. Envy, yeah, able to get the kills. 12, so, man, good Bokar stuff here he from Team ga. Secret. Working their way onto the site, and even with that Viper's pit expended, even Bola losing na, Borkum 12, early, 8, uh, having their own Bokar Viper's hira. pit to that lurk, and that now push it's out time to end this. Jesse in a great spot once again to get some serious value out of his utility. NDG holding the line as best he can, but really everybody on Zeta was already so beat up. One more shot from any gun is going to clean them up. And it was Short easy Thank for Envy. Bangba, why don't you take new players in place of Anushbhai or Vakle? Call a new player. Setups that TS likes to, likes to do. Relatively no, successful. Zeta's trying to push Zeta them. Is Zeta is trying to do some of the right things. It's just getting shut down. Team Secret having absolutely none of it. You can see how well prepared they are for this map. Or even with Zeta knowing it was coming through. Even though Carlisle talked about before this map that this was something they were expecting, that they had a great read, they still haven't been able to dial up an answer to Team Secret's Icebox. Yeah, still four more rounds to go if they even want to take it over to overtime. Meanwhile, Team Secret wanting to avoid the same fate that they faced against RRQ, barely losing grip of that map and eventually the best of three as well against their, one of their opponents in week one. Now, Secret will hold the Thrash in the hands of Uran available for Zeta Division. Secret, they have I feel like they've been pretty content in the fact that they've eventually always been able to break through a site. Yep. So they'll see for the early rations. This time, though, a very different setup. You've got a couple of those deep nano swarms as well. Last standing on top of the screens, going for that early pickoff. The first nano swarm trying to push them Good back. Speaking. That allows Huron to peek right into the site. And now, with 30 seconds left, Team Secret, they've already Good taken bad. over Good green. Bad. They want Good to make the call. They realize this early nano swarm. Something's not right about it. Jeremy's here just to sell the fake. The jet trying to go for the dash as well. And Zeta has bitten onto the bait. They chop right through it. And Team Secret get a free B site. Viper's pit goes up. Spike will be planted. And Zeta Division will have to battle through the toxins to try to recover this map. Good news is you do have the answer. One Dep of the answers with that thrash. And Dep's so yeah, good. there it is. But Borkum still with the cover. Dev will be able to eliminate one from afar. He has to find the best. Oh, and he's oh, not able to land the shots on to Borkum. He's on for the ace, but Jesse Vash will clean Jeremy up from long right range. And Team Secret will get the 13 to 8 victory in map one of their choice. And Think exactly what you expect run. out of Team Secret. Great preparedness for this map. Plenty of curveballs thrown their way. Their defender side looking clean, looking completely in control. Completely understanding how Zeta 
wants to try to utilize this Gecko KO combo. Cuts it down once again. Better than last time, you can say that for Perseida, but still not nearly enough. It did not really ever feel like they were threatening Team Secret. Well, we'll see if they can pull it back together at map two, but for now, we send it back to the analyst test to break down the actions for Icebox. You play one ranked game in strict ID. Team Secret proves why they are dominant on Icebox once huh? again, winning their first Both map pick of their choice between the three with Zeta Division. Zeta Division, though, was doing a lot Keep better this time around, game. but uh, look, Secret. It's, it's, it's not 13 1. Yeah. <laughs> they, they talked about it on the yeah. cast. The bar was pretty low to be able to do better than what we had seen previously. And there was improvement. Uh, you know, there was some better ideas, but for the most part, I mean, the thing that I was asking to see was NDG off the rip. He absolutely was. Six gear rank gear one. Yeah, so why not? You are ready. My right. Ilo low. Na ya. You guys are just talking. Yeah, that's why. Noob lobby. You guys are just talking. Yesterday, I was such an MVP. You guys are just talking. Noob lobby. Bots. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Six gear rank gear one. Yeah, so why not? You guys are just talking. Yesterday, I was such an MVP. You guys are just talking. Noob lobby. Bots. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Six gear rank gear one. Yeah, so why not? You guys are just talking. Yesterday, I was such an MVP. You guys are just talking. Noob lobby. Bots. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Six gear rank gear one. Yeah, so why not? You guys are just talking. Yesterday, I was such an MVP. You guys the way that they play off of timing. Whenever Zeta tries to go in for the plants, Team Secret it's sometimes you'll have NDG swinging against Sugar Zero. Hacker, hacker, excuse me. Uh, and, and it just catches like them off guard. Chat, like it. Chat, like it. Aren't quite able to find a successful post. So the first scenarios. blood by Team yeah, Secret. I mean, we had a couple moments. I mean, it, start, it felt like it was starting off decently well for them when they got into post plants. Not really just hey, yes, you hey, yes, 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 talking about it. One, one of those B-side yes, executions yes, they had. Everybody just sitting yes, back because they knew that Jeremy had that operator. That Koi, recipes follow me. Kar rahe, yes, by attack for the 100. Directly yeah. at the spike and then have nothing else to defend it with. There were moments like that, but still 50% of your post plants. Not ideal. So still a lot of work job here for Zeta to defend this map. Another thing was also, I think, like around round seven onwards or something. There was a second. Masale, masale, tayar kare. It was clear that they wanted a game plan. Pan me, tel garam kar, masale dale, sabjio aur chawal mila kar, ubale. Garam garam, parose. Of Jesse Vash, because I hide chat. A lot of these recon gaining abilities, like the owl drone from Jesse Vash. By chat, tum log ko usko gali dena chahiye. Ye kya recipe hai, boy? Ha? चावल उबालना है और वेजिटेबल्स काटना है और दोनों को पैन फ्राई करना है ये क्या रेसिपी है गाली दे इसे गाली पेट में कुछ हो जाएगा इसे किया तो getting all that info like you were saying quack um, reading them really well along the way and team secret overall just looked really coordinated yeah, it was a lot more coordination. Uh, you know, a couple of oopsie moments there. Yeah. Envy stepping back into the. Uh, <laughs> into the uh, Love you, Bugs Bunny. Love you too, Love you too, Love you too Mary Jan. And that was also something that was lacking a little bit more in the more recent Team Secret games. Was Envy. I didn't hear it. I mean, it's not 2-0. Who was in that heavy match? Or they have to miss it. Very much not comfortable. Heavy match. He has been the guy that is just. I mean, it's possible that in excitement, you get. दो लाख पाउंड दे पाते समझ रहे हो मिस क्या आपने सॉरी कैसे हो दी बाय लव यू अरे यार आज भी हो रहा है भाई चैट तुम लोग थोड़ा अपना स्टैंडर्ड्स बढ़ाओगे कॉपी पेस्ट का कि दस पंद्रह हजार आएगा पांच लाख आएगा तो ही मैं कॉपी पेस्ट करूंगा थोड़ा स्टैंडर्ड्स बढ़ाओ यार फर्टी फर्टी रुपीस में कर रहे हो स्टैंडर्ड बढ़ाना चाहिए आप यूज हो रहे हो चैट याद रखे it's like an orchestra and Jesse Vash is the conductor. Why? Everyone just plays their part. Even if it's not like some big solo performance, the whole team, everyone just trying to walk out. Now Lotus is the next map. We were a little curious about this. We even discussed it in the chat. The next map. We were a little curious about this. We even discussed it with Carlisle. How are you guys feeling about going to? Can you take me on Immortal 2? Nope. Last chamber, please. I mean, I'm looking for radiance only. On this map, the main thing. 
इमोर्टल थ्री मे बी बट दो इमोर्टल थ्री जो लोग सिंगापुर सर्वर के तू भी चलेगा मतलब मैं भी बिका हूँ रेट है लेकिन जिंक्स करने का तीन हजार दोस्त को गाली देने का सौ रुपया ऐसे सर ये फोर्टी रुपीज में कर रही है लिख भी रही है Uh, so uh, we do have Baba a game. Baba Bosha to you oh, and Pinky D. <laughs> oh yeah, after that. Yep, we have a game, guys. Love and you. It's, it's, uh, Happy New Year to you. It's uh, about it's about Depp. It's about Depp. And oh, we have white how, words this time. Yeah, white words. So it's a little bit different. Right. No, really. Okay. Okay. It's inappropriate. Right. 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 ओ बंदर लव्स यू ये तो तुम करोगे ये तो ये तो फ्री में करोगे तुम वेल द टोटल किल काउंट फॉर डेप ऑन मैप टू बी ऑड और इवन नाउ इफ यू आर डीप इन दिस बाय दैट ऑफ द फॉरे टू दिस क्वेश्चन इट्स यू नो ऑन ट्रेंड अबाउट 76.3 टाइम्स अ परसेंट दैट डेप गेट्स एन ऑड नंबर ऑफ किल्स विल यू विल द टोटल काउंट फॉर डेप ऑन मैप टू बी ऑड और इवन Odd. I have good handwriting for whiteboards. I love that it's your main concern. It's just Odd, odd. Yeah, I I'm, I'm going to stop myself because otherwise yeah, I'm going to write odd. something that I shouldn't write. Um okay, I guess I'm good. This is such a 50-50 thing. Yeah, this is just <laughs> there's no way to predict exactly. You guys ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah let's just go for it. Go for it. Odd. पहले तो वो करना पड़ेगा अब मैं मोड़ा हूँ लेकिन धूप में धूप के वजह से फ्राई भी होगी और एयर फ्राई भी हो जाएगा इजी है इजी आंसर था ये इजी आंसर बस मैं फेवरेट डो इन दिस सिटी योर ओपिनियन मिनी बू एंड बू जिंग एंड फोर सेकंड बात तो है मिनी बू एंड बू भी लव यू बहुत बेस्ट ट्रेमर ऑन यूट्यूब लव यू टू मेरी जान दिल से आप लोगों को हमारा प्यार लव काजू कल्टी बोलता काजू कल्टी उठा स्ट्रीम देख के 
Yeah. You won't go on the field. You uh, shoot them in the head with a headhunter. Yeah. I will put them playing in anyway. Singapore server <laughs> Immortal 2 and Immortal 3 Dance. Jaldi reach. That's uh, what it is. And that could very well be the game plan. Subo no babarjo to uh, yeah. both of you or and love you. Happy new year to you, Mirijan. And, uh... and the other thing is, how are you going to get a rebel control when the last is chamber is on the other <laughs> side on. of it? <laughs> Headhunter. Regardless I mean, of attack or de defense. Zeta does start on defense. Which is, will be interesting to you with that neon play. All right, we are ready to go into Lotus, our map two between these two teams. Let's go over to our casters. Are you excited for this matchup? William and Paper Thin. Bobby Bolier being slice partner. As the desk said, I think everyone on both sides of these teams, they were waiting for this moment, right? Zeta bringing back some fan favorites, some classic trademark picks. Neon, a lot of people forget about Dev Zeon, but it's definitely one of his best agents. And then on the other side, the first time Jesse mentioned Easy Bird will finally, finally accept that Fade is a tier one agent on Lotus. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Good to see changes from both teams. So I, I'm really curious about this Gecko in particular. The rest of them kind of have a good read on it, but, I mean, they were talking about the Rubble Control, and certainly, uh, Laz can do that on his own. Yeah, no doubt about it. <laughs> what I'm expecting to see is some Dizzy Relay Bolt combos. Sure. Things like that could potentially also come into play uh, to try to counter uh, some of that Fade Raise utility that is often used to control that space with so the Snake Bites in there as well Nathan, as a no, follow-up Molly, but Laz with the Headhunter, Sugar Zero with the Paranoia. Yeah, this is a trap set of three and three. Doesn't quite get spotted oh, either. Almost, He's going to back almost, out of it, almost. but little do they know, there is step two and maybe even three to this to Relay Bolt. And of course, we're going to send the Paranoia as well, but NDG Not will yet. get two from long range. Oh. Sugar Zero gets caught in the corner Bye, with the paint shells. Yeah. Snake Bite delays themselves as they're trying to just clear the close quarters, but still it's just too many numbers and Achilles mentioned it, NDG firing off right from the get-go. It is huge for Secret as he once again stands with a triple kill so far in the pistol. Hero run just gonna tuck right behind the pillar, trying to isolate these 1v1s. They're not quite aware of his position, but Jesse Vash had an inkling. Now it's going to be the swarm in from above. It's the double. Jeremy, quick with that one. Secret will be picking up the pistol for the first time this match. Yeah, this is great stuff here from Secret, anticipating the position of last. You know, the prowler doesn't connect. It's the lack of information that the team Secret is really good at using to their advantage. You saw it with the haunt at the end of that round as well, where Jesse still aware of the fact that the haunt landing on the pillar, there could be a player underneath there, has to play a little bit cagey. Not give over that kill to Hiradon at the end. And that is so nicely done. I'm also a little bit curious about when that paranoia was supposed to come out. Do you know what I mean? It didn't it feel like that paranoia was a little late? Something about it. It just felt a little out of sync for sure. But it yeah. is going to be double outlaw. I think that's the real exciting part here for Secret. So even if they drop place? one, they'll have another one oh, for the next. Now, show now Zeta, they do show the all have... Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, see oh, yeah, that's right. Well, well, classic, you're right. Does he still have it in his hand? We're not going to keep our eye on there. Bad. The yeah. observers know that that's actually not the most interesting <laughs> part of this round. I disagree. So we'll keep <laughs> our <laughs> eyes <laughs> on Team Secret. Now, while we have a bit of a here, the observers can please show Rami down. Chat. Uh, we will be seeing... Oh, we can kind of catch it. You can see it. Look at the color of that. Rami Chat. That's not a Zeta Division classic. A little bit of shout out to the new land map kill record holder on Asmos on Leviathan. Depp really making it aware that he knows what's going on. Around the other side, NDG, he gets one. We'll go for the reload after peeking out for a second. And now Zeta just putting pressure in through the revolving door. But overall, I mean, look at the positions. The spike is planted. Oh, nice quick one for NDG on the retreat as well. Seems he's well adjusted Dark. to the stage now. Yeah, you don't mind trying to go a little bit of damage with that headhunter. You'd prefer maybe yeah. not to lose depth. I think you'd preferably like to die to the spike, but frankly, it looks like Zeta Division's gonna go for it. NDG finding tremendous value watching the flanks. Four team secret, Sugar Zero, he's good for one, not gonna be good for another. And that is going to be the follow-up for Team Secret. Great choice here with those outlaws. Really gave a ton of value. Uh, the way that they were able to find those angles, utilize that range off of the C site, really nice. Yeah, curious to see how much that value snowballs for, though, right? Considering it was all classics on the side of Zeta Division, you've still got things like the Neon as well. Now, of course, you know, we were wondering how is Zeta Division going to combat uh, Team Secret here, as NDG looks comfy. Team Heretics, of course, one of the trademark uh, Neon bhai, thank compositions you for in the, the recent days over here on Lotus. Also using the get-go, but the big difference there is they don't use the chamber. They still use the Killjoy for classic control of sights. 
So we'll see how much Theta Division relies on Chamber as we see him holding Seaside alone. This time it's going to the fast lane to divvy up Rubble. Yeah, and like then just early really control of that corner. That's going to be the default take here that on Rubble for Zeta Division with the Neon. Then they plant the Omen. Yeah, that's this is exactly what I was kind of expecting to see. Dizzy into the snake bite, into the into the fast lane to take control of Rubble to set up Sugar Zero on top. See if he can find any value, but gonna have to be backing off with this Prowler there. He's gonna connect onto him. Might be able to catch some Team Secret members off guard. Yeah, it's going to be the paranoia that comes out, though. Mosh trying to hold them behind the toxic screen. Not sure if they quite heard Borkum. Shrouded stepping over onto Rubble. But Zeta, they won't take the risks. They have the buys right now. They've mostly got full armor. They want to make sure that they aren't giving too much of an economic advantage as we see Team Secret now holding patiently. They have the flank watched by the Killjoy Util. They'll carefully clear one corner at a time. And that smoke should give it away that this is a wrap towards Baby Door. And and he needs to be on, on a somebody swivel. Somebody. He's got to be alert oh. for this. Yeah, he thinks it might be a pinch, but there's just too many coming in through Baby Door. He's oh, going bye. for the spray, gets two. Back up there through the smoke. Yuran will just hold the trigger as he gets one more. Only two members left alive for Team Secret. 25 seconds. Envy wants to try to play for the win. Wants to thin the numbers down. He'll find one right around the smoke dissipating. Depp trades back. Just an outlaw in the hands of NDG. He will get picked off by Laz as he stabilizes hey, with their first round. Full by yeah, me. this is just enough of a reaction there from Hiroron in time. But when that smoke positive, right? is placed ahead of the mid door, the door like you're kind of wondering, well, what the heck's going on? Like, why would they? Kill Jai Iron versus Gecko Iron. The back angle. The front part of it, so the next so Zeta there and just and barely like recognized in time that it was going to be a pivot towards B from that position and we're able to get a couple kills and Team Secret just saying, well, well this plant's going to be pretty dicey, so we might as well just see if we can find a few more picks, do a little more economic damage before we get down. But it's going to be full rifles already, though, a lockdown for NDG with that hot start that he's had. Hiradon able to get his ult as well, so... Now gonna slow up the pace, just really try to do what they do so well, and that's identify positions, identify weaknesses, see if they can get through the Zeta defenses. But Zeta, really tough, really tough to crack, especially with the last chamber. Yeah, he has caused so many teams grief with that agent. Yeah, and I mean he's just content holding long range. We can see that right now. Just early check with Dizzy on Rubble, but they've saved most of their util here for the C side and Team Secret. They're trying to figure out, you didn't util dump onto Robo, what's the setup on the other side? They know that really generally C-Site like should setting. be weaker without the killjoy, as long as you're not getting picked off long range by that chamber. One spotted, but a jumping relay bolt, and that's the stun onto Jesse Vash. Two members double peeking out fast lane to cover their retreat. And Zeta will hold on to the site. 40 seconds left on the clock. The only answer really left open for Team Secret looks to be this B-Site. Thank you for the, the six ninety point six nine million. When they do play towards B, if they decide to yeah. go that way, lockdown going to be used Next to ensure that they can get through. So not much ambiguity here. A smoke to try to delay this plan as much as possible. I like this so far from Zeta. They're buying a little bit of extra time to really wear down this lockdown. And the Thrash used to clear the flank on Rubble first, but right now my eyes are on Borkum on the minimap over by C. Can he get a kill as we see the rotates coming in from Zeta Division? Borkum's going to get the kill on Tier M and Sugar Zero. They are quick for the rotate. Now Team Secret, do they choose to push out? B site never feels that safe. They'll keep Sugar Zero at bay. Now the remaining members, Wingman spots one. And DG here in Baby Door, Depp's quick on the follow up. It's a 2-1 pinch over in from Heaven with Laz as well. The Thrash will be eliminated through the state fight. Envy good for one. He's almost, he actually gets the second. And Laz not able to swing back around. It's a 1v1 and Jeremy will clutch out for Team Secret. Yeah, this is a lot of good things for both teams. And that's why it comes down to a 1v1. I, I think Zeta handling this the best they can. Uh, a good early setup to make sure that they get that pick. But then the the lurk from Borkum causes a bunch of chaos and confusion. And Sugar Zero took a ton of damage along the way. He'd actually gotten spammed through the wall a little bit even beforehand. Yeah, he's able to get the kill. Jeremy's going to have a showstopper as well, as you can see there on his screen. But that 1v1 usually lasts very dependable in those situations. But this go around just couldn't quite steady the aim in a situation where he's usually so, so good, especially on, you know, his comfort pick of Chamber. But so far, it has felt a little bit off the last. A little bit, a little bit kind of off the last. His shots hasn't yeah. been as crisp as we're kind of used to seeing. Uh, yeah, this is a tough part when you're so well known for an Asian and the way you play it, right? I mean, the standards just set so high because it's a prime win condition. 
But now Team Secret identifying, especially on an eco if the chamber's not there. The site should be weak. It's an easy free entry onto C site. A little too many members for Jeremy. And Depp, he wants to help recover this rifle. He wants to make sure that they don't allow the plant to come through. Uran will be able to pick it up. He goes for two and gets a weak envy. And that is the wraparound from Laz, a quick thrifty. Zeta Division. So there you go, great reaction from Zeta on this round. By C site, man. Like they can maybe just fully a site with like their better that. weaponry and certainly they can get there get the plant down bounce, but it's bounce, a great bounce, timing on this retake some sick that. shots that opener from depth and then an immediate relay bolt gain some space God. for his team and then everybody doing their job that rifle from Euron worth its weight in gold for sure to get that double kill and that could be one of those momentum shifters get the fast lane or excuse me the overdrive for depth, depth. depth. Showstopper still available Levy though by Levy. for Jeremy as they go on to an eco. Let's see if they're going to try to invest it. Don't oh, flash the glass with the knob. Yeah, trying to peek out off of that prowler, even suspecting that it's going to be a second member of the chamber to yeah. buy that box. But is that operator, and that's what Laz needed. A little bit of that confidence regained for the captain of Zeta Division. As he finds one kill, Laz didn't quite connect the second one just hit. yet against this eco buy. Team Secret, only one stinger in the hands of NDG. Today, 299k. It's going to be the overdrive popped here yeah. by Depp. A lot of smokes coming in. Depp's going to scooch on yeah. close. Creeps in against that smoke. Make sure they can't kind of caterpillar their way in. Big even through the next poison cloud. Thank you. And now the snake bite to counteract that timing. And then, of course, the extra smoke over on the other side from Sugar Zero. So a good hold from Tata Division so far. It's still three members. Yuran just gonna hold that angle as the teammates help Lots clear the haunt. Sure, nice. the Snake Bites will do a little bit of damage against Laz, but not too much. And Dev just gets a bit of an inkling right around that corner. We'll fire off. Jesse Mash, the only one remaining. Sheriff in hand, and oh. that is a great dizzy Have from across the wall by Waterfall. I've seen some really good combo plays with Hiradon and Depp uh, between that Gecko and, uh, and the Neon. He's doing a really good job setting up that there. Or Depp even setting up for him sometimes with a quick jump out and, and a switch. But the dizzy allows Depp to get that little bit of extra comfort. Laz with an operator, certainly nothing you want to face as an opponent. He is generally pretty clean with it. Has a tour de force in the back pocket as well if things right. go south for them at any point. But there's that flawless win for Zeta. Now a bunch of alts available for both sides. Showstopper, Viper's Pit for the side of Team Secret. Everything but the thrash for Zeta. Oh, the there it is. popped. Yeah, they just want to go for the fast flank. They realize it's going to be a full A hit. Oh, They've got all the for the reaching as well, but hey, a hey. crucial win condition to hold on to the back of sight from last. He gets eliminated. Team Secret now have an opening to try to push through. Zeta pressed a bit more for time than they originally calculated. Now all four members coming in from the attacking side. Oh. NDG will be the first obstacle. Dev clears him from right around the corner. It's going to be a quick wraparound trying to clear this pit. It blocks off tree entirely. And Dev is just going to be the aggro. He jumps all the way in and opens up so much space for the team. But the Viper still alive. They haven't quite cleared it. Showstopper online for Jeremy. He sends it. He'll find one. And he eventually goes out. Jeremy down to another one. V1. And it's a triple Let's kill for the duelist of Team Secret as they lead four to three. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, it's a good idea from Secret yeah, to just try to flood that Viper's pit. But that showstopper gets a ton of value there, able to clear a player, actually gets tagged up by that op shot. You can see him at 15 health when Depp sprayed him down through the corner. But I mean, it's, you know, even though Laz gets the hit, it's a little bit delayed from him. Still doesn't look fully comfortable yet. And Team Secret, because of that, able to get through onto the site, get their plant down and get the win. I mean, Jeremy showing some heroics back on this raise, so comfortable on this agent. You can see why, another fast push, but it's shut down by NDG. Yeah, NDG has been on fire for Team Secret. So sturdy, so reliable yeah. for the Filipino squad. As he will get traded eventually and be made, but a lot of information, it. buys a lot of time. That's the Nightfall invested. On to open up the site, but Zeta, they've refilled it. It's a flood right back in. Three members on the site, creating a crossfire right around that smoke. And here on finds one. Can he find the second to the boss? No, Borkum. Good for the spray through the smoke. Now, all members of Team Secret, they've made their way into the site. Meanwhile, it's just a long range hold by Last. Tour de Force online. Sugar Zero, he needs that kill. He gets one. Oh, Last somehow gets it right Last through the wall. Matter. And from the shadows used, the reset in this 1v2 for Borkum, the clutch master for Team Secret.
Spike planted. Follow up by Sugar Zero on the other side. Oh, Borkum, so smart. Yeah, he has so many angles to check. Now the door opened already to draw aggro. This allows Last to set up. It's just bait oh, to no! draw him right on to the stairs, but he's being tucked Time right in three. around the corner. Senses that it could be this extra level play, and Borkum reads it. Oh. He finds one. He knows the other was by the switch. And now the smoke to cut off Sugar Zero. Sugar Zero's been Lisa. red. He's been spotted, but he makes his way through. Both not at full health. The wraparound from Borkum. Sugar Zero is trying to out. hold the oh half. My. And it's Borkum time once again here at BCT Pacific. A lot of individual nuts. outplays for Team Secret coming up huge. Kind of came down to timing, but Borkum so aware, so smart. The veteran player. That veteran presence coming through for Team Secret towards the end of this round. Really understanding that situation. There's that dizzy Neon combo trying to be set up, but NDG playing a nice anti-flash position, able to at least get the first. And then Sugar Zero thinking that maybe... Welcome time! So I just say it now, reminder. It's been a while since we've heard it. I like it. Yeah, I know. I mean, hey, let him know, man. Let him know. The clock was broken for a little while, but it's back. And right on time for Secret, leading towards an ever-important win. Already down 0-2 on the scoreboard. I mean, suffering from that Alpha Group curse where no one but Gen G was able to take home a match victory just yet. And of course, the ruling seats, you need minimum two wins to even contend for a playoff spot regardless of the standings yeah, in your own it. group. Yeah, and that's why the desk was talking about it earlier today, that today is a must-win. You know, quack, quack. Yeah, yeah. It was on point, man. This huh? feels like so much pressure on Team Secret, but this is when they tend to really level up their gameplay, uh, when things are kind of on the line. You know, certainly there is that revenge factor where they want to come back and get the, get the win over Zeta, who was the team that knocked them out of going to champions last year. No doubt about it, that's in your mind. And Zeta, you know, trying to build some momentum, trying to get these rookies more and more experienced, trying to see if you can get them to go over to an international event with you and really yeah, learn from some of the best yeah. in the world already. Satchel down for Jeremy, taking easy no, Yeah, and yeah, a good recognition that this fight over from Zeta, it's not lethal against Rubble, right? It's just about taking over that space with the Neon, so you're kind of safe to dive all the way in deep into the corner. No fear of the paint shows. It's a fast hit onto Tree as well. Zeta, the backup is here, but the Prowlers have spotted them. The, it's going to be the paranoid to hold them at bay. Just about stops the push. Now three members on site, on top of Heaven as well. Team Super, they've got a lot of angles to clear. They spot Sugar Zero up top. And Sugar Zero going to go for the double. Trade right back, but you're at not able to quite land a kill onto the second one. He will get eliminated. Now down to a 2v2 after a quick skirmish, but a deep push in from Jeremy with only 39 HP. He's going the flank all the way around. Last gets one. Are they wary of this? It seems Ooh. they are just busy trying to clear. They're gonna have to clear a tree. They're gonna have to clear a drop as well as the spike is planted so deep. They're so afraid of it. Ooh. They have no idea about this wraparound. Jeremy, oh, oh right oh. out of timing. They check drop and say Ooh. he's not there. An instant double swing back. And that's unbelievable awareness there from Zeta. Just fantastic game sense being shown by both I get go so we saw from in the previous round. Now we're seeing it from Zeta as well. An interesting fight there that five, five. Team Secret wins with their heavy numbers advantage. Uh, but the fact that Zeta is able to evenly trade there, set it into a 2v2, two, two two, really benefits them. Could hold there from Hiradon on that angle to set up Laz for the op shot as well. But really, that one just comes down to positioning and gunplay. And it is this time going to be Zeta that's able to find the win and put the economy of Team Secret onto the back foot. They are now on Stingers, Sheriffs. And a shorty as well for Jesse Bash. So the hit map, going to be the kardu. desired option. Just Yudon right now trying to buy a little bit of time. Oh. Okay, got spotted, but Paint Shells was out, and Yuran's going to get an easy double spray right as the right map. back up. Masking his escape. Lagra. Backup has arrived as well. And you mentioned it, I mean, with the short range weapons, Akele B side was your best bet. Gare, but at now you Lagre. have so much space to re clear. Secret. Surely just hoping to cut noise, try to get some contact yeah, close by, maybe pick up a weapon upgrade. It feels so good when it's just one player that can shut down a push like that if you're Zeta. Like, definitely building a little bit of confidence for them coming into this. Hit it on. Just this is the door. Of course, reveal the presence of Team Secret, making their presence known towards the A site. Going to see them pass through. And See if they can get a plant down successfully. Looks like Zeta is going to allow that yeah. to come through. Not really keen to 
try to go for the retake, trying to prevent this. Now, there is that lockdown as well, right? That's so true. Does it come online is a big question. Thrash already used to try to clear out Rubble from long range, so now a good recognition that it should be mostly all in the site. But you've got Drop you and you've got run. Heaven Control. It's going to be the lockdown on a timer. Zeta, they have to start pushing for this. A Paranoia Master approach, but the Alarm Bot will spot it. It's going to be a quick spray from Depp, but a nice trade from Envy up top. They just have to stay alive for this lockdown to go through. NDG, he needs to protect it with his life. And while three Please members will be detained, Zeta Division will clear the site. Yeah, Imagine last in. In that, Everybody else did all the dirty work, and Laz comes in and gets all credit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> they just send it over to Sugar Zero there. His last has an operator. <laughs> and <laughs> and and he was <laughs> <present> <laughs> for it, that's for sure, man. He was like, oh, we got He's two like, good rounds. job, guys. Yeah. That was all, all according to my plan. Like, yeah, thanks. <laughs> Uh, it was it was pretty funny to watch getting that half done though, and just a snap decision, right? I, quite frankly, sure you could sometimes wait for that. You still have the numbers advantage, you have the weapons advantage, but not wanting to Plus risk that. it to yeah. the last wire. Yeah, they just decided to push in and pressure the weak weaponry of Team Luka. Secret. Now tied there. five to five as we see another rifle buy come back for Team Secret. And I don't mind the gamble with the yeah, lockdown that at all from Team Secret due to the fact that there's only a couple rounds percent. left in this half. You're extremely unlikely to get that lockdown on online again anyway. Might as well go for it just Animations see if you can ba -ba really sneak a, a debilitating around away oh. with again ndg getting the better of Laz. yeah this time just swinging out from the side that Laz way, was not quite expecting sure you saw Move the flick over he's always ready for it Real but a bit of a mystery on the positioning from Team Man. Secret, and now the default of Team Secret able to reset. Pit already committed to hold like on to the backside of C as he saw a lot of Utah coming their way. But with this reset, you already took out the operator, you heard the pit over, potentially by that C side. He's free. Yeah, well, well, you you free. Yeah. Now yeah. you're starting to get the shift over from Zeta. You can see that Team Secret not getting any contact. They're going to try to sell a bit of a B fake, oh, potentially. Yeah, like yeah so it's the same smoke they used when they cut through to the baby door towards the B site earlier in this half. So it's all going to be on the deck. He is going to have to go absolutely huge here if Zeta is going to have uh, a really favorable retake, at least an even retake. Yeah, he has to take him down. I mean, maybe two members at least for the trade. He's ready for one, but it's the showstopper. He My gets God. it. Then there's the poison cloud. There is the relay bolt. The shrouded step comes in, but he's good for two at the minimum. That's almost, what we talked about. Almost. Even to back down to a 3v3. Only 15 seconds. One member has to spick, uh, stick the plant. Snake Bites coming through. It's not really ticking down on anybody just yet. They plant it further out. Paranoia to create some space. Uran now onto the site. They're all coming in from Defender Spawn, trying to get the spray through the wall. He doesn't get the kill. It just hits a one for one trade. Uh -oh. But NDG, good for a third kill in the round. Sugar Zero Whoa. all alone. He's good for three. Gets the double. And Zeta will finally take the lead away. Oh, this map is delivering. We've got Borg from time. We've got Sugar Zero. Everything. <laughs> Going the fans' way on this one. A Sorry, very close. Is so far, Lotus, 6-5 to five now in favor of Zeta. I mean, very few players in the world can do what he does in these situations. I mean, getting that showstopper just out of the hand, able to flick over off of that blast pack. Insane stuff from that. Oh, Jesus, <laughs> that's line so <laughs> nice. That just feels good when you land those. But three in a row three. for Zeta. Can they make it four to close out the half? They do have... The overdrive, not the most impactful, but sometimes the players get a really good feel for it. Oh, it's a push out again. Wala, Secret. I don't know if this is intentional, if they've read this or not. It happened last time, but now they're trapped across. There is going to be the paranoia. It hits onto everyone from Zeta Division. They have to back out. The relay bolt will cover their reset. Still a rifle in the hands of Depp as well, so he's happy to continue fighting until the fuel runs out for that overdrive. That energy now ticking down all the way from 10. But it slows down Secret's approach. Now Secret, happy to have just not lost any members on that push. They were waiting for a pinch from B as well. So preparedness on the side of TS. Yeah, and all of Jesse Vash's armor gone. That, that's the, the slight win that Zeta is going to find out of that. Not the most, again, sometimes not the most impactful out in the world. Some players very, very good with it. Like you said, Heretics, you know, they can do some serious damage with that. Sugar Zero, speaking of serious damage, just took a whole bunch. Going to have to back way off once again. Depp trying to slide over to help. Yeah, and he's here past the smoke, ready for another sliver of an angle. And he's good for yet another double kill. Resets onto Borkham's head.
Now the site given over to Team huh? Secret, but it's a 4v3 for Zeta Division. Laz, of course, with an operator, but still has a headhunter. They're going to push out with the Nightfall. They get the tag only onto one, but there's three members. It's a swing out from here on. He gets one. The setup is there. The double swing back out. Scherzer will pick that one up. And now Jesse Vash, the IGL, all alone against four members of Zeta Division. He cannot land the first kill. And Zeta will lead up the half 7-5. to five. You got to... <laughs> I mean, I don't, again, He's don't mind what Team Secret wants to do here. Yeah. It's just Zeta huh? so quick to react he now. Finally, it feels He's like getting playing. their feet underneath them, getting the speed huh? of the game underneath He's them, playing. getting their shots to connect yeah. a little bit more consistently. I mean, it helps when Depp is putting up crazy good double kills to slow down these executes of Team Secret to even even up or give Zeta the advantage in the numbers in those situations. Certainly a big part of it, but really a lot of those moments came down to just who was in the right position at the right time, who could outthink who in some of those crucial 1v2s, 1v1 situations like that. Both of these teams full of veteran smart players, tremendous players who have had experience at the international levels as well. We're able to kind of duel each other so well. That was a treat, that first half. Uh, I mean, it was just great to see both teams rejuvenate, kind of answering back and forth, right? And that's all you ever really want from a good match of Valor. Of course, for the fans out there, you might be cheering for one side or the other, but you want to see teams challenging each other and curious to see if Team Seeker will be able to answer back as, I mean, the pickups of Neon for Death and Chamber for last, that alone that. seems to give them so much more yeah, high relaxation, the, the leisure on the side of Zeta Division, right? Where you have the Neon for the fast rotates, you've got the Chamber to anchor down for a bit longer, you have trust in them, even though the numbers aren't looking so great. And so they've been comfortable trying to next get the read ahead of the secret. Now, they have Yeke. to take the initiative. And there's going to be a little Abhi more pressure on iske last to open match. up space on the other side of the map when his team is working one of the sites. And generally what Laz has been really, really good at is being able to be left alone. Now, you see this a lot, and people might kind of meme on it on, ice bo on Icebox, that it's like, oh, it's a 1-4 split, it's always Laz by himself. It's, it's but it fun. actually works on Lotus. Like having Laz on his own, because he's traditionally so impactful with this chamber, with his head hunter, able to lock down some space. You know, the desk was just talking about this. Who's going to take rubble control? We're on this attacker side. You know, you're just going to leave that up to Laz. You know, get the shot, TP out. Oh, I think that I got if he doesn't man. find it, that's fine. He's at least bought some attention, bought some time. Depp, like you mentioned, mm. so comfortable on this Neon. He's so quick to react off of contact with his own shots, with his own relay bolts, things like that. That's what makes him such a fearsome uh. foe when he yeah, busts gas out simulator a yeah. rare agent that other than many boo, not many other people play in the world. Yeah, it's been fairly quiet. We've seen some attempts, and I feel like we'll see another resurgence, of course. With a couple of these teams picking up after yeah. Mini Boo on yes, Team okay, yeah. But for now, Depp back in another comfort day. role. And the trademark having to be placed in a lobby on the A side. So, Data Division wanting to put a little bit of extra pressure on CEC. Oh, and get a close that. Has close not able to land the shot again. And Data close Division, that. now they've been kind of red. So, they're going to double back and they're going to hedge their bets on the fact that Team Secret's actually going to react on this, right? The rendezvous out, thinking that Zeta will have to go for a fast hit on to C. You see the pings from Team Secret onto the C it's side, but Zeta, yeah, they man. read right through this. They say, you think you've pushed us all the way to the other again. side. We will double back with 30 seconds left. Uh, this is phenomenal awareness here from the side of Zeta. He 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 you know, there was going to be the, the ping off of the turret into the snake bite, and it never came through because depth, tremendous vision to kind of sniff that out and then back right off. Here comes the fragment, excuse me, the paint shells in from Jeremy, Jesse. Why is it planted though? Now with that smoke, Jesse Vash's position not looking so great. It has to be a quick flood in from heaven. Meanwhile, you do have Borkum ready by Baby Door to start to pressure in, to try to pinch in. The Haunt gets eliminated instantly. It's peaks from all around, and Depp swings right under heaven. You hear about the pinch coming in over from Baby Door, and Zeta is ready for it. Four members left alive, and a pistol goes back to Zeta Division. Yeah, so three out of four of the pistols actually going Zeta's way so far here today, even though couldn't really find much extra on the back of it onto Icebox. Here, once again, reading the map really well. This all just came down to that mid-round call from Laz. He's saying, okay, I lost I this know. battle, but they're pulling away. Let's shift over to A. It's probably going to be relatively open, and it was completely open. Able to get that plant down, set up those great crossfires. Not much util left on that retake for the side of Team Secret. Not really finding much value, so 
Trying to find that wall bang angle. Usually this is an Odin, but you know what? The Guardian's got high pen. Why not go for it? Heck yeah. I mean, you make do with what you got. Last bike it pass of Steelstar. Speaking of the Guardian, on the side of Zeta Division, double Bulldogs, but a Phantom and a Guardian to boot. So really looking to make this round in their favor. Now, Laz, no other weapons, just a ghost upgrade in his hand kept over. So he will be the one holding the flank, even if he drops a weapon. It's not the end of the world. Gets one shot through the wall. But Laz, we haven't seen the Christmas, you know, the quick two taps for the double kills, things like that. But again, it's the same read. They push out. That means they have to be ready just for contact play. If we can push through and fight, we win. This is the side that's going to be weaker. The other side might be ready for a trap. As Zeta reclaims instant control. Demon one ka ka yeah, really match. Any idea? Zeta. And again, even though Laz hasn't been crisp, crisp just well, yet, he's still able to make some good IGL calls. Try to send this wingman through. Depp on in. Plant, is it going to come down? Yep, it's going to be allowed. Yeah, it's going to be a double stack here, though. Jeremy trying to push out for the rifle upgrade, but he gets picked off instantly. Laz not allowing for that to fall into the hands of his enemy. Possible, eh? Upset, Sight mate. given over to Team Secret, but they do have the oh, angle here at the post plant. Warcom's going to start to defuse a little bit off angle. They're not quite aware oh, of this, and he's behind oh, that wall. They have to be able to spam through it. They have no idea. They finally get him as they go for the approach. That was a close call for Zeta. I thought he had it. I thought he had it. Absolutely. I was getting scared. I know, dude. I, I, I didn't see much space left at the end of that bar. I would love to see like a replay, just like showing us how much was actually left on there when they got the kill. It, it was not much, but just barely they're able to get their heads on. There we go. There's a good there head shot. That's what we need to see. Maybe now that'll get Laz fired up. Triple. Picked up with that bulldog as well, but too close for comfort. If I'm being honest, that's a round that party. almost, almost, almost zero point, zero point, not goes Zeta's way, but time, but making good time. reads, you, you can say that about this so far. Can use a toxic screen for a fast B hit and bypassing all of this Killjoy utility is death. Oh my, he goes deep in and he fights Jesse Bash right as the Prowler is coming out. Blast through both the pet and the owner. So cute. Team Secret now down a member. Toxic screen on the right side as well. This makes this B post plan hold a little bit easier as Sugar Zero holds right below the steps and that will continue. Zeta Division turning up the pace once again. This is the revitalization a lot of fans looked forward to from week one, and we're seeing it here on map two today. And all this came down to, in a way, was a couple smokes. It came down to the toxic screen in the fast lane to completely fool the Killjoy utility. The turret never pops, so the Nano Swarm at the front of B never gets popped either. That allows Depp to go through completely undetected. Jesse Bash was throwing a prowler by the time the Depp is right in his face, just breaking things open. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go fast. <laughs> yeah. Gotta fill up that evidence. Jesse Bash, he's gonna rethink that position. Jeremy trying to make his escape. We'll finally break through that door. It's another fast hit onto Rubble. This time, I mean, look at this pace change as well. Zeta, Optox giving that Rubble control over and just last holding it. This time it's a fast huh? hit. And with these four round beginnings, Team Secret will have a lot to consider in the coming rounds. It's going to be a hit onto Borgum, but they are aware that there might be backup, so there's the paranoia. It's a quick clear of the site by Sugar Zero. Last holding close. Jeremy actually finds it with the classic. Depp is still by Rubble. Trying to make sure that there isn't a weapon upgrade, but Jerry Oi. gets another with a classic. That is two rifles going over to Team Secret. Now in a 4v3. This is very doable, even though Sugar Zero gets the train. The rifles are still coming in from a bane. All the way up by stairs, it's a triple stack. Trying to use the toxic screen, you're at. Just pinching right against where that nano swarm was thrown. Sugar Zero holds the crossfire, it's a good double swing. Just. Guardian in the hand there, but it's still two members. Huron waiting and drop, and Jeremy might have a sniff of this as he realizes there's no peek out from Huron, and he tries to get the spray, but he thinks it might be tree. He's going for it. He doesn't have time for the tap. He has to stick it at this point. No time. Sure, he gets the read, but that is going to be the round going over to Zeta Division. The only thing that concerns me, well, there were a couple things that concerned me that round for Zeta. <laughs> If I'm being brutally honest. You mean losing to a classic two times yeah, around? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not the best. I mean, look, credit where credit's due. Jeremy's having a great yes. map despite the scoreboard. Yes. Jeremy has been playing as best as he possibly can. Just finding great timings and great positioning around this toxic screen to pick up these two kills. I don't like that swing up There's no reason to, when you've got that player at drop as well, to not just wait that out for someone to come around that corner and try to either double swing them. If they come from the other side and they get you, so be it. You've got that player held at drop to get the, the pick. I understand with the timing, 
that it kind of didn't matter at that point. You might as well go for it, go for the push out. Still, you know, you probably could have gotten through that a little bit cleaner there as Zeta, but now you do have to dig into a timeout here for Team Secret because this has been a very Zeta-centric half. Champions. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, River, four seconds. Tons of rounds here as they are starting to Purunami by this map. Purunami form as good as Icebox was for Purunami the side of Team Secret, form it has been Team all different Zeta feels Purunami. like ever was since the the attacker side began. Yeah, and of course, this is going to be, if we count the first half, eight rounds in a row. Team Secret, we'll see what they have prepared. You know, thinking back to the map draft, I was thinking the Lotus pick over the sunset seemed you like a smart like choice for Zeta, considering we all it's know, the whole world knows how prep heavy Team Secret can be. So bringing out a map you haven't yeah. shown yet here in stage one, the sunset, it, it was only once, but you showed the new comp. You don't want to risk that in map two, potentially getting closed out early. You want to make sure that you bring it back here and then face off fair and square in map three. And Zeta's poised for it, only one point away from that point, leading all the way to the decider of sunset. Uh, but this is, again, when Zeta is at their best, when they're cooking, when they're coming up with some unique comps. I mean, yes, of course, there are teams that run the same comp, but it isn't very common, and they kind of pioneered a lot of this early. A lot of damage being taken on the way oh, through. Oh, slide out off of the paranoia. It doesn't matter if he has been debuffed. He will go for the kill. Oh, Draw that cross here. Nice straight from Sugar Zero. Shutting down Envy before he hits up too much. And now it's a 3v3. Jeremy had that operator. He's prepared for it. He reads the from the shadows. And that's actually yeah, getting a little bit too early. Yeah. In the division, not buying the time they would have wanted off of that deep lurk from the Omen. So, Laz, he's going to have to hold. The long angles. Now he's been pushed off of that box. There's the show summer and spots them both, but neither of them die. Goes right above their head, all the way through the wall. At last, is ready for the trade with a shorty. Uran covers his back. It's still a 2v1. And Borkum, there just might not be enough time. He's going to try to swarm the spike. He puts the smoke up. But is he aware of the wraparound? Uran, he actually falls off of it and backs away, giving him space to work with. An incredible clutch hey, hey, from Borkum, but perhaps Borkum Zeta baby, Division bull, bull. getting a little Borkum pressed from the timer. Which team you supporting? Zeta. Uh, uh, that round I felt like was going to go both teams' ways multiple different times. <laughs> I mean, because it's just this great start from Envy to put a ton of pressure in. Hey, this TP tough, doesn't work, and I'm like, all right, favor Team Secret, but then they get two miraculous kills. You know, what, what a read there. With the, huh? the positioning of the rendezvous for Laz, kind of catching Team Secret in a, a spot that confused them initially, and then the backup from Euron, and I'm like, okay, they've got this. And then they fumble that ending. Orkham again coming up big, but in my mind, that's frankly Zeta kind of messing up, not really understanding the positioning of where he could be. And Jeremy just takes him through the smoke. Oh, the okay. tracers a little too bright there for Zeta right. Division as huh? Uran right. will get taken out. That's nah. the toxic screen eliminated. Shadows and any of that default pressure that you can put on to rotate around the map is gone. So Zeta, now they feel like they have to push in. Dep is good for the slide, but they've hey, already Dep, lost the omen Dep, as well. No smokes left yeah, on the side of Zeta. It's all up to Dep to try to open up the uh, site. It's going to be a close range. Paintshell's trying to buy that time, and Dep knows exactly the timer yeah, on that yeah, operator. Yeah, Got to prepare the next shot. It's a triple yeah, kill for the Neon. Now he's taking space. Over by stairs as well. Tree and stairs covered by Zeta Division. The retake's gonna be a tough one. As Envy Toxins quietly creeping in. Depp, does he have a timer on this? He does, perfect as well. As he hears the Toxic screen coming back up. It's going to be less to finish off the round. Map point secured for Zeta Division. Okay. I mean, last game was a lot of fun. This game was not good. It was pretty good at the game. Happens. That's, it happens. That's what I got to I mean, say about that round. That was all depth for sure. That was all depth. This is all depth all the time. I mean, that initial kill he gets is beautiful. And then as soon as he heard that op operator shot, he's like, yep, I'm going to push this corner. I know how that gun works. I use it all the time. Last game was a lot to, to, what are you, you going to do against that? I yeah. mean, he's just so fast, so furious, so accurate with a Vandal. Yes. With, 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 that's another thing with Vandal on the Neon. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Most people are going to be like, I'm going to use the Vandal. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit more stabilization yeah. while you're sliding. Yeah. Yeah. Depth is so Mods. good he can use the Vandal. Uh, the Five minutes got this. Staying combo. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it is just going to give some extra yeah, space here for TS. And they're not backing off of this. They do have the trademark in the back, but still might catch players. Presence yeah. revealed. Yeah, now Zeta, they're gonna choose just go into the site. They feel that they can trust the Odin to hold this flank. G 
Chamber coming back out as well. The Nightfall will push them away from Baby Door. So Urad gonna be caught there in the corner, but Last of Death gonna kill Leech, and now Urad, he's just happy to hold that spray, trying to keep them at bay. They just cannot pinpoint this Odin. It's creating so much space and chaos, and that will be a flawless for a Zeta Division as they bring home map two. 13 to 6, taking us to the on Sunset. Okay, both teams getting their map picks. Now we really get to see how much preparation Team Secret's been able to do. We saw the Sunset Imagine obliterate the E. There's a lot to talk about with that map coming up. You have to be starting to feel like momentum, map pick, starting to lean Zayn's way. Yeah, I mean, Coach Carlo talked about how he expected this draft to go, so surely they were ready to bring the Sunset back out. But Team Secret, not one to scoff at when prep is there. So now tied at 1-1, let's hear the opinions on the analyst desk from the second map. Oh, you want our opinions? Oh, we got opinions, as we always do at the analyst desk, but Zeta Division takes Lotus in a spicy, crazy banger of a game here. Uh, from the Neon to the Chamber to Jesse Bash. On the face. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see in a second. Yeah, um, we'll, let's we'll wait until cool. we get the stat card up. It, it definitely worked on the attacker side, especially you can see all their you know their plans coming into fruition After. on that second half. Yeah, I mean, it was again a, a little bit of a slow start for, for Zayn. It looked like that was going to get away. Iske baad gaming ho jaye. Elvin ke saath bhai pata na energy lege to karenge. We're able to rally back and get oh. the advantage in the end of it all, and then that attacking side. Oh, oh, I mean, oh, oh, secret, I think that they you know, oh, they probably oh, scrimmed oh, against Neons on attack in the past. But I, they yeah, were not like ready for some of the pacing like that Zeta were throwing at them that button one round. Like I mean, just or just the sprinting button all button the way through B, getting button himself button up top, lale, round lale, towards lale, the better spawn, lale. just catching Jesse and Util in hand. Nice. Time and time again, he was not ready uh, with his Util. He was not ready for this aggression that was going to be coming through. It was astounding uh, at times there from Zeta. And those attacking rounds were just so clean. I mean, a couple wonky ones, nearly <laughs> letting it the fuse yeah. get through a couple rounds ago, but they managed to get it in the end. And I mean, 13-6, this was a dominant showing in the end. It, it inspires a bit of confidence, I will say that. I mean, at the start, Zeta was still quite shaky. Laz was, same wasn't quite as fresh or as crisp like uh, Howard Castro's, but it was, it, it felt kind of stale or like mealy, like one of those like apples that aren't so nice. <laughs> but yeah, yeah I mean, as, as it came through, you know, Zeta starts to recover. However, I will say this for Team Secret. I am deeply sorry, Jeremy, you're not just a child. He was able to clutch up some pretty big rounds, got a lot of multi kills uh, in the first half. But then as you go over in the second half, that's when Depp really shines. Yeah, I mean, 342 on the ACS, it was, it was magical to see him on the Neon. We haven't seen him play it in, in a little bit and now with Suns on the horizon we might just get to see him play Phoenix as well so an incredible performance from there but chatting missing your Batman voice in my life first event voice flowers Hmm. Ke Pooja ke flowers. Pooja ke flowers, I'll take Pooja. Hello, Pooja. Hello, Pooja. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Today we members only stream. I don't know. I played a lot of fun members only. Who was in members only? Who was in Litmus? He was a hater. He was making a hater. Freshly brewed coffee. A car coffee. Hoja. Split wala game chow. Haan, Kilroy bhi tha. Barabar. Split wala game chow. Split wale mein to yaar, wo aagay the na sab. Samajh rahe. I don't have PC or in hostel, just my air, which I don't use for gaming. Air? How is it gaming? Hoti hai? All the different titles that he's played.
played Neon just seems like a natural fit. I would love to see him like head in head with uh, Mini Boo actually one of these days. My oh, how oh. many kills did Depp get is the question because we had that guess end game. One too many. <laughs> one too many. Uh, yep. So it was My 23 Google kills. Was 23 kills. It was not 48 kills. As you're hoping. Oh, no, no, I should know, actually. The, ar the audience is moving to ascendant. Oh, God. The audience? <laughs> the, audience the, the Timmies. And the the Timmies are doing so well. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Meanwhile, the, what are the rest of us doing? If the audience gets the radiant before us, <laughs> that would be awesome. They are, you guys are cooler than us. I'm gonna give you Silver. Yeah. So you definitely are better than us. Hi, hi, Silver. We will bow down. Back to have so Silver, Kilius. <laughs> no, it, like, you know, it, <laughs> it's <laughs> fine. It's, it's fine. completely fine. fine. It doesn't matter. Do we get What's I mean, it's one? just, it's such a, <laughs> it is just literally a coin flip, so I can't really be frustrated or expect to win it when it's something like that. It's not skill-based. Yeah. It's not tactical. <laughs> it is what it is, but. Yeah, it is. You should own it. You should like, it totally is. What are you, rank are you now? But, okay. But it's okay. It is, look, one thing we all knew was that as long as he stayed on a duelist, he'd probably get a whole bunch of kills. So he did. Uh, now we're looking at. Jeremy, you know, Jeremy wasn't too bad either. Honestly, at, at many points, Jeremy was the one who was just making sure that they carried yeah, forth through the round or maybe saved yeah. that gun or, or uh, helping, you know, take take away from Zeta's economy in some rounds. Yeah, precisely in every of these rounds, especially in the first half, when he's able to kind of hold the game post plan, he got a lot of multi kills. And it just shows that. He's not really uh, cracking under pressure. There were rounds where even if Depp is trying to run against him, even if there's a lot of utility being thrown, he knows how to work his position and just kind of swings around the left and the right side uh, very stably. And, and, you know, opponents aren't quite able to get that wide swing against him. So great job by Jeremy. He was able to recover. Now the question is, can this performance keep up? Because Sunset is a going to be a tough map. That, uh, Zeta, they had a 13-1 against Global Esports last week. Um, but then again, it's a very Secret, different team. Yeah, very different team. I mean, here's what I'll say for Secret. I, I don't think that this is necessarily over. I don't think that, you know, the performances on Lotus is enough to, to crush them. Because if nothing else, while well, Jesse Bashi had an abysmal performance on that fade, this guy is a veteran. He has played multiple esports at the highest level. So if anybody is going to be able to mentally recover from a, a brutal yeah, loss like yeah, that, yeah. it should be him on that squad. So he needs to be the guiding light and the one that's getting the rest of the team yeah, yeah, yeah. him and refocus in as they get ready to go into Sunset. Yeah. They've been able Next to look at how they like to play that map. They probably had a, a sneaking suspicion that it was going to be left open, uh, depending on how the map draft shook out with the team A or team B. So they should have been prepared to play this one. So how does the, the study and the practice get put into play? That's what I want to see. Yeah, 100%. We were curious about this map coming through that they banned Ascent instead of Sunset. They, they surely have a reason for it, Quack. Yeah, I mean, they definitely have studied yesterday, uh, last week's games. Um, and that's what I'm curious about. Is it going to be a slightly different composition? We've never seen much from Team Secret on this map. Only, like, in kickoffs once, just one time. So uh, is it still going to be that kind of fame player? Is it going to be Gecko? And, of course, you're going to expect great things from Envy. And, uh, of course, Jeremy back on the race still. But is that going to be enough to deal with Zeta Division? And they're really, you know like interesting composition. You got that Phoenix and it's doing really oh, great stuff. Day. Especially the oh, people the uh, opponents aren't really able to react as Depp's flashes. But well, we are gonna find out Jealous. what now exactly what these two teams are gonna Yay. play. And I do hope to see Vaise, tum loko chahiye, tum loko mil the the store pe. chamber that's always proved to be uh, a success for them. But how is Team Secret gonna counter Zeta Division's yeah, yeah. very strong sunset? I don't think they need to do it. I'm in the back. I'm not in the back. I'm kind of sticking with what they have shown in the past. I said it's sold, but they can have silver. I mean, we've seen this. There's an immense amount of value for silver players on this map. 
can really come up the works, really slow things down, especially on that defense. Asset store pe stock out ho gaya hai store pe. Isliye jaldi lene ka. This is going to be maximum comfort for Jesse, but you also have tools like that breach to just further help you hear that run it back coming through the Phoenix. Send out that ball. Send out that after shot cut off. Nice catch up with that excuse me. So that he can't just go you know rushing into a site and picking people apart so i think that there's good heavy book lage bande ko maine pani bhara bhar rakha team secret when they do go over to the defender side to really slow things down here and trying to deny you know as many advantages from zeta division as you can possibly exactly that same composition don lega sunset sunset lega sunset that game plan and we've seen great things from them before they will be able to control a lot especially with that rolling thunder bhai sham ko khelna chahiye na sunset dopher ko kaise sunset khel rahe log well we like to see laz on the chamber we're always happy to see jesse bash back on the sova we're going to go to the third and final map of this series between team secret and zeta division here was we get free skin in valorant night Sunset it is map 3 between Zeta Division no. and Team Secret. Free skin Secret tumko milta hai if you play the agents or wo sab. Try to put themselves on the board. Lekin wo pehle milta tha, abhi nahi milta. Zeta Division bringing out this fun and unique composition that they have been milta. Agent ke skins milte free mein. Khelte rahoge. Or tap chamber back for the last. Now last time they played this against Global Esports, you know there wasn't the breach, there wasn't the cipher on the other side. So we'll see how they deal with that. here against team secret yeah bol la kon jitega bhai lag raha hai bhai secret jitega is that there were a lot of trap plays set up around the phoenix around the curveball this bhai ka thoda ho jaye reset ho jaye bas actually back it up set it up in some cases as well they're really good at putting off a contact off of this one thing that i did notice going back into the vods was that mid control is that does support kar secret secret because of the nature of this composition and i love that secret's already trying to take advantage of it yeah they're trying to pile to pile through oh, a market rather and they will try to get in but they get stopped instantly as that provides back up from a far year at refills that area Jesse Bash will try to clear up the site but it's just one too many members now he's getting pinched from both sides and देख रहे हो लास्ट गेम एक ने मारा था अभी इसकी पूरी टीम ने एक ने मारी इसने मारा है हैशटैग ओपी टीम सीक्रेट इन टर्म्स ऑफ वाचिंग द वीडियो वाचिंग जटा जीतेगा बोला था मैं सीइंग व्हाट स्पेस इज गिवन अप बाय जेड इट्स रियली हार्ड टू कंटेस्ट द फ्रंट ऑफ ए मेन द फ्रंट ऑफ बी मेन with this composition that Zeta has on their defender side because of these combos they can set up with the Phoenix because of those curveballs and the angles you can take but it's great protocols great reaction here from Zeta expecting potentially a market push and they just collapse on it and shut it right down so both teams doing a great job understanding each other but it's Zeta with the better Super reaction so better watch party karo galit bread ka which is today was so down nice bro that's 5 out of 4 out of 5 for Zeta on their pistols Laz with the outlaw to be holding this down it's a one but he catches a shot by he's recovered it he's back in absolute prime must have been airless gets a double i mean a valiant attempt from team secret what else are you going to do when you know that there's the potential for the outlaw you know that there's going to be that long range you go for the wide thing you try to get the trade but it's less and you're going to go to the other side of the map and you're going to run into this curveball paranoia combo from sugar zero dev yeah. i mean it's out of the frying Mate. pan into the fire Delicious. for sure it's just so tricky to deal with i mean the breach Love is on by potentially as this rolls along a really good utility uh, combo to kind of upset these angles that dep loves to hold especially right around this corner, but still with this one way it could be very catches tricky yeah, yeah catches the feet there's going to be the paranoia it's on a timer the curveball's ready as well and look at this it's just clean be flawless unke paas guns bhi acche acche teen bulldog hai i love that he waits for the curveball to get prepped as well obviously you have to have that little snap and then it's just perfect time you won't be dodging huh? either of those it's something that data does so well with this combo it is we're with this agent uh combination even it's not bhai mat karo third party well. software sab mat use karo uh, on the sova no. using right the right idea just some angles right as the curveballs coming out like the timings and the way that it lands is so uh, well for 300 gp ek pendant gp pe now they're going to go for a four stack on to a lekin stock mein nahi na kaise karu on his own main kya soch raha hu 300 gp pe so again zeta changing things up a little bit here to address some of the weaknesses that even they might have noticed in their tape that mid was 20k kind of ka ya 50k ka hai na no? left relatively unexplored by GE right market uh, case skins discounted price man there on this map the Logan first time that saw this comp, now, you know there's a little bit of flirting with it from team secret but they're not feeling comfortable just yet they want to wait this out they want to try to bait out some utility that's something that team secret could do here use this breach utility to break 
to break open some of these sites to get the members of the team uncomfortable getting them backing off from some of these choke points. And here it comes. It's going to be the fault line from across. Last trying to hold on. He knows his trademark can buy him a little bit more time. So he's waiting for it. The rendezvous is still there. And he's still holding an angle. Secret. Not quite aware of it. They realize not enough of a reaction just yet. Just putting some pressure that they're going to A. But Zeta Division, they still have that sight line. A secret has no idea that Laz is clearly mean. He still Chat holds the entire vision of it. I mean, this smoke is doing Chat. nothing for Team Secret Wo on the side of A. As they think yes. that they will have forced a little bit of pressure. But it's going to be two people already on the site. One in this form of Depp by Boba, ready to provide backup. See what the site execute looks like. It's going to be a double blast back in. They have no idea. Huron gets uh, pinged a little bit late. He will get pushed out by the aftershock, but there is a spam on the smoke to hold them at bay. Only 50 spam, seconds yeah. left. It has to all come down to NDG, who makes his way through market. Please he hears the bus steps. Sugar's throw not quite sure on that time, but Depp is there to try to hold party the party. trade. Now six it's seconds left. Plant goes down. Yuran, does he wait for his teammate? He wants to get another kill. He finds one right below him. He eventually goes down. Just the outlaw, but all the members about to get taken out with a single shot. No one at full hey, armor and full health. R50 K ka kya na? To shy 25 to 30 logo ko ek dam to mile. These are all one shot kills here. Maybe just barely <laughs> not for envy. But Laz is creeping <laughs> in. In fact, it battle should be good mein... for everyone. There's a rendezvous as well. He's ah, cleared corner by corner. He's not quite. Oh, he got the scope in against Jesse Vash. Uh, but less. at the end of the day, it'd be perfect time to that pass swing. Battle pass is a good idea. Goodness gracious. It was, it's only a matter of time before Laz gets comfortable with the snipers and he starts doing stuff like that. Holy, that sets the round off kilter. Love the positioning here from the side of Zeta. Don't think about it, man. 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 He's barely able to break this open. Our team secret. And still though, it doesn't feel fully comfortable yet. Still interesting that we're seeing a Promise lot of death Promise karo, rate bade ga 500 rupees mein spam. Look at That recon dart there, rate a little bit of gain. Immediately, the shift over. Sab Valo ne kill te. To see if they can stymie main this main attack. Uh, run it back Valo as well. Karo. It's going to be used right away. They don't want them to enter into the site at all. Paranoia to hold them back after the run it back is destroyed. But NDG's already made it through. Huron will trade back. The site's still trying to be held, but Zeta, they're fighting these 1v1 situations. Not gonna be great as he oh, drops oh. as he finds more than one member. Can't battle through Save that. Save and Team Secret this time a relatively easy push through. And what you mentioned, I mean, Death, perhaps being a little wary of the potential breach, Util wants to counteract it with a curveball when it's near the site. But this time the timing not read correctly by Zeta. No give yeah. Yeah, it's it's just, uh, a little bit kind of anticipating more of this mid pressure trying to be a little bit more prepared members for it. Ah, this time members go. Team Secret just says we're going to challenge you off the rip. We're going to go for the fast blast back in case there is that stack of initiator you or not initiator utility in the case of depth but those flashes and those kind of things that are often going to be a couple of choke points on the map but so far not going to work out as with an operator no credits to back it up so Looking for the, the so pick in the exit with the run. Karenge, give away to Jeremy's though. gonna start to clear this, so there's one, and oh my goodness, the timing there. He has to start to run away from this rendezvous. Team Secret won't greet for it either. A couple of members are a little low Come on back trend, so find out about the operator. They'll let it be in the hands of Laz for now. Yeah, and the extra economic damage there for Laz, very important as Team Secret was also on just broke credits for behind this buy. And a really Tali nice take there. Really good read from Team Secret. Now you're, seeing, now you're seeing now you're seeing this combo of the Sova, the Phoenix, the Omen, and Laz over on this A side to try to contest this pressure. Going back to what we saw a couple rounds ago. Almost worked for them in their bonus. Yeah, but there's that early blast back again. And sure there's a trade from Laz, but Dev goes down four. Euron creeps in, but he gets tagged right inside the cyber cage. Barely makes it out with his life. Now down to seven HP. There's a rolling thunder. They're trying to just jump all in. Hero runs good for the stabilization on one kill. There's the backup from Euron. It's not good. It's gonna be a quick swarm from Team Secret. As they lead three to two, yeah, they've got a they've got a good read on how to deal with some of this util, able to get that spot early onto Dap and make his life uncomfortable. Yes, Laz is there for the trade, but not very fast. You can see they're going to try to bully this angle. Excuse me. Get past it with Jeremy's blast back. So far, 
been working pretty darn ये well. क्या है ये चैट की नशा है पांच सौ रुपए दिया करो जैसी कॉल्ड फॉर द फिस्ट बम रेड बढ़ गया चैट मैन इट्स जस्ट सो क्वाइट ही लाइक ऑलराइट फिस्ट बम ऑलराइट ये बाय रेड बड़ा है कुत्ता बढ़ गए गेट द टूर टू फोर्स यू हैव अ हंटर्स फ्यूरी एंड अ न्यूरल थेफ्ट फोर टीम सीक्रेट एंड नाउ यू आर गेटिंग दैट चोक पॉइंट असल का आवाज ऑलरेडी कम है यार इट्स टीम सीक्रेट ऑन द अदर साइड ऑफ द मैप इन फैक्ट गोना बी एबल टू गेट द ऑर्ब ओवर टू डेप गेट दोस रन इट बैक साइक्लिंग एज क्विकली एज पॉसिबल ये बिग गे ये गोरमी वाचिंग मिड विद दैट चेंबर that smoke goes towards mid not going to catch anybody just seeing this the pick is yeah any picks too actually Buddy. Buddy. gets another one for his troubles barely escapes it on the side of hero but still damage done site opened up here for team secret they're going to be able to get their pick of plant and it should be the default one they'll have a great post play situation already holding on to be main there's a molly the paranoia keeps the time ducks for now so it's a quick flood in from zeta division but dev goes down instantly and that just breaks the part the entire fight a team secret will just pounce on because that is not in the main chat they would have the long range fights on the exit against team secret but they held their ground yeah, it seems like right now team secret is guessing really nicely on where the defenses won't be and that that helps that you get that pick that is absolutely nuts my jesse is back to find another so jesse on that sova right back into his comfort yeah lotus was a map to forget for sure for jesse but he, he he is a veteran he's been there done that he's had plenty of ups and downs throughout his career so it's not phase him in the slightest and certainly a necessary timeout for zeta see if they can figure out a way to rahi, lekin, chat rate nahi bada rahi lekin chat rate barabar bada rahi hai see what the discussion is here as they've already made some adjustments this is the man a 5700 editing in that previous round trying to hold on to a main control and you mentioned it i mean that's something that this composition was very good at a lot of compositions they rely on the retakes for a it's always left empty just the one way for a little bit of time and a little bit of clearance if it's not a rush but this version here with the phoenix off a time so take over a main control But what after that? Can you hold on to the other side? Can you hold on to the reach barely through? Like points. Their choice on this map of sunset. Zeta Division coming out of the timeout. We'll see what the differences are. Those are most of the teams that are in the world with number one. Yeah, gonna have to scrape together. Yeah, Laz able to. Oh, I'm one v one. Make a round with the force in the previous round. But I'll show you the five thousand seven hundred. Right. Whenever there's a timeout, you gotta watch out for that potential tiles push. Right. Over on sunset, of course, not gonna be there, especially without the rains. It's not as easy hello. to figure out. Did see a little bit of that, a little bit of combo between. I got no idea. Attention, they didn't give away. But people need to know this. You, you, you do have to be aware of it. And very much are. And it's gonna be once again left on to Laz. On the more you give, the more love you get. Everybody's still waiting for uh, this yeah. hit. I mean, you can I mean, see. If he's gone there, language. it was disaster waiting for him. Yeah. Right, the paranoia, the fault line, all of it, ready to counter it out. And now they'll try to re-clear. They did hear the old. Me, I've been to two minutes of Valor. Didn't actually secure it, and Team Secret will catch sight of that. This spy cam up on the parasol. We'll be able to check out all of mid as well. Laz gets pushed back. Now Secret, when they did this in the pistol round, they just assumed that backup would have arrived, that the other side would be weak. But this time, they've already kept all their forces on the A side. No pushes out from B main. They will just Fight continue Milia. to go through, fight against the retake. Drone to clear the site. Is there a timing from Sugar Zero to peek around A short? Doesn't look like it for the time being. Site given up. For Team Secret, Spike should be able to get planted safely. Yeah, gonna be a tricky retake with some weaker weapons in the mix for Zeta, but already doing so oh, much damage. So good. many pings, but all right behind the walls as well. The Paranoia already sent by Sugar Zero, and a now the Showstopper. It keeps Zeta Division at bay. Doesn't find a kill, but it's bought a lot of time, and the post plant is perfect now from Team Secret. There's Huntress Fury, NDG answers right before it lands, but Team Secret, they're still seeing it. Another sure one will equalize with a double kill off of that ultimate. Oh, a bit of body block on that double swing allows Envy to eliminate both members of Zeta Division, and now all down to Sugar Hero, who gets fault line on the entry into the site. The Team Secret, Bye, Secret is looking strong in a row. Rating ke baat hai rate ke nahi excuse me just does not look comfortable at all for Zeta every decision they're making on where to over stack seems to be the wrong one because they're giving me some good welcome jab bhi hoga tabhi aap aapko with their utility with their, utility, with their patience to make sure that there's not any trap set that's what was really killing 
GE on this map as they were running into these traps trying to force their way through it. Secret not falling for any of the shenanigans so far. Once again, you're kind of splitting into that 2-1-2 early for Zeta. The operator over on to B to watch it. Very different looks. Zeta having to dig a little bit deeper. Deeper, trying some different defaults to see if they can get some early success. I am the Dadzi of the gaming. Uh, team Tinker just happy. Huh? Yeah, they try to just death ball with their util to break these angles open. And they just have the read, right? They know the tendencies know. of Zeta right now to try to overcompensate for that previous round. This time a little bit heavier presence on A on the default. Now, Zeta Division That's has reset XQ. into a position where they're able to provide fast backup on either side of the map. But we'll see, is it going to be fast enough? The drone taken out, he does have to rendezvous as the swing comes in. There's a peach as well, he doesn't have an exit away from this. He'll just barely stay alive in the corner, but there's the chase through from Jeremy. Good coverage from Depp. There's a quick backup, we talked about there, Furball at the ready for yet another push. Are They're going to hold the line, but Furball's used during all this yeah, Borkum, yeah. trying to open up mid, allow his teammates to try to rotate across, but there's going to be two members watching for this lurk, and Team Secret will reset. They're going to pretend that they've rotated over to A. There's a pressure from NDG. Draws out the peak from Death. And what a bait and switch I for Team exactly Secret. Now they have the numbers advantage going on to the B site. Everyone tagged by the Neural Depth. Sugar Zero, he has to shroud step out, but it's just not oh, far enough. He's actually able to turn back around. There's a cover from Laz. Uh -oh. Answering right back on the bait and switch the double. And now the beat thins the numbers down. It's a 2v2 oh. on the retake for Zeta Division, up in the hand of Laz. This is so challenging now for them. Just having that one rifle. Let's see if Laz is going to be able to swap over. Nope, he's going to make a go for it. Jesse holding the angle. Clearing angles one by one. It's going to be a double push all the way around. Do they find it here right below? They do, but Jesse Vash gets the first kill. Trying Short to by for map two, and he ah, will have to clutch for the teammates here map at Rondi. I mean, Jesse, oh, it does. so comfortable on the Sova. So good with it. So good at getting information. Even when things start to slip Indian sideways, he's immediately there with some of his utility to get the spots. This is a great trap they set up. Vidit Sets it to the overcommit towards the road from Zeta. And just a little bit too keen. Team is a can number two. What is the bird with the two players? Try to go through mid, and it's completely shut down. Don't get right to be fired up. They are rocking and rolling, and Zeta is left scratching their heads. Economy in the gutter once again. Humpy, humpy. I mean, this composition it looked so dominant against Global Esports last week. Sure, there was a bit of a surprise factor. I'm certain. But everyone firing on all sides. The division looks locked in. But today, perhaps the pressure getting to him a little bit. But of course, as you've mentioned, Team Secret understanding the tendencies but of the team. But you're not going to be able to do that. But you're not going to be able to do that. But you're not going to be able to do that. Now, another. No audio, just creep up for contact. And I'm going to be able to do that. And I'm going to be able to do that. And I'm going to be able to do that. And I'm going to be able to do that. And I'm going to be able to do that. And I'm elbow here on the A site. And they've always got the breach ready with a stun in case there is a trap there, mm -hmm. which makes it a lot more difficult for Depp to do what he's got to do with his utility. So I'm awake now, my bishop is up. He's going to use this to try to sneak in the corner. I have a hard time imagining that's going to fool Team Secret too much if he sticks there. Holding a bit of an off angle though, right? That's a special bet, and he will get one. But they're going to try to chase through. The snake bite, now there's the aftershock. He can't get away from it in time. Oh, he does, but there's a crossfire and the spray through the smoke. And now everyone swarming onto the site. It's just sheriffs in the hands of Zeta Division. Yes, you can be good for one kill, but there's still quite a few more members that you'll have to battle through. S site given over. Spike planted. Yeah, okay. Spike planted. Another okay. tremendously difficult retake. Yes, you've got the headhunter. Yes, you've got a sheriff. You got all the Phoenix utility as well to work with, but what can you dial up? The two star players for Zeta. No, nope. oh, that's a quick peek out from Jesse and some good movement to dodge that and a bait and switch on the reload. Borkum covering for his fellow <laughs> <Mets>. <laughs> Secret leads seven to two here in round nine. It's scary. You got a rolling <laughs> thunder <laughs> as well. Lunch to boot. Put that yeah. Viper's pit. Magnus consider using that. Language. To kind of bully your way through it if you're going to put it at the front of one of the mains or something like that. And, I think and, uh, like not much you can do, but uh, the continuous cycle of buys into the ecos for the side of Zeta has just really, really hurt them. Yes, you're able to get the operator back into Laz's hands now. 
Is this going to be the round where they stabilize? Is this going to be the round where they turn it on its head? Pacey hit towards B main. Excuse me, Yuran trying to buy a little bit of time there. But space taken, utility to clear all these angles. Yeah, and that might allow Team Secret to save this Rolling Thunder for the post plant as well. This is going to be a near impossible round here. They even drop the utility. Now Depp will pounce on that opportunity. Site reopened, but Jeremy in market. He's created a bit of a chasm. He'll get traded out by Hero Run, but look at this. Borkum already all the way digging into a site. Rolling Thunder still in line for Envy. See if he gets spotted here in mid, though. Bad he, bad bad he knows that there might be a rotate, ah, nah. but they're yeah, also aware that they have a spot machine for just yet. And Laz turning away on a timing here. That's going to allow Team Secret to slowly creep in. He has no idea that Borkum could be this deep. And Borkum, he may just get the absolute jackpot. Not just the chamber, but perhaps everyone has a chamber. He gets spotted on the shoulder. And that is going to be the anchor down. Envy now creeping up in safety after noting that the operator has been eliminated. Rolling Thunder still online for the post. They can hold far and out the elbow. Zeta, they know they may not have enough time. They have to start pushing through. The fault line changes hey, them at bay. Borkum waiting for the push. No rush on the side of oh, Team Secret. It's only Thunder on a timer as well, right okay. as the tap comes in. Yuren gets spotted, and he's there's the crossfire as they know that everyone is stunned up inside the site. Another great round okay. from Bye, Team Abhi Secret. Soa ke aage just, again, great reads from Team Secret. Don't overcommit to anything. Wait for hai. the contact from Depp. And then they switch sides of the map, and Laz is just left on Aritz an island. No yeah. idea that Zeta? Borkum has gotten no, no. past all the defenses there. Just Candidates not really aware. Yeah, uh, the players have kind of being able to slip the nets of their Samadru. initial contact plays and stuff like that. They just haven't felt comfortable to go for them. I haven't seen any of those setups that we saw against Varna e. Sen e. Sen got got so and More time to clash. sitting at the front of a main, trying to just buy some time, get some kills, get some good trades. None of that has been able to be even attempted by Zeta. They just don't look comfortable. They don't look like they have really figured out how to handle the way that Team Secret is approaching the beginning yeah. of the round. Why, the why don't you try some stand-up well. comedy? Yeah, I mean, it has to be something on the lines you're normally so expecting, expecting the breach comp to take the initiative, right? Use the util first to clear out one part of the map, and then you can try to answer back, and then the attackers will have to wait on that cooldown, but Team Secret just says, no, nah, we'll wait, because worst case, we're the, on the attack side. Like we can group up and death bar ball bar in. When the timer starts to run down to the 30-second mark, throwing like Zeta the division for a loop for sure. And it's Zeta. The, the diligence with the yeah, utility from Jesse bala, and bala, Borkum. Bala, bala. Picks off Sugar Zero through mid. Depth's there to try to trade. Oh, but he finds one. Oh, okay. He don't know that he's on the flank. He's looking. He wants to. Can't quite connect on to the second, and that activates the pit. Zeta Division with a bit of a broken buy here, only two rifles in hand. This may be one of the best shots they have, but Depp just cannot find the escape, trying to go the long way out. Last hey, to to the the pit. Pit. That gives him one more opportunity, but how in the world NDG just swims through the pit to find the shark within it, and now it's just your own, all alone with a rifle. He gets stunned, he gets blinded, and then he gets like, pounced upon yeah, by Borkum. So Laz, Vandal in hand, like one v three crossfire no? set up by Borkum as the first is obstacle. Is it's going to be a clean one, 4K for Borkum. Nine to two lead for Team Secret. It's, it's just brilliance from Team Secret. They clearly had enough time to prep this map. They clearly felt comfortable leaving this open. Yeah, some people uh, might question the ascent man. ban. Doesn't matter. I mean, they're just every move that Zeta wants to make is just thwarted every single time. And it just doesn't feel like Zeta has an understanding of the map themselves. It doesn't feel like they have an understanding of the space that's being left open by their positionings. And once again, it's just that same old default from them, not changing up a single thing in terms of their early round positions. And it hasn't worked yet, so. Maybe now you're going to wait a little bit and then send Depp in towards A main. Hirodon going to let loose with the drone to try to set him up, but it's actually just been abandoned already. Team Secret throwing yet another change. They're going to try to maybe overstack mid, able to dodge the Owl drone by himself as last. Oh, Borkum's ready for it as well. Doesn't quite land the shot, though. Wanted to creep a little bit deeper into that corner. Zeta finally 
Some early advantages, around, right? Clearing out AB, holding them. that a bit closer I should now by Shigeru. Able to clear out tiles, tiles still allow the rest of the teammates, the teammates to slowly take turns rotating over to B. Showstopper online, it gets activated. There's Andres Fury to help clear out the site as well. Jeremy, he has been slowed down, so he can't but quite Spike get all the way in. It. But eventually he'll send it all the way deep into Boba, just keeping them at bay. It's a quick swing out from Mark and a spray down through the cyber cage. That's going to be the double kill on the side of Zeta Division. Now a 5v2 all the way down to just Jeremy. This one surely looks tough yeah. for the duel as it's going to be a Thank triple you. kill for Euron. Well, finally, Zeta is able to react a little bit better to this early round uh, sort of lack of presence that Team Secret's been showing where they shift Depp over quickly, able to catch Borkum trying to go for that lurk. But then they're very quick to understand that a lot of Team Secret, what they've been doing is finding where Depp is and then going the other way. <laughs> and then like, yep. this this time Depp is like, oh, I'm going right back over to the other side. Now, it, it wasn't super fast. Like, the other players doing their job on the other side of the map, but they finally got a read on it, but it might have been too little too late. We'll see. 9 3. Lots of I fans love you, still in the crowd to cheer on two teams playing away from home turf here on BCT Pacific, having to play in Seoul, South Korea, trying to gather more local fans as well as global fans here on the stage. Zeta Division, of course, made a big wave, but that's starting to run out on a timer. They're looking to rejuvenate themselves. Trying to get refresh back, no? That reputation. Zero. Well, your friend Dragon here, here to, to see Zeta. Zeta. At least you're getting to see Last Chamber, right? So True. there I have is no that. Regrets. And it's a good day. Yeah, I mean, I, I, look, Me you too. got to see some uh, exciting Those stuff on Lotus. Like like for sure. <laughs> we haven't seen their attacker side, really, for the side of Zeta, because they blew G out of the water yes. on their defender side. So we don't know exactly yeah. too much, other than one pistol round and a follow-up of what this is going to look like. But that doesn't really give you much information at all on how this attacker side could develop, if it develops. I mean, who knows? Team Secret might just shut them out of this with the way they're playing. Next match comes out, yeah, match, yeah. Try to remind Zeta of how powerful they can be. Sure, it was Zeta that eliminated Team Secret from the LCQ Grand Finals, taking their spot at Champions 2023. But Team Secret, they're looking to get that point Right now in this match above them, try to set themselves up for success in 2024. Zeta Division starting off the pistol round. Early B pressure, playing for the anti-flash as well. They won't see anything, so it's a free orb taken. You know, not too much loss on the A main side, just the one way. Zeta happy to wait. Cute recon dart there from Hiralon to clear the back of that, mm -hmm. that box that's on B main. Make sure, because a lot of teams like to sneak a player back there, especially with a breach in Let's the mix. Go. He has a great angle Did for a fault I, line down me. those stairs. So, but the bridge was the to, yes. Zeta to at least clear that, setting up for what's looking like behavior. Yeah, yeah, it's a fast <laughs> one with the paranoia as well. Depp just trying to keep someone at bay over by Boba. He's going to have to heal up. Now they are stuck here with the recon. Everyone gets pinged. They know the paranoia coming in from mid as well, but Depp answers back with the first shot. It's going to have to slow Team Secret down. Not quite confident on the pinch just yet. Borkum will get one. Whole team stabilizing, but Depp, he's going on the flank. He wants to create a bit of a fracture here against Team Secret. Team Secret continues to take out his teammates. This flank may have taken just too long as the spike is now stranded in mid. Two remaining members of the division stuck in the side of B. Spike located, Plank smoked out, right away from market, only 20 seconds. Hero Run has to swing out on a timer, but Depp once again, is it gonna be too far for him to lurk around? His footstep being heard, and it's a quick swing out, a clean pistol, keep it. secret. Secret, well, you Now you gotta seriously consider some kind of force buy, potentially, as Zeta. Story mode they're, go nahi. they're just gonna keep Dragon, the bait no? and save it up for a later day. Looks like that is gonna be the answer, but yeah, the mid pressure here, so well timed by Secret. Even though the control of market is somewhat gained by Zeta, it never felt comfortable. It never felt like they were safe. So they pressed a little bit, try to change angles. Once again, Secret has the read. Now Jeremy with the outlaw, four specters behind it, just a sheriff for Hiradon. And then classics about, of course, you have the headhunter as well for Laz, but there's that one of those fault line angles, oh. difficult to deal with. But it's not wrapped the angle you say. Usko we'll marte marte. Away from that early utility presence shown through me. Yeah, it's no upper that the drone. Drone oh. gonna get all the info. Yeah, that but is a high drone. 
gets a lot of information now because the tripwire was broken here as Step was trying to actually catch a shot on Jesse Vash. But that does mean that Jesse wants to stick around. He doesn't want to let go of this area. And if he dies here, that's the Spectre dropped. It's a curveball, barely right around the box. Good repositioning by the IGL. Yeah, he's so smart. Not willing to give up any extra guns if possible. Zeta trying to get the drone. He's been heard. Oh, oh, Can't repeat be. that against the likes of Laz. I like the idea from Envy. Thought he had a timing after hearing that first step, but. The important part is, is weapon not recovered by Zeta Division. So Team Secret, they still have the firepower. Now the cam to watch for Elbow. NDG, he's got all the sides covered. Lots of damage on the both sides of Laz and Borgum. NDG we to eh? pinch is now coming through. Tripwire on the other side by the boxes. But he's been pinked out. Cybercase to try to stay alive. Now the pinch is coming through. There's the curveball and Dep. And Yeram barely avoiding those. As Borkum gets ticked down just a bit further. Dep down to 8 HP. 12 for Laz, Bye. but he just needs one shot. With Flawless the and it's down to Jeremy once more, this time Flawless. with a singular outlaw. Spike planted, sight absolutely filled up by members of Zeta. Flawless thirsty, and man. He just does not have much to no. do. Yeah, I mean, it's... Gotta save this by one. Yeah, end it's just too hard. I mean, good look. luck getting through this. And, and Zeta with finally getting that chamber to come online, to get some of those headhunters to connect, really helping open things up, a good paranoia flash combo there. Next one, I want to give him a bleed to this one. He's on the site to keep him flashed up. So he never had really much hope there against the combined forces of Depp and Yuron. Both eight mil rounds. That's, that's what you're looking for with this combo, staggering these flashes, staggering this utility to try to lock your opponents down and lock them out. And a Thrifty may have just kept Zeta alive in this match. The absolute most crucial timing for it as well, right? Break down the economy just a bit as it was four Spectres on top of the Outlaw. Purchased by Team Secret. It's before you get to match point. So Zeta, second lease on this match. Trying to go for an extra match Last victory. Trying around. to get another championship point. Yeah, as they have always yeah. been. You know, the shining representative for Japanese Valor. But DFN is hot on their match. heels this season. <laughs> ah, so they can't sit on their laurels any longer. Love to see it. That's for sure. Big push out to a main by Team Secret. There's a trademark there. Give them a little bit of awareness if the aggression continues for Team Secret. But it looks to be a hold with the Outlaw just trying to utilize this one way. See if they can find anybody overstepping. But Zeta What's wise to it. And just looking for that aggression. A lot like we saw Team Secret early on in some of their rounds. Happy to hold this. Happy to see if there's a tiles crunch or something like that. Ooh, the re-clear. Nice and spotted shot. Quick double shot out from Jeremy even through the wall. We'll pick up the kill. And, I mean, Team Secret, this is something that Zeta possibly picked up as well. Team Secret sometimes pushing out a little too far. And, I mean, they wait for it. And Secret says, not this time. We're holding that angle with the outlaw and Okay, you do good, you get lots of love, you do he bad, get you get spotted it. Right at the end. That. Last quick with the swivel. Draw some attention, but seeing as it's just a chamber, no over no overreaction from Secret. But look at the timer, 40 Abhi seconds. Zeta's got seconds. more than enough time to rotate back. You see the pings from Team Secret. They sense that this could be happening, but they don't really have an option. Jesse Vash just has to go for a bit of a Hail Mary, trying to check if he can get a cheeky kill. Smoke about to dissipate. He's hiding away. There's the curveball. That's a hard one to ante. And Depp will break open the site for Zeta. Nah, that's such a difficult spot to be in. That's why the curveball is so good on this God. map. And with a Sheriff actually connects on to Laz. Takes a bit of damage hai. himself, but holding on for dear life for Team Secret. Yeah, those Spectres right that Zeta picked up, not as great at long range. But try to hold a little bit closer. You see Sugar Zero holding very close right outside of the entrance. Yoron's going to get one at long range towards main. And Sugar Bapre. Zero will get taken down by the Outlaw. Bapre. It's a 2v2 two Envy. Two gets another kill with the Sheriff. Both members so low. But Depp also not at full health. Now a Spectre picked up 16 HP. Depp will shut him down. And that's five rounds on the board for Zeta. Ki, ult gaya, Phoenix ka. Team Zeger not making it easy. Envy looking really good with that outlaw. And catching Zeta just getting a little bit, a little bit kind of over aggressive on the timing. And Tell like you said, well, I think you hit the nail on the head that, that, that Zeta expects them to have backed off at that point if they haven't showed any aggression within the first minute of the round or so. Instead, it gets them a pick. It's not simple. I'm blind. I'm going to left. Go, three man, the right. Go. Some of those really difficult 90 degree corners that you have to get around on this map. <laughs> so good for that. That's absolutely what you want to be using them for. So, credit where credit's due. 
can get some serious value out of that. Laz with an op just oh, is like, nope, just I did not have out. that angle. <laughs> wow, we yeah, definitely not prepared, knowing his limits on that one. Would have been an inhuman flick to be able to scope in on time. So gives up a little bit of aim main control, but Zeta, curious to see if there's a pushback out. They hear the door is being closed, so that's the timing for them to reclaim some control over mid, at least maybe break that door. Create a bit of a distraction, pull away no, no. some of that weight from Team Secret from the entrance of the site all the way back towards mid. Yeah, that's what they're trying to do, but Team Secret really just holding back. Trap's not moving a muscle, setting up for kind of a util crunch. You got the paranoia, you got the breach util here towards A. Drone to clear a little bit of space, trying to hide from it and successfully do Team Secret. See if Zeta can read it. So, the ball over to Elbow, but is there a pinch from Jeremy? He's gonna swing out on a timing. He gets the kill on the oh, spike shit. and he snaps on the two. A. Paranoia dodged Misses. as well. Jeremy's still alive, eventually goes down. And now Look Envy that. on the side all alone. Run it back, trying to clear it. Depp, he would like nothing more than to get this kill. Left. He wants to open the site up for Ayyo, his you and he does it. It's quick backup though. This fight has lasted too long. And Team Secret, they're ready to fill it back up. Jesse Bash, the shroud of step is red. He's now filled up behind the generator. 2v2. Blaze Wall put up to try to get an entry on the site. But it's just a sliver of an angle. And Secret will continue to lead 11 to 5. Jesse Bolte! Agitation allowed Jesse to sneak into that smoke and catch Sugar Zero completely off guard. Thought he could TP behind the generator safely on site. Could not. And that's the op forked over as well to Jeremy, who's been really sharp so far. And it's just a wait there. Those curveballs just expecting Depp to try to use that pressure that he gets with those angles. Depp feels like he he knows that he can chase that player down around those corners with those curveballs that basically has him dead to right. But Jeremy knows that as well and steps out with a perfect timing to get two big kills. Paranoia even dodged. Okay, but that didn't matter, but yeah, I'm just, just looks yeah. off balance. They just don't look like they have that level of coordination. It, just looks like every time they bam, kind of bam, get a bam, slight bam, advantage, bam, bam, Team Secret bam, 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 gets a great bam, read, bam, and Jesse bam, makes bam, some good bam. calls, both individually and in the macro sense, to shut things good down. Morning, bus, bus, good so morning. It's, it's going to be tough now. You're going to have to dig deep as Zeta if you're going to bring this one back. Two rounds away from taking this match, our Team Secret. I got the 730. See if this timeout works, it's magic. So far, they haven't really been able to find much success off of the timeouts for Zeta. Not able to recover too much in terms of round score lines. technically Zeta Let's see if this time, as it might be the last chance that they have, both of their timeouts now used up. They won't get more unless they take it all the way to overtime. Showstopper online for Jeremy. Off in his hands as well. Not I'll a full them. buy. By alt Zeta. commit ho jai, bus. Jeremy ke alt commit ho jai. Zeta can work some of more of their magic. Some of these weaker buys. Laz, of course, one away from that tour to force. Tradition attack. Expectation from the side of Team Secret. Laz just trying to work underneath that classic fire. It's a full-on push in towards oh mid. God. This information from Jesse is so Jeremy huge. Jeremy Now mid taken over by Deka. Zeta, but Jeremy's there with the op for the crossfire as well. And as you mentioned, this has been read by Team Secret. Look at the lines they're holding, just holding on to market. Otherwise, it's all back towards spawn and mid. Not hey, allowing for any of these hai. weapons to be given over, any of those easy kills being given over either. Jesse holding close with the judge. That's that's tough for Laz. Let's see if he can get a good angle or a good read on it, but you don't expect uh, this judge here. Oh, this is tough. It's a judge and it's a one-shot kill. Yeah, we've seen the judge have a couple whiffs this week, but not today as we see a quick feed now. Double burst by the Bulldog. Borkum hides himself right behind the enemy's poison cloud, but he's already been decayed. He goes down to a headshot Chalo. as well from Uran. Close to tomorrow, I'll tomorrow we'll go more bad. Showstopper online as well. And Team Secret, if they win this round, it is going to be match point next for them. <laughs> See if they just swarm in. They don't even need to use the Showstopper. Uran, he needs to get the absolute transfer of his life. And it will not happen. One round away from Team Secret finally bringing home a match win, trying to get another match win for Group Alpha here at VCT Pacific. Hey, it's just brutal. As long as Jesse has Jesse information, got Team Secret just Abhi can't nahi hai na, nahi hai. do anything wrong. Uh, he's so good today on Icebox and on Sunset. And he just reads Rat, rat, 
Raz, Laz, <laughs> like a book, and just puts him out. And now you're on an even worse buy. As Zeta, you do have the tour to four, sure. But you have a Guardian and a Sheriff outside of that. But it's in the lane. All the tools in the world for Team Secret, other than the Rolling Thunder. That's the only alt not available for them. And this is certainly going to leave Zeta scratching their heads about what they could have done different. Team Secret looked to be finally getting themselves on the board. Much needed win. We talked about how much time it takes to get to the minimum two wins. But in front of the alt is still one of the top three people in the group. And with the format here in stage one, where you're all just playing the same opponents on the other side, you got to get those points early, because otherwise you may just get shut out towards the later parts of the week. Rejuvenated Zeta trying to stop that from happening, but Team Secret currently one round away, holding the line, filled up on B-Site, A pretty much emptied up, just scouting for info from Elbow. There's the fault line. Pushes Zeta back even further at the 50 team, second mark. Yeah, they have hard. control Excuse of mid, me. but not all the way through As to A's really A's create A's a push A's and A's pull. A's He's A's just A's scouting A's. to see if there's a push out from Tiles. Yeah, this is so tricky now for Zeta. I mean, the good news is they've guessed correctly. Just bork them all on his own right now over on the A side. This has to be fast. They have to be decisive if they're going to get oh, this round. The Hunter's Fury being used oh early. God. I thought it might just be a retake, but they know that they don't have time. Now down to 25 right. seconds right. off of this. We'll see if maybe even the showstopper comes out in time. Borkum shuts him down with a double kill. Tucks behind Bartum. the generator. Jesse Bash is now here. Not able to get a kill yet. Zeta, some heroics. But the showstopper, it is just to pie time. He has to peek out. He gets one kill right under him. Spike gets planted as the trade comes through. A 2v2 Zeta fighting for their oh life. Has last to Spike be in. The moment the Zeta fans have been waiting for. Our heroic tour de force. Just barely, just barely. Kya I mean, if it isn't bhai, for those last heroics, uh, frankly, Team Secret Kya does so many good things in this round. The the Hunter's Fury to confirm the presence to set up Borkum for the double, the flash there to keep him off balance, wow, but it bhai. just caught Laz in the back. That is Man. snappy, snappy from Laz. Wow, but it might be bhai. too little, too late. It's going to take six rounds in a row just to force an overtime. Yeah, and how many more of those can you have? I mean, even in the maps that Zeta has won in the past, yeah, there's a lot of those rounds, but you got to get them early to buy yourself some time. This time it's a I fast push, tiles push from Team Secret. They They've already they cleared it out. Little do they know, Yuren's still on the alert. The trademark watching their back, but the Blaze doing a lot of damage on its own against Jesse Vash. Judge found. And Zeta will finally slow things down. Trademark activated here by Jeremy. Oh my. Trying to watch if there's a lurk. The pain shows to keep them at bay. Now, Yuren and Jeremy both not quite aware. Yuren surely right, knows about timing Jeremy's here. position, but Jeremy yeah, yeah. just W King here. He's just going for it. He's like, I saw Borkum do this earlier. I think I can do it too. Well, a little, I mean, the difference so is Jesse Bash is ready for it. Right. Jeremy surely must have seen or heard, heard something. Him. Oh, never mind, but the util's out in hand for Jesse Vash. Even on the Sova, the timing plays him to this day. Jeremy peeks out at the oh, double ding mara. range, not doing them any good. Double ding, triple ding mara, no, no. But now the site held by Uran. A short's a dangerous factor, so they'll have to go through all the way on elbow. Uran gonna fill the site first, clears it out for Dev. They're trying to get in. Dev gets the kill with the stinger at low HP, a close range curveball. And it's seven on the board. Zeta trying to push towards the top. I mean, it'd be one of the crazier comebacks that you've ever seen. It, it felt like Team Secret had this. There might even be a timeout at some point here from Warbirds. No, no, no. It's not time to buy. Again, tricky position from the side of Team Secret, trying to hide themselves in spots. Just the weaponry not really there to convert. Uh, and frankly, good reads again. I think Jeremy. Puts himself in a perfect spot, and yeah, absolutely. Dial okay. up something a little bit special here. See if you could just knock this one out from Zeta. Match ka ka last well, ka you, know, you had to feel comfortable about Sunset. Honestly, I could have seen Zeta picking Sunset coming into this yeah. uh, series. It was on my mind for sure that it would likely be left open as both teams had perma base. Like so far, though, I mean, you gotta love the way that Warbirds and company. Have got themselves ready it's for this. Game, uh, boy. Bleed. Really doesn't feel comfortable ever. It feels like every time they've got an idea, they feel like they've got a good read. Hard, it's just countered perfectly by Team Secret. And I 
again, it all comes down to Jesse Bash and that utility. He has tremendous awareness of the map, and he knows right when to throw those drones out. He knows right when you're going to be, you know, pressuring him. You saw it in that previous round with the Judge. Even though he doesn't connect with any of it, he still read that play pretty darn well. Sure, yeah, the positioning there ahead of the pack of Zeta Division. <laughs> now, off the timeout, Zeta <laughs> trying to up the pace once again. They're all stacked on the A side. Trademark held close, so this looks to be a rush, but... It's going to be a fault line, maybe even the Rolling Thunder to follow up. up if the fight continues, as that ultimate is online. Fault line to push out. Ronnie, but only the chamber show. Zeta throwing a bit of a fake out here with the presence. Charal -ti, trying, bhai, to Charal -ti. trying to see if they can get him over committing to try to chase Laz down, but it's going to be a press. And he's already past that alley. They're all stuck in there. The paranoia comes out. Now it's going to be the run it back. And the Rolling Thunder use as well. Zeta, fairly well aware of this. They've drawn out. The Rolling Thunder and two crucial like, pieces yeah, of utility. Yeah, huh? No reset, not gaining that much more yeah, space. Only the one way refreshed on A main. Yeah. You're happy to trade a, ro a run it back for a Rolling Thunder any day of the week there as Zeta. So great utilization of their ultimates to bait out some of the utility of their opponents. Now going to go and on a bit of an explore so through mid is Depp over to B main. Problem so has a lot of pressure on him as the Sova to keep control of that space, but are they going to be expecting some of those trap wires? Look at that one on the far left-hand side of yeah. the site. That is that is a tricky one. Noticing that a lot of those players like to try to take those angles potentially for Zeta. Exactly. The From the Shadows is going to spot Yura, and he's going to clear it out late. Left. And Zeta thinks that that's enough. I mean, they think that it's going to be a shift over from Team Secret. They want to find this opportunity while the Life From the Shadows is going off. Jeremy already gets one kill. The Fault Light's going to keep one place locked up. Sugar Zero there for the trade. But now they're all gummed up on a short. Eventually will arrive on the site, but elbow not cleared. It's up to Uran. There's still a high low, and he cannot find the first shot. Two people left, Depp and Sugar Zero, two of the vets of the core of Zeta Division to try to continue this best of three. Paint shells pushes them out. There's a recon, all the utility to funnel them in. So much damage being done through the smoke. Team Secret there just slowly choking in onto the site, and eventually they will clear it. GG! Brings home a desperate well, third match win Britska. for Group Alpha as they will get one on the board. And getting their revenge for their loss in LCQ last year. Able to do something many teams could not Pacific last yes, year. Take a map off of Zeta when Laz is on Zeta. And from a 13 to 1 to now a loss for Zeta. A lot oh, to be considered for sure, but this is just a beautiful read. And you see it there from Jesse in that last round, even that recon dart when it's clear. He knows exactly where it got cleared from. He's spamming Depth's angle, and then they just say, oh, he's stuck there. He can't do anything about us. We eliminate Sugar Zero. We take this round. Just beautiful, beautiful stuff on Zunset from Team Secret. Yeah, I mean, despite having used some crucial skills as well, right? Like the Rolling Thunder, still no panic from Team Secret. So you give them a week. That's all they need to prep against some of the crazier things we've seen in VCT Pacific. They might not look the strongest when they come out swinging out the door, but they will continue Let's to grow as they pick up their first match win. And Zero of course, their first Jan championship point uh. towards Champion Soul 2024 here at the VCT. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Much, so much going well for Team Secret there. Well, what a great look for both teams. Let's send it over to the analyst to review what happened here a on heavy Sunset. Matcha. Well, it looks like Team Lead Secret has RRQ. been activated in another victory against Zeta Division and their first victory coming into the Stage 1, earning another championship point. Okay, how did you do it? How did you do it? Alpha Group can breathe the sigh of relief collectively a little bit. They were able I still to finally get another want. match victory. Had the fight for it, a decent little run back there from it's Zeta uh, at the end to make it make us believe a little bit more. But overall, Secret doing exactly what I said they needed to do after that. This match is RRQ versus Blade. It was a devastating loss for them. They come in here, completely focus up, ignoring what had just transpired. They focus on the task at hand, clearly studying a lot of the defensive setups to the side of, of Zeta. They only showed two rounds of attack when they beat Global Esports. It was so one-sided for them. They had all the right ideas about how to break through. And that was one hell of a reset. I mean, watch some of these rounds. Not only did we have uh, kind of a lopsided half, you know, let's just call it what it is. It really was like 9-3. Zeta lost nine rounds in a row, only managed to come back at the end of the first half. That was just one round. 
uh, throughout the whole time, you had amazing post plants, amazing takes from Team Secret because they had their own little secret plan Need after having this? studied Zeta Division's game plan. Uh, uh, Jesse Vash completely redeemed himself, by the way. I mean, maybe oh, not yeah. a lot of amazing kills, but the way that he played the Sova, very different from, you know, Yuron or Hiroron. Uh, there are so many moments where he's able to toss the recon bolt so behind no. smokes. And because of that, players like Envy are unable to get so many good kills. They're always foiling Zeta Division. Oh. 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 from like multiple post plant positions, Zeta just had such a tough time in that first half. No, they did, and one of the things that we talked about was, you know, essentially when we did swap sides, granted that is where a little bit more of the run back did happen, but uh, all the really slow approaches, we saw that right there near the end of the map, that final rolling thunder coming through, we, channel, we started to see really good, uh, like, pace dictation here from the side. Of, of Team Secret, but also Zeta kind of slinking back into their former play style of just really running the clock down and then not having enough time to actually get a clean execute off. Uh, it's something that's going to have to be corrected, but Team Secret, I mean, they continue to show for the most part that they can la, put up really la, good game strategies. La, they can come la, in well prepared la, when they have time la, to really dissect how a team plays. Yeah, and they're finally the first team to show that Whoa. the chamber on Laz is oh. penetrable. It's oh. he's been Can't taken be down there. He's been taken down, and yes, secret was we were wondering about this. Why they banned Ascend? Why did they let Sunset through? And this is exactly why they clearly, like you guys said, had prepped for this map. See, uh, and Zeta Division. It's it's almost like, like mm. they they started to doubt themselves and like you said they started running down the clock only planting like when there're 15 seconds left on the clock this was the Zeta division that didn't succeed last year yeah. it was only when they started changing that tempo that they found a lot of success so well, yeah, i'm sure they got in their own heads there but you know congratulations okay. to secret again they've been activated what is that and we see this all the time from Patani. secret like what does it take to activate I think they have team to secret it probably matches. took a game like that for Jesse Bash to be like, look, guys, we got to win this one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and sometimes that first hurdle, that first match victory is the thing that just really just opens things up for the rest of the team. Maybe they do get you know, back into, you know, an incredible form, the likes of which we saw from them at the end of last year. Uh, we'll have to just wait and see in, in some of their future series. But this is definitely na, 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 a sigh of relief for, for the fans out there uh, because you know, yeah, you didn't have that much to go off of. They weren't able to pick up any wins, but now it finally has occurred. And against a Zeta that has been looking better and better. So I think for the most part, this is going to be a very solid victory. And hopefully the trajectory just keeps going up. Certainly. They they just need a little bit of time, you know, to study a bit of uh, their opponent's maps. And then they have their own game plan to come back in. Uh, we definitely see some of these uh, plays as they go through, especially in the first yeah. half, because the entire yeah. team knows where to hold on the map. You have NDG, for example, lurking sometimes throughout mid, and he's able to catch Zeta as they try to rotate. My favorite thing uh, that Team Secret did so far in this map, though, is Envy, because the way that he's holding, the way that he makes use of his utility, especially with the, the way that they defend on A site, uh, anytime that in the second half Zeta tries to push through, Envy has the fault line. He always slows them down. He's able to, you know, stun them up and then have his teammates peek out of elbow to collect on those kills. That's the way Team Secret operates, and it's always great stuff. That's a great point. Envy and Jeremy together on the first half as well. Finding a way how to stop Laz from getting those picks on the chamber. Yeah, it was, it was well done. Right? And I mean, Borkum, mean, he comes in here, he tops the lobby as far as AC is concerned. And I got to say, like, a, a overall very consistent performance from him. Had some really good first kill, first death uh, performances. I think it overall goes positive on the day. I think RRQ Xbox is way like better hai. or five hai. Zero, um, while playing the Viper. So it was really clean stuff from Borkum this whole series throughout. Ka and, kill pe you know, hai. he and he, some of the players that have had some inconsistencies from them so far this year. And to see both of them overall playing incredibly stable today uh, you know I, that's actually a weak word for it that's underselling it they played incredibly well today especially NDG who has had those soft starts in the series he was fired up on Icebox but Borkum the whole way throughout was just a, a constant force to be reckoned with it's great to see for him they're starting to show themselves I mean it's a lot more stable and uh, that's what you want to see from Team Secret for sure I think it also just comes back to the whole team uh, Jeremy, you know, they're starting to ah, gel together. They're starting to play a lot more confidently. He's not hesitating so that much anymore, and he's able to make dive video in, that. or at least you follow through with whatever game plan that they've had. And then that all comes down to the information that they gather, the shot calling from Jesse Vash as well. 
but ultimately, yeah, it still is pretty much like consistently the Envy show. Yes, yeah, so here's a little closer look at Envy and what he's contributed in today's series. But I think I can see the what time was it? I mean, how many streams are you looking at? Yeah, and I think rightfully so. You know, you guys are talking about Andy Mundi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter too much, especially on game two where they were. Kind of getting bullied uh, quite a bit, but started things off very nicely with that KO. It's good to see him, you know, very stable on that pick, put up incredible damage per round for a KO as well. Um, but is just regularly involved in in these kills. I'd be curious to see what his kill participation percentage is because it just seems like he is always getting that util in the right spot. As you're mentioning with the the fault lines coming through, but also just those flash points, just getting those flashes out, staving things off. You know, that rolling thunder, the reapproach starts coming through from uh, from Zeta Division We're gonna that path to get it, side, or that A side. And then he just sends out a flash and it just catches everybody. And just, okay, there's five more seconds bought off the clock here uh, to really just continue to whittle away and save his time bank. So overall, fantastic performance for Envy today. There are whole rounds where like Envy just tosses out one flash point. The whole Zeta division team oh, yeah. just turns away because they're like, there's going to be a trap here and we don't want to walk into it. And that happens because of that utility usage. Envy is able to do that so many uh, times, so many great timings with it as well. I mean, it takes great awareness to able, uh, to, to read and sense when your opponents are about to hit the site. And Envy is one of those players who knows how. And good thing too, so Team Seeker is finally the second team to get the Alpha Group 8 Championship point. Finally, let's go down to the stage to interview Envy. Thank you guys. Now I'm standing here with Envy from Team Secret. Massive congrats, Envy, for that W on the board. My man, first Jaro, first, by what were you guys able to man, address Jaro. or fix coming into week two? Uh, we managed to fix our small individual mistakes, like just mis miscommunication and uh, the mm. fundamentals like trading, spacing, and all that. Uh, a quality a by so very quality I'm really gameplay, though, really improved as a team. Yeah, I think we all saw that improvement uh, coming into today's matchup. Now, I just want to quickly ask you on low. Thanks for motivation. Love Zeta you. Division pulled out an unorthodox comp with the neon and the chamber, and I it like it could be a counter to one of the uh, staple comps on Lotus that a lot of people run. Uh, so, what were the talks right after the agent select? How did you guys try to navigate through, uh, you know, against their comp? Uh, we just uh, thought of ourselves that we just like think of ourselves. We mm. don't overthink what they what they're gonna do, and we just like do what we do in practice. So yeah. Was it confusing to go up against that comp with the neon and everything, with the speed and tempo they were bringing? Yeah, I think uh, it's really hard to predict what they're gonna do because usually in scrims, no neon one really comp runs that type mm. of comp. So it's hard to you know have a counter for that. All right, but you guys uh, managed to close it out 2-1. But one more thing on Lotus, though. Jesse Bash on the Fade instead of the Sky. Um, how long have you guys been working this out? And how much practice did you actually have with this comp? Uh, we managed to uh, practice the Fade comp with only one week. Uh, it's not big of a change, but we managed to implement it really fast. Yeah. Was it just easy or kind of difficult? Uh, I think it was uh, easy to put in Fade in our comp because it's just one agent and it basically does the same thing. All right, all right. Now, I'm next up, sports, yeah. Paper X is seeking their revenge from week two Pacific last year. What's your mindset going up against Paper X next week? Uh, we're just, uh, I think, just going into the games uh, as confident as them. And yeah, and coming out also because, confidently, you know, losing the team, game. Yeah. PRX jitne wale. Sorry, secret bye. All right, thank you, Envy, so you. much uh, for the interview. Best of luck thank you. next week uh, as well. Now, that was Envy with the post-match interview. Now, we are going to head off to a short break, but don't go anywhere because we have Bleed taking on RQ. You bola don't go anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Bam 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 bam
बाइक ये लोग का ड्रेसिंग सेंस और एक मेरा जमीन आसमान का फर्क है ना इट वॉज कौन जीता टी एच वॉज जेटा टी एच जीता टू वन फुल स्टाइल प्रेप करके खेल रहे हैं They need the champions points. Okay, he's okay. We need you guys on the stage now. Come on, let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Quality to have. Even must na. Red Bull gives you wings. Heavy, heavy add the masters. भाई वो क्या है मोबाइल वाला हलो ऑफिशियल शेयर बनो बैनर जमीन स्टोर प्रेजेंट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर इसका म्यूजिक मस्त लगता है इसका ないワクワクや感動に出会う場所を作ってきました。そして今大きな夢の実現に挑戦しています。立川と世界を文化、芸術、スポーツでつなぐ。バタバタバタバタ。私たちが愛する立川を世界に愛する。ゴールデンチャ
Now, from your last match, we saw that the potential is there. So what's important would be team synergy today. So do you feel like you guys were able to find enough synergy? Hey, Baju, what are you playing in mobile? Sure okay, let's see the video. Um, we are not perfect yet, but I think we will be more best. I will show you in today's match. Okay, okay. You guys are stronger, better, and you will show us in today's match. So thank you, Zest. Excuse me, guitar boy. Good thing. Formerly from DRS. Where did he come from? First saw him on this roster. Ye bolte, ye bolte, ye bolte, ye bolte. Ba, acha team to hai, be log ka. Yeah, they just showed their debut performance. However, if you take a look at the results, the performances were kind of middling. They didn't have any uh, anything too outstanding. Although they had a darn good Lotus Heavy. map against Talon, uh, along with Ye getting an ace. Just Martha, Ye Martha, scary Martha, Darren Martha. Bleed seemed to struggle a little bit. You know, onto the next few maps, they just couldn't really bring out any wins across the board. Yeah, uh, rough. Uh, a lot of new stuff though. Hello, Bangla. Hello. 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 मोटल तक भाई मिले करके फाइल मिली करके बाय फ्लिप खतरनाक मारता है Zero two W for RQ. Yeah. Two wins in a row. Two wins in a row. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. Okay, spin me back. Spin me back. <laughs> Jen, that's not a touch screen, but that I would be a cool way to play back. I've done that before with a laptop. Have not, you? Not with Balance. Levi, what are you doing? I used to play Sniper in TF2, and I just no tap my screen and hit shot people. <laughs> And that was his short debut <laughs> in <into laughs> Pro <laughs> Gaming. Uh, well, Flips, that was really nice of him. He's like, good luck, but it's going to be a 2-0. Uh, RQ is definitely feeling really good. Ewok was with us at the desk last week, and he was very <laughs> humble. They end up finally winning after, what was it, 265 days? I mean, granted, they were facing up against the best form of Gen G, uh, Paper X. They were just so unlucky all the way. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> रहता ना कॉलेज में बोलते क्या टाइड है लेकिन टाइड ही होता नहीं है वो वाला सीन हुआ उसके साथ Uh, this is a team that's like constantly, constantly improving. You know, maybe they don't always eke out those wins, but after a little while, they finally managed to win. Okay, after 265 days, and it almost feels like maybe that secret ingredient was missing, and it's just Jemkin and along with the second Australia. win. Yeah, I, I, the, one of the two hundred and sixty-five days in their last series, despite getting Almost the win, was just the roll swaps that we saw coming through. X Pharo being moved over to play. Raid got fifty-seven days of it, it zero win. Definitely a little bit weird. Elmi Moore as well coming out. Flips playing. on the Yoru. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even Sarah, Global Sarah, Talon Sarah. Pretty damn good. So I think um, RQ retooling some stuff. You know, during the game. Gym Jara ke aaj kal na hai. And I think that that's good. I don't. I wasn't fully convinced by it, but it was good enough to be able to get a win. And I think with more iterations, if they're going to stick with the players on those roles, then it should just get stronger and stronger. So I'm excited to see how improved it looks today. Now, RQ, as you said, ha hasn't really gotten to play many other teams besides Genji and uh, Paper X. And then last week, it was Team Secret uh, who just won in earlier match today. And this is the first time these two guys will be facing off. And bleed. I hope they are not trying to hit RQ's record of uh, days to win. <laughs> oh, here. certainly not. But uh, yeah, here, here they are. Girl, G, Jana, wow, G, watch for the Jana. Worth it, or skip? If you guys are nearby, ho, it's absolutely worth it. It doesn't matter. If yeah. you win or uh, lose, you should only always support the game and the teams are doing so much for Valorant. 
Uh, you also have so Gary absolutely worth it. IGL. It's no longer gonna be any, you uh, can go make guy. new friends. It's, I guess, although he was really good with the calling on the and he's able to read out some of his no people, movements. As you move on into the next few maps, good games, things just learn. seem to crumble and fall apart. The decision making, they play it really safe. Experience a bit. Often the last know. guy left alive. And I'm although he hasn't experience, huh? Master before, so far in Pacific, so far in Stage 1, he hasn't really shown us that just yet. Now we're looking at Ye and Jemkin. Ye, we Jemkin, saw MVP on the race, not for the very first time, but definitely the first time Excuse in a significant way. And Jemkin, our number one raised player in terms of ACS, uh, was absolutely so killing it uh, last week. Yeah, I mean, Jemkin, he's had some soft starts uh, in some of the matches, and I think Lotus widely just wasn't looking great or comfortable for the side of RQ. But as soon as we had shifted over and, and gone a little bit deeper into that series, Jemkin really started to heat up. I mean, he, he comes in that ice box ace. Be? Uh, you know, our top play of the week, or top ace of the week, is we had it. Um, it was just ADR from him. That's just what Jemkin be is be. capable of. But we also know that Ye is very much capable of the same things. It's just about... Harnessing it, First kill per him, round. making sure Ooh. that he is getting to a position where he can have that kind of impact, and that's the thing that Bleed is going to be working on. Yeah, it's it's a big shift in this lineup, a lineup that has had big shifts because First kill per round. Because, of age, because of because of restrictions that we're not coming into this tournament, have to make some additions. Those aren't working out. Team Vibe, not great. We have to make more changes. So being able to get into a really stable yeah, spot yeah, has been a, a yeah, bit of a struggle yeah, for Bleed. But right now it seems like this could very well be the Vibe. It's now just about mastering. Yeah. And you know, building up these five players that they do have, getting scary to a point where he is super comfortable as an IGL, getting zest into a he position where he's super comfortable playing. Yeah. You know, a wide uh, agent pool like he has in the past for the right with the lot of new ones thrown in. I completely agree. I mean, the possibilities are there. Although they start to fall apart, you can see that Ye was one of the players trying to lead the team, trying to find those early picks just to give them a bit more space, a bit more wriggle room. Uh, but as we go into map picks right now, I mean, it, you have to wonder, is it going to be Lotus again? So far, what are the map bands going to be? Because RQ's breeze is something to Well, they definitely both both hate Ascent, which is curious okay. that Bleed has uh, ended up vetoing it since neither of them wanted to play it anyway, but Lotus Breeze? they continue to do it. Lotus is in from Bleed. Yeah, I, I wouldn't As mind seeing RQ just go for Breeze here, put flips right back over onto the Yoru, uh, and just go ham on the map. I mean, it was looking damn clean. His impact was palpable, but it's actually going to be a nice box here from RQ. So, I mean, that, that is the, you know, that map, that, that ace highlight from Jemkin does come from, but it was a bit back and forth. It is also the map that Bleed suffered on the most, not just last week, but also in kickoffs. So, I think... Maybe that's a point of weakness that perhaps Coach Iwak focused on and then Breeze is the decider. Wow, you can get our Yoru here. It's highly likely that that is going to be the case. As I, I don't think that RQ will, you know, workshop a completely different composition. But Chad, this is the subscribe to, to but that's subscribe to girl. So like how Flip likes to approach those rounds, uh, whether it's on the attacking or the defending side. But first we can see where Bandar is going. going. Well, one thing's for sure, both these teams seem to like really big maps. Uh, yeah, so Lotus is going to be the first map. This is the one map that Blee took off of Talon last week. And uh, RQ, I hope they've got something ready and prepared for, for Blee. Hopefully feels like it, especially if they're going to kind of go through with that. Uh, in the past, they might have had the chamber before, so that's bam, always fun and interesting. Bam, bam, but the main bam, thing that bam. stands out for Bleed is the way that, yeah, I mean, I think the that RQ needs to watch out for is the way that Bleed plays this map for map control. You always have a uh, strong sentinel of the is able to anchor down the C site, but Scary, as a shot caller, knows exactly how hello, to, hello, find hello, hello, knows exactly where to right? place his teammates so that you won't be able to get any free Breeze space. Up, if you want to take space, it's going to cost you. I think one of the things that we need to see alongside just, I mean, I think the biggest thing really for Bleed is going to be having Scary just get comfortable in that IGL because one of the things I think that we were kind of seeing was that Scary was taking a hit in, per, in his own performance where he is just this renowned, you know, known the world over smokes player. Everyone knows that highlight from Ascension in that grand final, getting that ace clutch. 
we weren't seeing anywhere near the level of heroics or impact from him in that last set. I think a lot of that has to do with because he's putting way more thought and attention into IGL and really figuring things out. As he gets more experience with that, obviously, that's going to be a little bit more secondary than the gameplay can through. So I'm wondering how much work has been put in directly into him IGLing in this year a little bit of downtime. No, that's a fantastic point about Scary on the IGL role, oh. especially with two new members, kind of new members, on the roster. And we had to talk about predictions, because that's what we always have to talk about. Let's show it off. And this time, we've got uh, three Bleed Believers. This is very different than the last time we were predicting for Bleed uh, versus Talon. And uh, yeah, okay. L looks like our desk, we're like kind of Aligned. on the same wavelength here. Uh, Quack, tell us, tell us why RQ. Well, I mean, Arky just look a little bit better. The way that they were playing last week, a lot more even against Team Secret. They were actually challenging them. Even when they were challenged, they weren't giving up. Yeah, on the other hand, the way that they were playing, although Lotus was great, once you started to see some of those cracks, the whole team started to crumble. And even though Coach Lagia calls the timeouts, you know, most times coaches call timeouts because they want to write the ship. Lotus was great, once you started to see some of those cracks, the whole team started to crumble. And even though Coach Lagia calls the timeouts, you know, most times coaches call timeouts because they want to write the ship. For Bleed, it kind of looked like he was just watching his ship sink. And the whole team just like, doesn't really know what to do. Lugia doesn't really know what to say either. And everyone seems to like disagree and they're not doing the same thing, not the same game plan. It's just odd to watch Bleed right now. The teams are coming on stage really soon, but any quick thoughts, Kilius? Uh, I just think that RQ, you know, no big overarching changes for them. I think that they have a solid foundation. Your Alex got down to the rules. I think that with the, Next the level. more time that they, they've had, the time that they've had, they should be able to iterate that on that a little bit better compared to Bleed, who have just recently done a big shift in the roster and also need to iterate on a lot. The main thing I'm going to keep my eyes out for Bleed, I think, could give them an edge is if they kind of normalize some of their compositions. They had some bizarre ones in the last series, so we'll see what they bring to the table. Yeah, let's see indeed. All right, let's welcome RRQ and Bleed Esports to the stage. Yeah, guys, I'm going to be esports. I'm going to have to do it, but like, excuse me. Gana to banana, baby. Is there a message to Alex? Undefeated, locked and loaded, we are about to go. Caught him with the left, I leave him tucked out on the floor. Sunny, itchy, sticky, swishy, watch me bank a score. Up in the boat, I'm in the zone, yeah, yeah. Coach you to fire the breath. King of the jungle and beam my chest. They say I'm posing a threat. Just like a puppet and I'm cutting the net. Ring on my finger, but yes. Like playing chess and I don't sweat. That's what I call a finesse. That's what I call a finesse. Is it going to be undefeated for the Alpha group? Uh -huh. I don't know, but Bleed definitely needs to show us something. RRQ looking more confident than ever after their first victory in ages last week. I was confused initially. I was like, oh, you mean undefeated today? Today. Because... Yes. Okay. Come on. Alpha group <laughs> need to step it up, and this could be the day where they are that, undefeated. Otherwise, we have to remix the song and just cut the un off the beginning of the word. <laughs> undefeated. <laughs> Defeated, uh -huh. like you know, it, it doesn't work as well. But for Bleed, we want to see this squad. Everyone was so excited about them since they made it through Ascension in concise fashion. We want to be able to, to believe in this team. Yeah, he is here. He has been here. They have not found success quite just yet. They've retooled it. How do they look coming into this one? They've had a little bit more time. So if it's anything other than being looking better than last week, that is going to be a tragedy. We do want to see what El Diablo is made of. We haven't used that German a while. We haven't seen Ye perform at his peak. Uh, we know he has a better form, and we've yet to see that. It's like Diablo. He's been banished, and then you know, <laughs> but they, they always find a way to bring him back. Yeah, so they usually it's do. Just, you know, wh whatever method it is, get the Soul Stone, whatever you need, embed it in the forehead, get El Diablo back. <laughs> And Retla uh, joining or rejoining the Bleed roster. Uh, I know he's still trying to find his footing here with the Bleed team right now. RQ, that was just a strong cheer. They're good to go. Yeah, there's a lot more synergy. I don't go to one. Uh, vibes, but I, don't know, I, mean, so I do feel, I do hope as though Lagia is telling them that, you know, this is your moment, your time to shine. Last week, just forget about that because now. If they can't find that win for the group, 
for Elvis. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. I mean, ideally, take your time. I don't mind it. Take your time with the huddle. Get the players ready. This is what you would ideally like to be the last time you talk to them during the game. You don't want to have to intervene with those timeouts. Absolutely right. All right, let's get started for match two of today. Over to our casters, William and Paper Thin. Thank you very much. That's right, we do Anyways. still have another full packed best of three waiting for us. Of course, we had a tight one earlier uh, between, it was Team Secret and Z Division. Team Secret finally bringing home another victory for Alpha Group. Can Bleed do the same today? The desk already broke down all the reasons why it could go both ways, but quite frankly, momentum right now in favor of RRQ. Yeah, I mean, look, I was the sole bleed believer earlier okay. when, they, when they went up you against were? Talon. And, this was the map where they got it done. They won the Lotus. So absolutely, I think they're capable of it, but I think RQ's form is still really strong. Yeah, a lot of their games are really close. A lot of their maps are yes, coming are. down to the wire, <laughs> but they can get it done as well. So look, I'm I, even though I picked RQ, I'm Stop really playing. confident in this bleed squad. I'm about to get that get that together. They've had another week to kind of work on integrating some of these new players into the roster. All these things could start to come together. Come together. You know the firepower is there. And also the calling now that Scary's been taking over on that role. Time head, time head. Okay, on this map, we need to see it in the other maps now Ooh. as well. Yeah, taking a look at the Asian picks now. Right. They haven't shown it yet. Mirir in stage one. The last time we saw it was a kickoff when they played against ah, Jinji. Help me more. Still playing the Sentinel. Actually brought out the chamber. Not as much impact, and now they're continuing, really solidifying Xfero as that primary like Sentinel like like and Elmimor as that primary initiator. This will be Elmimor's first time, I believe, playing the Fade. He's played a lot of Silva in the past. Of course, the Sky, not so much. It didn't look so hot last week, but now bringing out the Fade here for Lotus as Estrella continues as the Omen as well. Yeah, and it, this is kind of the comp that most teams are leaning into these mm -hmm. days. It, Gives you the rubble control that you want. It does all the good things uh, that you expect. You're able to lock down the sights with the KJ on C, things like that. So nothing out of the ordinary in terms of the comps to really talk about other than what you mentioned, so the role swaps there. Uh, but that has been the name of the game for RRQ coming into stage one. Yes. That we're changing the roles up a little bit. We're going to experiment with that and see if we can find some success. I we'll see if that yeah. continues. They looked a lot better last week, but still maybe perhaps maybe not the three victory they would have wanted against Team Secret. Nikata. Can they get it done today as we go over to Lotus? Bleed's pick. They had a great showing last week, kicking things off with the Zest yeah, clutching it up in the pistol round as if he never left the stage on a comfort <laughs> pick of Fade. See if it happens today. Yeah, I mean, we've gotten a little a little used to it, a little spoiled seeing Zest pull <laughs> off of these the throughout the year. So on a very different team now, still showing some glimpses of that old tremendous play he had on DRX, but Looking for some early success, a crunch towards these doors, potentially being set up by Bleed, seemingly yeah, having teams. a decent read on this. Yeah, it looks like RRQ should be fairly aware of it as well. Huh? Killjoy Not ready making for a ever. special pinch out from B main. It is definitely going to be that fade raise combo from the defenders on that mount side. The paint shell's already thrown out alongside the Caesars. There's a blast back. Ye gets ahead. The paranoid comes out from B main as well. But smoke to now reset from the attackers. They were ready for it. They get the read. They start to file into Rubble Spike, barely making it around the corner. And now the map reset on the right and left side as RQ will make their way into tree. Yeah, and that haunt gives them the information they need to know that they can at least get this plant down oh, pretty yeah. safely. See Darion trying to work his way through that smoke cover to see if he can find any trailing players of RRQ. But in fact, it's just a very deep lurk for Xferro. Yeah, Xferro might have to come huge here as Jemkin eventually goes down to the trade. Nice. Two kills on Green the side of the Trying to open up the site. They're wary of a potential lurk, but they want to get into the site first. They want to clear it. Xferro doesn't land the first shot. Eventually gets it. Will just buy time. Now his teammates will be able to peek back out. Elmi more over by drop. Does he reset the Prowler tags onto Rutla? It actually gets the bite, and he loses vision at the most crucial time. Elmi more gets the first round for RQ. Yeah, I really like this post plant set up for RRQ. Even though Bleed is able to sort of overstack some of those angles towards heaven, keeping mm. X Barrow in the back, knowing that there's going to be a smoke just outside of the base there. He can work that so nicely. Yeah, the shots aren't good, but the idea is that only more gives utility advantage to great success there at the end of that round. Really nice start there for RRQ. Already going to be locking in some great weapons. In this anti-eco outlaw, a vandal, a bulldog, a specter, and a ghost for Elmimore, but 
can see there, just a little bit of pressure for Flips and doesn't like what he sees. Any any util coming out on, against an eco is like, yeah, they're all there. So let's, yeah, let's sure. try the other side. I mean, at the minimum, you saw three coming out with the utility. So you know that the other side should be weaker. Now, just weary of a potential trap play. Doesn't want to run into all the killjoy util by accident. Give over a free weapon or two. So they'll make sure they clear all the corners. Paranoia use as well. So sure, RQ being thorough here on the anti-eco. Does that make their post plant slightly weaker? We can tell her to make oh. oh. grouped up. Why are you mad? Potentially looking just a flood retake, but it looks like they might just be waiting as it's all well, on classics. It's already given up the site. They say if they come out, we'll get a couple of these kills. But there right now go. with this seaside, how are we possibly retaking this one? Not wanting to give away free ult points. Yeah, no, I think this is certainly the wiser call to make in this situation. There are a few times earlier today where I thought. Maybe this should have happened see? for Zeta. <laughs> they should have just ceded control and given up the spike. But what the absolutely, Hello. statistically speaking, the correct play. So you can't blame Bleed at all for this. Just going for a quick check. Elmi more with the Ghost. Is he going to mind sacrificing this if he can do a little bit of damage? Get a few more orbs. Yeah, he wants one. At the very least, he'll get one extra point right on that death. So with just the Ghost there, not really losing out anything. It's been a while, but the spike comes out with an ace in round two. Zara Q will pick up the anti-eco, they carry over all of their purchases onto the bonus and a okay, I was about to say, a judge being bought up by Omi more initially, just testing out if a shop works. I'm only going to say this because I know Jesse has a good sense of humor, but the spike had more kills than Jesse did. <laughs> uh, he did celebrate in that group photo with a zero next to his head. Uh, Jesse owning it I love up. you, Jesse. <laughs> I mean, of course, we Bansi see another Sports member here who had to suffer that fate last year at Ascension. Jemkin throwing Sports. up against the team that gave it to him. Bleed. Of course, very different players on both sides, but we'll see if Jemkin, that is, is there like any vengeance to... left in the tank that he wants to kind of air out today in this match. This again, As they both find themselves that here on the VCT Pacific stage. This is a quick push oh, on the B site. Okay, not able to quite Rodrigo. land that shot. Flips eventually getting traded out, but Xfero is there with the outlaw. Jemkin wanting to make sure they get at least the spike down, and Xfero right now, he's already cleared out the A side. Baby door opened as well. That allows him to continue to put pressure all the way around as Xfero has picked up this Odin. Yeah, they've read this really nicely. I'm not sure if they're going to be ready. Oh, the timing's a little quick. Xfero just lets it pass. He lets his footsteps be heard, though. As he tries to Estrella now on the second lurk all the way around. Jemkin, his job is just to buy time. They have no idea that there could be a second. The spike diffuser is killed, and it's only Retla left alive for bleed. What a setup in the post by RRQ. Like and yeah? the jump back gets the peak. It's just a jiggle on both sides. Retla, huh? too many things to consider. Mercy he also has to potentially worry about saving this vandal. Yeah, gets the kill. Better. He can't get out in time. Go, and Jemkin will pick it up. 3-0 huh? lead. It's a beautiful entry here Let's by Jemkin. Getting Mustard a little Mustard bit Six deeper than you would normally expect with a raise. Getting far into that B site, kind of throws the crosshairs a little bit off. x barrel winning that angle out on the outside, grabbing that Odin, opening up that space. You know, Scary's, like you mentioned, aware of the first. Of the footsteps, but not expecting that second, making that baby door open early to set up that double stack for the flank. And, you know, it's a 2-2 attempt for bleed in terms of coming from both angles of B, but not really quite aware that there was going to be extra reinforcements trying to go for some shots is yay but only getting a little bit of damage the snake bite cuts off some backup as well so now with the one way refreshed bleed will be a bit safer but are they aware of Estrella being hidden across he's already making some balls on the camera it looks like just asking for his teammates to continue pressure on the other side see if he can get a cheeky kill on the lurk surely you suspect something this late delay, the Prowler clearing out B site. Pressure across the entire map from RRQ, even Rubble being held by Xfero, still with another outlaw in his hands. Yeah, and that, that information is working a treat here because they haven't heard much coming from Mound. They're gonna re-aggress towards this angle. Don't like the extra attention over towards B. Don't like going up against those so sheriffs in close quarters. Oh, man, they're actually gonna use the oh, night ball here. Trying to oh. cycle it quickly. Yeah, but Ye might look for an opening here by the Rollvoin door. There's the paranoia. It's perfect for Ye. He gets one, and it's delayed the entry, but Jemkin will clear the site. Estrella finally trading out Ye. And then there's Ye still the shot lurk in out in B main, coming out from Xfero. Spike not planted left. just yet. RQ not quite wary if they've already wasted too much time for the backup to arrive. Spike They'll allow Xfero to set up on mound. 
He'll just come through. Doesn't want to go on the lurk with the left. outlaw. Just wants to hold from outside with his teammate's turret out. and alarm bot set up. Not just out. holding outside Don't of the smoke. This is the first jiggle, but it is an outlaw. It's got two shots. Darion tries to jiggle out of it. Won't find Ooh, it. Zest, good for a headshot, but flips on the trade. Brentlow once again the Four zero. Can I blade come back? Sure he goes for something. Perhaps try to get that pit online in the next round, but he's going to be two points away as he goes down to flip strider once again. Yeah, good trades here for RQ. Yeah, even though bleed finds some nice that? picks, uh, they're not unaccounted for. They're not given over for free by RQ. So. So Open far, so good. The Outlaws looked really good in X Pharaoh's hands. I wouldn't be too upset if he grabbed an operator at some point with how well he's able to hold down these <laughs> angles, to be honest. Hit some good shots through the wall there, too. Great gun. I love to see teams grab those Outlaws against these Ecos when they're yeah. pressing these early advantages to keep that economy at a high pace. I mean, you see teams that use it very well, and you realize Ooh. they just start to run away with it. Obviously, Paper Rex, one of the first to really do it out here in Pacific, even during the offseason. See if more teams start to warm up to that buy outside of just the obvious couple of anti-eco rounds. But for now, it's going to be rifle upgrades on the side of RQ. And returning there to the rifle buy here it, for Bleed, all full armor. They've been scared away from the half armors for the time being. Yeah, it's a desperate round for Bleed. You know, you've been set on the back foot economically and scoreboard wise. And you certainly want to take problem right man. Now. Don't don't want to let this too far out of control. The bank book for RQ is the thing about oh, it man. here. A little bit of a little bit of toying with them yeah. is flips. He's setting up to buy a little bit of extra time for this C push. And sure, bleed, they know that they've been toyed with in previous rounds, so they're not overreacting to it, but even the ever slight movement from B site over to baby door, and then potentially thinking it might be a B hit, things like that. Now getting ahead of that smoke, Jeff can already inside the site. The haunt is there, so is the prowler. C site giving up once again, no ultimates on either side for an amazing retake on the set play, so they'll just have to wait to clear their angles. At the very least, Bleed holds on to Waterfall, but once again, it's a double lurk from RQ. B main, and then Baby Door as well. Xfero now providing backup. Oh, this is another nice Abhi bait switch niklega. for flips. I mean, you can't possibly dekha, imagine dal ke. that it's another okay. double lurk all the way out from the A side. Just has no idea. RQ is walking this map like it's just their own round. And now spamming through the smoke, it's planted around. There is just no way Bleed can get a grasp. Running into the arms of Flips as he gets yet another kill against EA. Good luck, Scary. Yeah, Luba Nana, trying bro. to fight his way out of this. Oh, not even Scary's getting out of this one. Flips coming online hey, with three be. kills in that round. Dude, Janet, that's a BK bar the guy. Alamo dal ke bhag gaya aur A lark hua. For the side of RQ, oh, starting to run away. away with this. I mean, this just makes the economic damage all that more impactful. And you call it, Will, these lurks are all over the place for RQ, and they're working a treat. You might need a timeout already for Bleed to start addressing this. Yeah, start trying to find ways to get a little bit more we'll info. But Flipsider oh, cool. really feeling it. I'll go the I'll go by go. Ewok and company go. to completely bamboozle, work these tendencies of Bleed against them. You know, Zest is there. He's watching for what you would expect to be the lurk through B main, but it's actually coming all the way through. The, the tremendous patience from Flips just use his utility to keep himself obscured long enough that they just assume he's rotated somewhere else. But he hadn't. He had just stuck around. So Being now heavy. what are the adjustments going to be? Going to see some kind of attempted fast hit. I don't understand. Shut it down. That's our new board in the pistol round by RQ. You're gonna have to dig deep and yeah, you're okay, come with, yeah. with a thrifty and then beyond that just getting your mental in check. Yeah, I think that's the biggest thing, right? Not only are you losing rounds five to zero, but you're losing in the macro, you're losing in the duels, you feel like you're just losing your grip on this game. Perhaps a big you're part of it is that you're not really fighting bad. for either Ten side of this time map. Time a lot of times you want to see the defenders at least take over the opposite side. Comeback to karega, ye to confirm hai. Info. So on yeah, this, comeback ke time you know, pe tum rahoge witness karne ko ki nahi. That is a question. Now Zess used to be called the master of the bulldog out here in Korea when he was on DRX. Yeah, he's he's so do good. some damage with it. He's so good with that gun. I mean, so many huge multi-kill rounds with it. There's the, that late paranoia. We see this is the next adjustment for a lot of teams here on Lotus when they can't <laughs> keep control of rubble, but oh, that's no. the yeah. seize. They should know that someone's been caught by it. They see the tether. Yeah, he just 
barely staying alive outside of that toxic screen. The Prowler catches sight of Rentline. It's just a spray down through the screen. Curtains down and out here for yeah, Lee. Yeah, but yeah, but Great diligence here from our not I've been in like falling for any all. of these traps that are being set up by Bleed. Really doing their due diligence by checking the angles, making sure that that box is covered, making sure the farther angles are covered. You know, they're sensing a trap play and they read it so nicely. Uh, hats off so far to our <laughs> they're, they're, they're read into this map well. Oh, and yay, not landing the it's headshot it there. Risk, nice crouch to adjust from RQ just to spray down <laughs> through as they're opening the door. I mean, RQ, this is some of the most thorough games we've seen. One of the reasons all of their matches seem to go 2-1 or maybe close to overtime. Dog because sometimes they get a little over ahead of themselves, right? They don't check their corners, things like that. Right now, they are dialed by in as Australia here, gets a triple kill here for What is Bleed lagging? Yeah. Coordination looks good. Decision making looks good. Read of their damage. opponent looks good. Now you've got all these alts in the bag to utilize against them. Just the Viper's pit for Retla. But you have so much to clear that pit. You have the lockdown, you have the showstopper, you have your pit of your own, that it's going to be really risky for Retla to try to get this online. You're one away from a lockdown and a showstopper as well for Bleed. So you're, you're just away from being able to maybe have the counter ultimates for what RRQ wants to do. I wouldn't be surprised if RRQ just wants to go for a quick lockdown here. Just try to take advantage sure. of their early ulted, you know, ult situation. See if they can just open up the C site. Being a little bit patient, worried about <laughs> something <laughs> unorthodox <laughs> coming out of bleed after that timeout, and I would be too. Yeah, and now we will have to wait for the round to actually begin. See what it might be. All right, we couldn't quite escape the grass today, but we've been very good about sorting through this, so we'll <laughs> wait to see if there's an update on what the problem may be. And waiting to hear from <clears> the staff <throat> up on the stage. Currently, hey, a 6-0 lead for RRQ. I didn't even notice that the <laughs> the clock had stopped. I was just like, I think they're just playing it safe. Like, <laughs> oh, no, it's just an, the tech paw is rearing its ugly head. Trying to creep back in, thinking we've forgotten about it. Yeah. Uh, but do see a slight nod from Retla, so it seems that maybe this was a quick sort. Maybe just a quick replug here on some of the gear. Can we, uh, you know, the desk was talking about bringing Ye back up. You know, El Diablo, he seems to be resurrected. I'll sure. Can we trade the tech pause for that? Like, is that. <laughs> <laughs> like, is that oh, okay? we trying to make some deals now. <laughs> yeah, okay, look, yeah, I, I see. No, I'll do it. I'll make a deal to get the devil back into Pacific. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Anabe. <laughs> I don't know if that's quite what he might be looking for here. <laughs> <laughs> well, we shall see. I mean, right now, it's not about Ye. It's just about the entire team of lead. And, you know, you mentioned something interesting earlier before the match started, Paper, than that obviously a big part about bleed this year is about growth, right? You just got into BCD Pacific. The desk talked about having to go through these roster changes that, you know, not were out of their own volition. It was situational. Uh, and the curiosity was, can they continue to improve to get to that level to play in Pacific? But right now, round seven, off to a quick start. That's as you've called it. They'll start to dump their ultimates. And it's going to be an operator oh ultimate, Sarah, but he has no backup. He's going to get swarmed. He's ready for the jump. He's ready for the blast back. And finally, the showstopper from Ye, not taking any chances. It's still a 3v4 for bleed. And you wonder, is that showstopper going to find its value? Everyone tucked into these corners on the Viper's pit. Darion trying to figure out where does he spam. I mean, there's just so many angles to be holding. None of them lined up on a singular line. And it should start to pique Bleed's curiosity that not a single member can be spotted. Prowler's out to start the approach. The haunts are coming in on both sides. But nobody spotted still just yet. Estrella fights in the first target to the game. And suddenly, a 2v4 into the Viper's ultimate. pit. It just does not seem sensible to chase out. Coming in from Jeff and he finds Darion as he tries to backstep. And yet That's another it, right? round after a couple of straight at RQ leads seven to none. It's great situational awareness from RQ. Understanding the alt Rad economy, diff. understanding the timers at the end of that round as well there for Jemkin, knowing that there was going to be a safe from lead and he was hot on their heels. He knows the economic situation, so this is 
Yeah, not much time to regroup. Even if they did, it was just a stinger. So the, uh, sure, wo, Scary's wo, done wo, heroic wo. things throughout his wo, entire wo. career. But right now, this is not the situation he wanted to find himself in. The paint shells tick him down. Wo, Might wo, get wo, the kills, but RQ deciding to respect the space. Wo, and wo, and wo, he will have to back off. Just trying to fake that out. Just seeing if he can pick up a weapon, yep. even. Really Keeping wants up. it, but you have to be quick. Uh, just looking for an exit frag. Now he says, okay, that's the last of the timers. Should be able to get out just in time, far away from the site as he gets out with a vandal. Yeah. Uh, I'm, the I'm not against using that I'm not using that lockdown at this start. point. You've been holding on to it for quite a while. Since this operator has been so strong for XP, he's never really needed to get into a position or they had to use but a showstopper. But I'm still having fun in one game. That's an extra shot. That's an extra shot. That's an extra shot. That's an extra shot. They found their right positions on it's like it's a little it's a little while, but but Sentinel, the primary opper, Sparrow looking energized. He looks happy to be in this new role. Yeah, man. Huh? I love it. I mean, you know, we saw so much good things from Elmi Moore in terms of his, you know, Cypher play in particular, but this, this swap is working a treat so far, and Chemkin, oh, Chemkin just winning out over Scary. Yeah, there's that crossfire through the toxic screen. They get a sight of it, and they'll just spray him down. And despite the use of dump, Bleed just cannot gain control early on in the round on any of these so far. The 10 first rounds of Lotus. Yeah, this you still have a nightfall here for Elmi Moore, so this a hole, Yang trying to play close to the door, trying to see if he can play some counter to these to this alt that might come through. A lot of times teams are gonna do it, but it's actually gonna lead with the Prowler first, and then they're gonna change direction, maybe over towards B once again. They've been doing this so many times to great effect. Yeah, then the Nightfall into B. I mean, they know that Bleed was prepared for this with the Util Dump on Rumble, so they're just holding on to that. Still a one-for-one -one trade, and Jemkin just clears the site. Xferro's holding the angle just in case, but now they won't even take the chance. They'll go all the way to C site. RQ is here trying to make sure that they get a clean win today against Bleed Esports. They may not even drop a round at this straight as they clean B site once again. I mean, just the Coaches brilliance here. Input, analyst just input, say, well, we know where the last couple players, players are. Pata. We can set up a crossfire. We can move over, make it easy on ourselves. That's just tremendous understanding of the game. Tremendous fundamentals yeah, like that RQ is showing hai. here right now. I mean, this is this is beyond desperate for Bleed at this point. Ten rounds already. I mean, yes, this is Four generally an attacker Do side in map. Four, five, it's specific, sometimes not, but, <laughs> but uh, you know, generally throughout the world. And now you have a couple ults. This, this round kind of has to go. You have a lockdown yeah, and a yeah. nightfall of your own. I mean, if you don't win this, that 13-0 is looming over your head. Yep. We might be sending more records than one here today at BCT <laughs> Pacific. Not the ones of the good kind. Brett Levy pressured. He saw the decay, so he thinks he has a chance. But Jepkin is just on fire off the gate. And he goes out for a crouch oh swing as well. The double, the teamwork for RRQ. And then they back off. They've lost audio. They don't want to just barrel in without information. The overheating RRQ just not present today, unfortunately, for Bleed. And now Bleed slowly re-clearing the areas, but it's just a Dekho crossfire bhe. as they know. Bleed, so they're they bleed for no I see I for it, and they will be rewarded once again. What do you, what, what are you supposed to do? I mean, Scary's gonna have to pull off another one of those just miraculous clutches. It feels like Ye's trying to come to help him. Oh. From there, okay. Okay, I mean, Jemkin was kind of predicting it, but A. that is a spike down. Now 45 seconds, Xvero's ready, one, but he's still walking. Now a 2v2, Scary holds on to it. And Ye knows the lurk is coming, and bleed. Oh, a desperately finally. needed round win goes their way. Okay. Finally. That, that, that's what, that's what I wanted to see. I don't like that they had to be in that position in the first place. The last <laughs> and I was just going to say earlier, I'm like, I don't know what else they're... I mean, Jeff just kind of backed into it, but it's like a truck. I'm like, maybe they're going to stop for a reveal or something. giving it away. Jumping was better than jumping. I mean, I like what RQ is doing. That's all but I can say. But a win is a win. Coming through those 10 rounds in a row, just so many good things being done. And Jemkin individual Kaltai. heroics, but Jemkin okay. Entry sure, that's Arikin. nice. But is that going to be the start of anything for Bleed on this map, on their map pick? Yeah, Jemkin I mean, Kaltai you know, yeah, you get the right read when it comes down to a 2v3, 2v4, but how do you escape being in that position in the first place? That's a big question. Now upping the pace for RQ, Showstopper used, Paranoia as well, to clear out Baby Doors, to clear out Waterfall. Now it's a quick... 
flood in from rotating door from Ye, but he gets kind of stuck. Not much room to jiggle as that door's closing on him. Welcome and now the pit my. used okay. to cover baby door. Heaven still slightly open for Bleed's Not retake. Good. Estrella now on the lurk. Does he go for a peek out? He does, a little too far out. Scary's waiting for it. He knows that RQ's been winning these rounds thanks to the deep okay, lurks and the late lurks. Now just to bounce out away from that lockdown. Scary looking for a timing. We're gonna see the detains come in. Darian starts to push in. The Viper's Pit has to go down off of that death. The Prowler, they, don't they know that Scary's legal. still here. So RQ Lock. wants to push out. They wanna clear this out first. They're trying to get back in. Elmi more can't. So it's all up to Xfero. He can't get the spam through the wall. And that will be the second round for Bleed as we finish the first half. Yeah, I, I mean, eventually these alts can come into play and give you a couple rounds for sure. And that's what you need. It just took way too long there for Bleed ten two, ten two. to get there. And the, the coordination come back still doesn't feel quite aega. right. The read still doesn't huh? feel quite right for Bleed. There's a paranoia sent out by Scary towards C door to try to set up Ye for that push that he went through. Didn't hit anybody. He didn't completely missed our I can't see any other reason. But then Elmi Moore just be walks through for and them takes to him down because you know you're expecting somebody to be blind, maybe a little bit more space for Ye to gain before he's gonna make contact, but instead of all just hiding themselves until they know for certain where refresh, they want baby, to go refresh, refresh, the easy. Do have trades, yeah. Refresh, a baby. Too low, so RQ. Just letting the plant go, oh but my. in fact, Bleed might be overthinking this a bit as they want to try to dwindle the numbers, but it's just too many members of reloads come in. I and eventually, the Sparrow button. swings around for the trade. It's going to be RRQ leading 11 to 2 off the ah, yeah. so, uh, 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 sort of a, a change up there, there. attempted to be thrown by Bleed, but like you said, RRQ just sitting yeah, on that the pit waiting for it. Tha. And they knock it out of the park. Uh, I, I get it, right? I mean, when you're down like that, especially on a pistol, yes, you want to dwindle the numbers. You don't have enough time because if you stick the plan, you're going to have a tool. But the thing is, is the fakes just didn't work, and B-Site was already prepared. And Elmimore feeling victory close here on map one. Tate. Stands up to send a message Tate. across Tate. the stage. Tate. Or Tate. Spy has to come through Tate. for Bleed. Tate. Sheriff's in a stinger. It's all they could afford, though. So, yeah, it's not the best force yeah, by either, right? Well, well, and the outlaw as well can make quick work of this. This is made going for force by is even more difficult with this gun in the current game. What is this angle? No idea. Yeah, oh, just under that one way. He's ready for the swing around the door as well. He will eventually actually get smoked out. So, yay, not going to be able to go for a bit of a duel there. Now, continuing the pressure. There's that outside alarm bot, though. A lot of teams have been using this across the world, where it just gains you so much information early. You know that the full force still isn't there, so Xfero is still feeling safe here on the site. You've got that nano swarm that you can pop. There's that poison cloud as well. He pops it. No one's entering through that on an eco. Now they just have to back out. They have, no idea. Lurk. Yeah. they have no idea what to do. I mean, they're, they're lost, and they, they know they can't go up against an outlaw without Who's losing on at the least game? one through that push. They're gonna try to get out of the map, and this is the, the right thing to do in this scenario for sure. For sure. It's okay. It is going to be Elmi Moore with a Thank Guardian, for the hear that heart. he's gonna be left. waiting with open arms. Now, they did try to tuck a player in, this is a big one. Yeah, Dogma they went for these lurks to their heads. Yeah, yeah. Rettler can get a kill here, make sure to draw this this the action away from A. He goes what for the shot, goes, but here's the thing, there's still so many members of RQ alive, and they still don't see the peak, eventually get the kill, they see it's the Viper, and now RQ knows, they still won't Greed for this either. Left. And RQ playing it patiently. Full discipline. With the numbers, na? doesn't want to give over any of these powerful weapons. Full discipline. Arian holding close for the singer. Yeah, it's going to be predictable. But but he'll still have to go for it. Has to shut down the crossfire coming in from RQ's retake. Two members up. And only scary. Holding an off angle next to that spike. Now the push out from lead. And X Pharaoh is ready for it. He knows that they'll have to get antsy. Still one more up there. But it's going to be the swing around. Not enough members left alive for bleed. The bara ho gaya. The bara ho gaya. Thank you. Obes is going to bang this. Obes is stream left. Patience pays off in this round. Point only. Just holding. You took the gold again. On C and B. Kind of expecting one of those two sites with the weaker buy no matter what. You know, no matter how many credits they invest in that round, it wasn't going to be great for Bleed. That outlaw working a treat there for X Pharaoh. Sure, he dies, but didn't matter. Yeah, he's like, go get my outlaw, go get my outlaw. Uh, he's been doing work with it. He knows. He knows they can't Outlaws have been around because of the Sari light armor. Has that in the back of his mind. 12, 7, and 3. Jemkin also 12, 6. Elmi Moore 12, 6. Everyone 
having, quite frankly, one of the best games they've had since joining RRQ. And what a time to have it as they try to put another win on the board here in Group Omega. Of course, still a best of three, but this is their opponent's pick. And you, you gotta think with Icebox coming up next, hasn't been the best map for Bleed, so trying to right the wrong. should be a Bleed ka map hai. Certainly we see it all the time where teams are able to take, the, take their map picks off of each other, but. थोड़ा गेमिंग गेमिंग करूंगा तो एक बजे आऊंगा as they're not quite sure, they just wish that there would be a peak. Normally, RQ peaks. Normally, they overheat. Why is that not happening? That's the thought behind Bleed's head. And okay. now a jump peak and a double. And Xfero still Five stabilizes down, for eight. the second. Doesn't want to waste time on the reload. And now the cutoff on the backup as well from the rotation. RRQ perfectly pressuring the weak points of Bleed. And you still got KJ Util. Oh, no. He's going to have the info hearing all these footsteps outside of the door, but going to Play it safe. Okay. Wait for the rest of the team to get there. The right move for sure. Flips being aware of any lurks, but there are none to be had. All three members of Bleed right there. Oh, that is a great shit. paint shells. And the spam comes through the wall as well. I love the delayed paint shells. Make sure that they have to eat the damage at the very least, but the spam yeah, helps pick up the kill. Now it's just bro. down to two members. I mean, a 4v3, maybe Bleed. They had a shot, but now... Just Darion and Retla, neither at full health. The Outlaw creeping up against him as well. Jemkin will get one, and Retla gets two. Can he get a third? He gets it. The spot and bleed. Can the mirror clap it again? No, it will be Estrella that shuts it down. An absolute masterclass of a 13-2 scoreline for RRQ. Blink and you miss it. But RRQ yeah, okay. a here in stage one. Certainly have to feel like they have a lot to prove. They should have been maybe one of the teams in Madrid. They just came up short against some of the best in the Discipline world. Crazy the are, second and Discipline third at crazy Madrid are. were the teams that bested them. And this, to me, is a Discipline statement crazy for RRQ. I mean, also just shoring up their weakness as well. That has been criticized. Well, let's hear from the desk what they thought about this RQ performance before he returned for map two. Well, we think RRQ is looking better than ever. What a dominant win on Lotus, which was Bleed's map pick. That's the wildest thing. I saw Bleed's Lotus against Talon last week. That was highly, highly competitive, very high IQ gameplay because it was almost like a battle between Cruz's IGLing and Scary's IGLing. Today, though, today, though, a 10-0 start in the first half. I mean, what was that? A complete and utter lack of the ability to adapt and to respond to what was being thrown at them. RQ, incredible reads the whole way throughout. You know, exactly where players were going to be and exactly what they were going to be doing. And then also just getting their shots. It was just gorgeous play from them and then from Ma. just fairly absent. I feel like they're actually, you know, AFK. Uh, absolutely. Every single round, every single. Uh, Re from RQ side, they just knew exactly when to swing over to a different site. They just knew when to rotate, and like you said, just getting all their shots, the most important aspect of this game. <laughs> a lot of great info gathered. I think part of the reason why RQ lands so many of their shots, uh, as you can see in these post-plant stats as well, um, they actually look very well rehearsed. You can see a lot of moments where not only is Jemkin very disciplined as a duelist, he's working with a team. He's not just going off solo missions by himself. He's often working together with Elmi more. There are so many times where you'll see the Prowler being used to check and clear. Jemkin's the one following through on it, and they are able to take down players like Ye off of that, for example. Uh, there are a few first kills for Bleed, and you know, I think some of those actually come from Ye, though. But uh, yeah, sure, but they're not always translating into the round wins. That's so the few famous. times that they're able to get that advantage, which only finding this many is all you know fairly damning in and of itself, you can't get a hundred percent conversion rate, you know, from having that five v four advantage into wins. Our cube just they had the answer to every single question. It's like they had a crib sheet and they just knew what to just write down at every twist and turn. This was just brutality here.
at the hands of our acute gem can have it a whale of a time just ends up you know doubling his deaths and kills 14 and 7 for him three first kills the one that surprised me i think the most was xfero because this is a guy who's an initiator player who's playing killjoy <laughs> while using an operator, operator and he's just absolutely tearing them to shreds yampi's somewhere watching saying like, please god i need to have that i need to have that impact what I really like also seeing the two MVPs here, uh, Jemkin and Scare, are actually both of our Ascension players uh, oh, yeah. from last year. Um, you know, star Ascension players too. But there is something lacking from Bleed's side. Clearly, uh, maybe you're onto something, Achilles with Scary, just readjusting to his IGL role here and just not really making the right reads. It feels like it. You know, the two rounds, the only rounds that Bleed won, it wasn't off of like coach timeout or anything like that. They had a lot of labored moments where, you know, come, trying to punch into a site, they lose so many players. Scary's usually the last one left alive but he finds himself in a very advantageous position. His teammates might have fallen, but he's holding um, a site by tree. And because of that, he's able to smoke out. He's able to watch the spike and he covers and watches uh, and he's able to shoot down every angle. Uh, that only happens a few rounds, so that's the thing. And you, your team isn't there with you. It's kind of like, yeah, this exact moment. Whereas for RQ, the teamwork is prevalent in every single round, every single moment. Someone's, you know, going to make a bit of a sacrificial play for a teammate just to create a bit more space, just to be able to control the map a little bit better. And that's just lovely, lovely teamwork from RRQ. That's what you want to see. This team is dotting their eyes, crossing every single T across the board. Um, they, they're checking these angles, they're checking the corners, and Bleed just kind of not able to like what you said, Akilah, it's not able to adapt whatsoever. I mean, it's, it's a couple of nice moments here and there, but unfortunately that's it. I mean, you know, th that final play there from Rutler trying to save the game somehow, trying to keep them in it, that's nice. That's a, that's a solid play, that's a highlight, but it's one of so few, and the team play, you know, the rifling, it just was not there. So zero stability at all for the side of Bleed. Now we get ready to go into Icebox, which, you know, RQ, if, you know, Two losses on it, a single win. Still feeling, you know, relatively confident and were able to get a win the last time that they played it versus Team Secret just a week ago. Uh, given what we saw, you know, I was talking about with Team Secret in the previous series, I should say, hey. how devastating that Lotus was for them. And I say, like, okay, well, it's on, you know, Fash to lead the charge, to be that veteran presence, to, to rally the team together. I don't see how that's possible after what we just witnessed from Bleak. I mean, crazier things have happened, but you're right. If it's going to keep continuing on this trend right now, uh, you boys have said it many, many times, especially Achilles, Paper Thin, uh, William too. I mean, uh, full well supporting RQ and that they could have made it to champions last year. Uh, you know, it's just, you know, the performance was was there, but it was hard for them to prove it when they're going against literally the best of Pacific. Now they actually get a chance to prove it, and then they can, after off this win, you know, hopefully a, a bit of an upwards trajectory for RQ. That's the biggest thing, you know, the first map looked like a complete wash. Uh, that was Bleed's map pick, so statistically or logically, you would be thinking RQ ah, this yeah. um, anything, though, though, I do want to say, it's just like for Bleed, obviously we want to see better IGLing, I think, overall, but also for Zest on this Gecko, are they going to swap things that? around, maybe go back to a bit of like a Sova or... If he is sticking on a gecko, we need we need to see some improvements. Yeah, we need to yeah, see come back or no. Kuch aaya, tweet, tweet aaya. Gecko, but I, I don't necessarily think that shifting him off of... Well, maybe if, if you're going to have somebody else play the gecko, I think that's fine. Shifting that out of the comp, I think, would be detrimental just because it has been such a prevalent pick. It has been getting an immense amount of uh, values, you know, for the teams that are able to use it correctly uh, on Icebox. So I think that removing that you're just hampering yourself even further. But if they did want to change it up and have Zesco over to something like Sova, something that he's much more known for playing, have somebody else pick up the slack with that Gecko, I think that that could be good, but we have to just wait and see. Okay, now the question we have for the guessing game yeah, is uh, we'll be interesting to discuss because the question is which team will get the first flawless, first flawless. in map two. <laughs> so quick. <laughs> Kill this, just I mean, it's like, I got it. Look, I'm just being as decisive as RRQ was on Lotus. Frankly, when you go into your map pick and RRQ manages to roast you harder than that 12-year-old roasted yay with a sign, oh. that is not great. Right now, Three things look yep. very disjointed. <laughs> and 
I, they only, only have to get a couple rounds. This needs to be By a Buda miraculous Buda Buda. turnaround. A monster glow up. We have seen teams get bodied on their map to pick before and then be able to come back and win a series. But that's like Fnatic versus DRX when they drop Bind. Bleed are not Fnatic of last year. Ah, okay. All right. I've heard your case for RRQ. How about you, Quack? I'm actually, I'm going to determine uh, my based vote based of, on your arguments today. How does that work? I'm second chair to Achilles. <laughs> okay. I completely agree. We've seen Bleed's Icebox a few times now. It has never, never been good. <laughs> It's like they they win maybe a few rounds and then they try to recover, but it's only like a few players making that happen and everything else just doesn't kind of gel together. If any team's gonna get a flawless, based on what we just saw on Lotus, it's gonna be RQ. They've got the team we're going. Okay. I just I almost want to choose bleed. Really? Because uh, support for Singapore, but. Uh, no, sorry. It's gonna be RQ. No. <laughs> you guys have got me sold on this, but it's Valorant. I, I think and you things gotta, happen. Yeah, anything can happen. I would, I would love to be wrong. Yeah. I don't. But care about this. <laughs> no, no, it's I would love to be wrong. I would love to be wrong. I do. I want Bleed to be a big deal. I don't want them to be a punching bag. Iska pehle kabhi nahi tha, guys. Iska. So much hype. They have hired some of the biggest talent that is out there. I want this team to find success. Okay, I'm gonna. You chose. You convinced oh, you to keep bleed. Final over. vote. Bleed. Oh God, do I see red? <laughs> Don't let me down, bleed. It is. Come the on. question is, which team you will get the this. first flawless? So I mean, it could be a pistol oh, round. Oh, the first win. flawless. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, not how many so. flawlesses. And, you know. This this right, is bleed. still a little bit of a toss-up. But it, a unless they're gonna come out and they're gonna start hitting their shots, yeah. Then it feels like it has to be our game. All right, yay. Get those shots in. Get those shots in. Come on. He's on the jet again. What, what did that sign say? Blurry eyes. Yeah. Here in Icebox, <laughs> he has no more blurry eyes. He put in the eye drops. I know you got this, yay. All right, we are going to find out what the agent picks are for Icebox. By heavy boom bomb in the Looking also. stronger than ever. And bleed, they have an uphill battle ah. to get through. Truly, truly. Magnum I mean, has zero kills. We don't want to see Bleed be a But zero, bag. 16, zero, 17, uh, double. We want oh. great teams in Pacific, but yeah, same. Okay, same for now. The, the, the Viper for Scary, good. Not not Harbor anymore. Yes. <laughs> that was completely overcooked for sure. Scary is way more comfortable when it comes down to the Viper. I think that this could have an immense amount of impact competitively. But how does the rest of the team look? Things were disjointed. Retla didn't look comfortable when he was going to kill joint, which was surprising given his history on Sentinel. Um, and then Zest, how does he look on this Gecko? Is he going to be able to match up against Flips? That's why uh, same same sentiments, you know. The, the problem was not like this. The armor Viper man. might be more comfortable for Scary. But I do need to see the rest of the team step up. I mean, Zest, uh, Retla, like you mentioning, but also Ye. You know, always the big player, always El Diablo. Where's the Resurrection Stone, uh, the Soul Stone Award, whatever it is, because he has been Ay, the one to start things off. Yeah. Picks for the team. Um, but it's not enough yeah, to no. carry them over that finishing line. Zero kills I think that they have the pieces of This is all going to come down to right now. Like you have that in spades. Last chance for a bleed to bring it to a map three. We're going to go up to our casters. William Paper Thin, I gotta ask you who's going to win that Anna. first flawless. Well, the real deal here is that we don't have to play the guessing game. That's game right. Because we get to cast the game. So we'll tell you when the first flawless <laughs> happens. <laughs> and you will take blind. the rank up or the D rank. I have an answer here. It's and I want to be bleed <laughs> just so Quack and Achilles are wrong. You know what? That's so actually a good one. I'm with you on that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> all right, we're all cheering for the bleed flawless, and I think yeah, you know, a lot of fans the world right now, mind, win or lose, was a gift. Like you just want to see these don't players don't fire back a bit more. You know, cohesion, time, all of that. Sure, you're gonna need more time for chemistry. I, that's all fair, but this is a quite a star-studded roster, and to see them just not able to flex a single muscle in that Last first map one. has to be devastating for a lot of the fans. We'll see if they can bounce back. Now, RQ. On this ice box, it wasn't a clean victory last week against Team Secret. It was definitely a no. bit of a struggle. And it yeah, is for hard push that do in gold. Uh, well, I mean, yeah. Try it playing solo a lot. Really You'll get, get better. Over the duo line to easier. I mean, this is the side of the map that Bleed did do some damage to Talon on. I'm just concerned 
about when they switch over to that Here. defender side. Maybe having that Viper in there, it's going to give them a little bit more comfort. It gives you a lot more map control <laughs> than the Harbor does, <laughs> especially on that defender side. You know, those toxic screens are so, so valuable for delaying and setting up your retakes and things like that. I mean, you could try it with the Harbor, well, but it, just didn't seem like it, yeah? it was there it's just yet. And Bleed is taking their sweet One's time the trying to sell a bit of a fake and a few members biting for yeah. RRQ. It's working out, right? You draw out only more from that Sova all the way from B site, and now Estrella all alone as the lone Viper. Oh Look at this team have been already again. from Xfero. You've already got the plant covered. He will be spotted by the turret if he goes any further. For the time being, Spike Clan still has an app, and only more dancing Whoa. on top of the bridge, but that's a double kill for Bleed. Scary and Yay one each, but an immediate answer back from Jepkin and Xfero. Now a 3v2 in like, favor of Bleed. You still don't have the Spike Clan and Wingman being set sent out flips he knows that they just have to pay for time but dropping the screen Much to make sure they get cover for wingman it's going to be bleed looking strong in the pistol only creeping forward oh, risky so yeah i mean they are spread out across and on that first sight retlo will get it Chalo, bleed, bleed is there guys bleed is there bleed for the first time here in this match yeah just uh doing a good job just selling some fake info long enough that they're able to get to the site and kind of get their feet planted. And there's some big shots coming out from your big players, Scary and Ye, to open things up. That's what you need. That's what's going to get the engine churning here for Bleed. And even a little bit of a wry smile there from Zest. Starting to feel like, OK, maybe we can do this. This is how it started on their attacker side with Talon. They're able to get the win, get the Bleed follow up. Bleed best team, huh? And they find some value, all classics for the side of RRQ. Jemkin going for it. He gets the spot. That's, yeah, uh, yeah no way. That's a rough one with the classic. But I, what I love is that Bleed puts up that turret, right? They're aware of that potential push out. They don't want to take any chances. You're going to have to clear it on this eco. So now five classics on the side of RRQ. Right, yeah, you have the read that it's big. a push. But you don't have the weaponry to combat it. So now regrouping towards mid. RRQ just looking for a bit of a curveball that they can throw. The real deal here is on the map, you can see Scary holding on to Garage for B main. They've always had a rotate in the back of their minds. Continue to put on the pressure. Do we see Jerion putting out any more util on the side of A? No, it's just going to be the hold from Retla from long range with the Taking bulldog. Time take that the here risky. from Bleed. Recognizing that the A site was going to be the, the more difficult of two options for sure, especially with head. that longer range utility in your hands. Some of those right clicks around those corners, around 410 and around Nest. Gonna be difficult. A little bit of damage to EA on the turret. Xferro maybe looking for a one and done, but contact there. Trying oh, to delay, I, can't. I love this from Zest as well, right? Taps the spike on his own first to see if there's a peek out. Backs out and sends Wingman afterwards. Just great. Usage of that utility definitely looking a lot more comfortable than he did his first but time around. Pura, with that Vinar, Gekko, give him a week Gekko, to start to learn all the tricks of the trade. Huh? Retla now going for a deep lurk through tube as well. Vinar really Gekko, wants to make sure they snowball their ult economy forward. Flips is watching for it though. He'll get one kill. Retla recognizing he's been Rock. spotted. He snaps on to two. Getting comfy on the stage here for Bleed Esports. Last player standing. Bleed. There flawless. Bleed There's the flawless. flawless. Oh, there's the flawless. Congrats, Victoria. T rank for Quack and Achilleo. <laughs> so, yes. Oh, yes. Everybody <laughs> celebrate. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, my friends. We are friends, just in case any of the viewers are wondering. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Friends want to see their friends lose. I, mean, I didn't even realize it was coming up that I totally forgot about it two rounds in. Oh man. Well, it just yeah, it just it was like kind of not in your mind because it is the uh, anti eco. Yeah, so, you but know, it's you, a flawless nonetheless. Still very good. And, and Vic just came in to celebrate. Yeah, yeah, yeah Vic's hands bus it out here, ranking up on the skateboard. But of course, Bleed, they're going to need a lot more Team than that. I mean, you can get into the pistol and the anti-eco, but it's a long haul all the way forward if you want to get into that map of Breeze. Up about go. it. And being a little bit huh? proactive is RRQ, just kind of checking some of those angles, seeing if there's a walkabout. And Retla there, going to get spotted by the turret, though, so contact made. <laughs> Nobody other than the Gecko flip side are just double checking, making sure that there's not going to be some kind of pincered attack onto the A site. Instead, just waiting this out are Jemkin and Elmimore. Flips now making his way back over. Let's see 
if RRQ can hang on, they're they're gun gun down. Down. Well, they've got the nano swarms to buy time as well. You've got Jemkin up on top of the screens. This is going to be a drone that finds a lot of information. They're aware of it. Jemkin sees the spot as well. He's ready for it. So he gets the advantage over Ye. They dodge all the flashes as they're swarming over the site. And now the spike has been dropped as Zest once again trying to go for the tap. Gets picked off from long range. Tell me more with another kill. Too Scary answers back, think. but it's still a 2v4 spike down inside the site. And Elmi Moore creeps forward off of that oh toxic my. screen, and he's my ready God, for the quick yeah. two tap. Four kills for Elmi Moore. That reminds me right there they so much of what Team Secret was doing to Zeta, where they just Ooh. wait, they'd wait for all that util, uh, and after it's expended, it's like they just snap wrong. their fingers, and they are going to hammer you down. Huh? Now it helps that Jemkin hits a banger shot there on the Ye. That yeah, absolutely, yeah, that absolutely opens up the space. Kill Joy ka Still, to the size of this, Elmi yeah. Moore tucking himself in behind that toxic screen. Both yeah. utils. Yeah. The expected round win for RQ and away. And already, wow. Lo rahe, a very, very, very early timeout. I mean, I, this Nagia, is a little surprising. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, I mean, sure, you had a rough first map, but it has to be something that he's hearing in the comms, something breaking off, because from what we've seen, Yes, RQ played this very well. Yes, you might have been caught off guard a little bit. Yeah, he gets taken out early. But all in all, you know, it's an upgraded bonus for you. Then low bracket for you. Bracket for you. Or round drop in it. And perhaps Stop that's a part of it. Perhaps Nagia like feeling that, you know, the players in the server not able to catch on to the patterns quick enough. He wants to kind of mitigate the bleeding, so to speak. No pun intended. <laughs> early on uh, in this map. Nah, embrace the puns. Embrace the bad puns. <laughs> <laughs> no. It was all intended. Yeah, no, I just bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> I really just think it's, I, I, in my in my mind, if I'm the coach here, I saw what happened in the previous game, right? Yeah. I watched that ice box, and I want to get ahead of these util dumps not being effective, not being, you know, able to really see catch the targets to look where good. they need to. Sure. Finding ways to push and pull the map a little bit more. Try to bait out some of the utility of our RQ. Try to bait out some of their players. See if you can isolate some of them. See if you can do a little bit more damage, a little bit of a pacier hit. Potentially, nope, they're just going to look for, again, look for those picks. That's fine. This is a decent start. Spread the map, work the map. Something that Zeta was not really able ever yeah. to accomplish. Yeah, they were all kind of tunnel visioned on one side, just trying to change up the timings. But at the very least, Bleed trying to get rid of the opponent's util while expanding their control over the map. They've covered green already, so if they ever want to rotate, not going to have to expend too much. However, mid droned out from RRQ. Now we're going to hear it on the side right of there. Scary. Not quite sure if he was spotted. Looks like it wasn't. So Poison Cloud glows, goes I up. Spike and RRQ jara. decides to just regroup. They're aware that there might be a late lurk. So the Gecko goes back. But it's been a regroup over to B. Now Nano Swarm's not popped just yet. This alarm bot not destroyed yet. One way comes up. And Bleed, they're going to dash in. And Yay is spotted. All this utility already took so much damage Pura on damage the way in. Kills. There is a trade. The kill joint now taken down. And Scary already hai. holding the angle under the one way. Sent, rather, for that spike plant. It gets taken down. Spike now stranded. 30 seconds. Right left. outside of the B plant zone. Retla in a tied 1v1. Jemkin eliminates him. Now a stabilized 3v3, Recon spends a little extra time, 20 seconds, Shock Dart out to delay the plant even further. All three members of RQ have arrived on the scene. It's a quick oh, kill shit. for Elmi Moore. Scary answers back. You have to stick the plant. Elmi Moore takes out Scary, and he's going to get the triple. 2-2 yeah, tied up for RQ. Yeah, last couple rounds, Elmi Moore having a ton of success. Seven kills in two rounds for him. Gets the Hunter's Fury available. Really good patience. Tremendous patience from X Pharaoh on this. Uh, him and Estrella just it's waiting silly. this until the last po possible moment to pop their mollies and shut Gay down. And then this lurk accounted for by Jemkin. Retla just a step too late to catch Jemkin in the back. And what can you say about RQ? It seems like they're just so well mentally prepared yeah. for all the situations that yeah, they can run into on this map. Yeah, bleed. Oh, I think that's huh? some good things in that round. It's just yes. not enough. Yeah, that's true. I mean, definitely looking a lot better with a game plan here on Icebox compared to their own pick on yeah, Lotus. Yeah, we need to So sure, it's early on in the game. We've seen a lot of 2-2 scoreline. My next score round, line. so what? I'll take get go. I'll take. Head on an instant, but this one's going to be a tough round to make that happen. As it's all sheriffs, they spot the op. Yay! Doesn't want to deal with that. It's going to be a quick rotate all the way over to A, but they'll have to make it speedy. 
as we're going to start to see the rotates coming out from RQ Bye. shortly. Hey, Operator on the main map slowly hey, receding hey, away hey, from B site. Meanwhile, just holding on to screens from the two initiators. Thrash, Thrash will be used as well. Bleed wanting to make sure that they can take as much space as possible to set up for the post plant. But with all Sheriffs, what's the most ideal scenario Shock here? Dart. Shock Dart's coming out, and so is Andres Fury. They want to deny the plant to make sure that they can go for a flood retake. The zero point denies any more shots out of that ultimate. But now RQ has all arrived, and they've got the weaponry. The Dizzy will hold them at bay for the time being. Darion already down. Now Nanoswarm's activated. Wingman trying to buy time to clear out the site just a bit further here for RQ. Estrella gets another shot on that double peak. Three members left for bleed, all pushed out away from the site. Retla gets one on the push out. There's the Mosh, but it's just outside, it seems, as Shemkin will be able to stick the defuse. Well, a few consolation kills at the end of the round, but it is going to be... Now the problem is that Kills also gave it to him. So it won't be this round, but the next round will be able to get it. Like, I feel like I'm watching the same game that we watched earlier on Icebox. I mean, it's the exact same kind of strategy. You use the Hunter's Fury to delay. This blind is good. The blind is good. Dodge all the early utility. The Thrash completely wasted. Not, you know, it's not like it's not a good idea. It's not like you don't want to use that to clear the space and do those kind of things. But RRQ is a step ahead of you. They know that this utility is coming. They they expect it, and therefore they're just playing outside of A. They're over in mid by Boiler, just chilling, just waiting, and there's no pressure on them. They can just wait you out and then just flood retake. So, bleh, what are you gonna do? I. I mean, we it's see tough, it so man. much, yeah, on this map with these comps that the strength is the double flash, the strength is the util dump. You just wait for it. That post plant gets a yeah. little tricky. So Bleed now trying to work the middle of the map a little bit as well. Maybe give themselves a little bit more breathing room with a Lurk or at least some extra pressure. And RQ, their thought process is, let's just clear it. Give the site the once again. Sure, there's a pit and scary scary hand, but tomorrow. we have Thrash on the side of Flips. And RQ, they clear out mid, no right Lurk remaining for the time. So now all eyes set on the side once against again. Gekko Alt is very good. See the Alt Util Dump once again. Had so much used. Mosh, you see the flash drives, you see the Dizzy. There's a zero point and now a pit goes up. The Thrash, what's the timing on it? It's going to be used before the spike finishes. Yay on the outside. This is going to be crucial for RQ to be able to try to clear that out. Scary will get one kill onto Umbimor. Now Thrash already expended. Scary holding on close inside the pit and back. Starts back out. Yay getting one kill. He gets traded out immediately, but the uh, pit Still stays alive. Scary's outside of it. He dives back in. He is all over the spike as RQ cannot find an approach. Bleed finally stabilizing and resetting the round score as Estrella. Very healthy on the side of RQ. He wants to do some damage. Try to get up to that by first pit. He'll get a couple extra points for it. Yeah, this is pretty well drawn up. Scary. The scary wins them this round, round with his this position and with the way he places the Viper's Pit because he knows there's the Thrash to counter it. Attack he stands on top to of the box and places it from there so the Thrash can't get up to him or at least make it easy to see him. Only more is trying to follow that Thrash in to see if he can catch anybody. Nobody home. So this is a really good read from Bleed. That's what you need to see here. You want to see that bounce back. You want to see these counter ideas. Okay. So well thought out. Right and here. now you've got the Blade Storm as well for another shot and the Null Command. So RQ, <laughs> perhaps expecting a fast push. They want to meet him outside of the base site. Next turn, be look back. He's not going to quite jump in for that early, but yeah, they're ready for it. They send in the Util, the Molly, and the Shock Dart to deny an early push out. Now Jemkin. Oh, yes, that's up. That's an op, man. Yeah, he's going deep. He'll, he's spotted by the turret. He'll just shoot it. Just lets him know that this was an op setup. Then it's a reset for RRQ. But you suspect Defense that, that might be the weaker side. Still, they're going to try to go against the strong side Attack. of RRQ. Blades out for Ye. Trying to bust this through. You do have the null command for Darion as well. Yeah, it gets used immediately. There's the dash out above. Just trying to push them back, making sure you have the sight lines. Good entry in from Ye. No kills just yet, but Darion will find one me. on a swivel right outside of that toxic screen. And they are trying to take so much space, and they will be rewarded so far. But Elmimor just drops out a nest all of a sudden, and now Bleed Whoa. surrounded. They cannot catch the Sova on the side of RRQ. Recon oh, okay, destroyed. Yeah? But a 3v3 off in the hands of Jemkin. And surely bleed. They don't want to peek out into this, but only more. So close, Zest has no idea. He has been creeping up. There's the pit. How are you going to defend this post plant? 
The peek out from Scary. Tap hasn't happened yet, but Scary knows that there's more than one ah, member. Pre. Another 4K for Elmibor. Elmibor Elmi is on one right now. He is just running these By rounds God, over. Just spectacular play. Spectacular oh, awareness. Yeah. Spectacular timing. And having that Viper's pit. Do pick me I love what Bleed does. Man. Good, it's a good push. It's a good clear for space. Trying to get ahead of Do things. pick me lata. is having none of it. His, he's so clean. And he's just a step ahead of a couple of these players. Bro. That is filthy there, that last kill. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, he seems dialed in. But quite frankly, you can't really blame Bleed too much. How many players just choose to drop out of nest uh, like that on your own to hold onto the site? On a drop against two members that you know already broken through the site. Very few. Yeah, it's one of those moves where just one second too early or too late, and it looks like a silly one. Look where Flips got completely unaccounted for, but he's already going to back off. A little bit wary. That may be overstayed oh, as well. Okay, the late scope in, but both of them whiffing their first shots. The Jets will just back out. Don't want to deal with each other. Both of them giving the respect that on a repeak, either of them could win. This round's so crucial for Bleed. Their economy on a precipice of being turned into another eco. You do have the lockdown available. However, yeah, Hunter's carried a counter to lockdown already, as well. Here for RRQ, so plenty of tools. Ooh. Yeah, the lurk spotted from both sides. But Xfero, quite frankly, just wanting to know if there's a lurk at all. So he'll be happy with that information. Meanwhile, Spike still so not planted on the A site. Flips is already inside the site a little bit. Clears out screen side with Wingman, and he starts to creep up. Destroys the opponent's Wingman as well. So Spike still wingman. stranded inside the site, and Ye realizes where it came from. He'll go for the clear. Elmimor trying for a trade, gets one. Now the lockdown. Spike still stranded, mind you, so bleed. They have to have an answer. If they're going to back out, they're going to start to run out of time as Elmimor just sends the Hunter's Jury. Wants to make sure that they can stay inside, and the lockdown will be okay. destroyed. Oh, I thought for a second there he might have missed it. Oh, Jemkin yeah. as well with the operator. Going to uh, take down Retla. Yeah, this is one heck of a reset on this round as now you have to creep in towards that off. And yay, he did spot him on that swing around the corner, but not able to land the headshot. Ten seconds left. Scary will do his best. But as you mentioned, a crucial round that they need to win. And time is running out. RRQ just has to stay alive to get their fifth oh, round win in the first whoa, half. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think now Again, they go with 6 3. In the bag is kind of what tilts this towards RRQ's way. They have the Hunter's Fury huh? to counter that lockdown. That is one of the important factors uh, to consider in the agent compositions. You know, you don't have an open hand. You shut down blade storms, things like that. You make your executes a little bit easier, but it doesn't matter. When you're playing as smart as RRQ is playing back, getting Jemkin into position where he can do some serious damage with that Appa as well, buying him some time, buying him some space. All of those things working out in RRQ's favor. And now Jemkin being aggressive with this op. Now, once again, it's just a fast push out, trying to hide away from that turn. The flash lands long blind, enough. He thinks blind. he might not push on it. Right We've here. seen some players eating There's flashes and having the confidence. This time, it doesn't pay off. Jemkin Short will pay for it, but Elmimor is truly the superstar of this map as he goes for another opening kill. He's going to snag that operator and juggle it back. Oh. Just off one kill. Oh, no. Oh, Flips. Flips finds one. He is a bit stranded on his own, so Dizzy will have to be spent out. Red Let's Love one at a time, but Dizzy lasting just a bit longer. Estrella catches sight of one, catches sight of two, realizes he's trapped. Back up, not in time just yet. But Poison Cloud, Xfero, how does he reset for that? Moving to the side, resets six for three, the headshot, six, and three. now you know, uh, bleed uh, stranded on B main. Six, two three, sheriffs three. and one Vandal available. You do have a thrash for Zest, so done a good job of getting those into his hands, but now you're looking at a difficult crossfire. And with the talk screen coming up, it's just going to be a sneak bite and a bit of a spray to gain some information. Slow me, Panisore, bro. still clearing left. out any of that lurk. And Bleed will start to creep in closer. Yay. Trying to hold these close Spike angles planted. right under. Be a curveball, a wild card, a joker that RQ does not expect. Let's see if that wingman spots him. Oh, yeah. It's bouncing Monster back. It doesn't quite, but Elmi Moore will catch him at long range remain. with the operator. And here's the flank Bye. from X all the way around mid. Flips. Nah, will set nah, the nah, first. nah, 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 Beautiful stuff from RRQ. Tremendous patience from Australia. Playing his life so, so nicely. I mean, Elmi Moore just 
by a fast crazy a push ho jaye you know throwing himself out there to make huh? sure that he can get that op juggled back nice bro doing all the right things at the right time you know flip ne abhi tak maarna chalu nahi kiya bhai zero pe lekin team che round se chuke hai yeah yes he's the dizzy to get out but so what flip bhai ne do kill mara to bhi kya ho jayega bhai 10-3 timing on the lurk i could see zess watching for it i was actually very keen on the zess but once that Ye went down. He had to turn his attention. Had to throw the thrash in to try to make it go. And Ye oh, just ran. Oh, and they read this as well. The push on to tube. The spray oh, down for Mixfero. RRQ is just leaps ahead of bleed in this best of three so far. It looked like things might stabilize a bit, and Zest will do his best to do so. But uh, tell me more. Now all the way up to 18 kills in the first half. Nearly two kills per round for the Silva of RRQ. And they uh, they stopped the plant too to make matters worse. Yeah, it's stranded once again. How many times have we Four seen bande. this in this first half? Under tube se ja rahe hain. Right. He'll creep forward and he expects it. Yeah, that's a triple high, low, left, right. It's everywhere. And RRQ will continue the lead. Bleed looks like they had a good reset in between the maps. Abhi tak flip nahi But now they're facing off against an Omni more that is fired up and Xfero that has the read. RQ, perhaps this is the type of play, the type of potential that a lot of their fans have been waiting for. Hey, imagine flip if oh, yeah. zero I kill mein raha, or flip jeeta. So flip or Jesse, banter kar sakte hai. Jesse, teri team kaise hai? Tu zero kill pe tha, tabhi tu hara. Lekin mere ko dek, main zero kill pe main jeeta. Zero kill banter. Same as you remember those old DRX pushes underneath too, where they would fast hit and plan on the top. Yeah, the jet flies up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not quite the same, but. Had a little bit of that feel to it. It just is again, right? So well, it's you know, just boarded at this point of attack. Yeah, honestly, like you mentioned, it's a good variation, variation of that mid. Yeah, right? it's not all in under two, but you send the jet above to be your scout. Mein mein to... You guys can still walk through your own poison cloud. But at the thoughts to it, it's just that RQ reads it. I mean, they just know that something is coming in. I don't know if it's true to you quite well that it was always going to be up on top of the two, but you can see the game calls for the time out, but... It's stressing him out as they are now down. Or what? Two people anymore. Two people are dead. Or three, three. Wingman is dead. Again in the first half. Yeah. We'll see if this time it's enough to try to stabilize things. This was the strat was seen. Kind of regain a heart. Then usually problem is that the bridge slow is going to be very punishing. And boy, oh boy, we're seeing two games today with. Zero kills on a player, but very different tones for sure. Yeah, you're gonna need a defibrillator to get this heart going again. It feels <laughs> like, dude, it is. It I is mean, maybe rough. something like an ace, right? Something. There you go. To really get you going. Yay, guardian ace. Love. I would love to see it. I'd be so happy. Yeah, guardian. Yeah, oh, guardian no. ace. That sounds good here for Blade. Yeah, they've been taking yeah. so much space, and yeah. now yeah. It's, it, it, it keeps getting left in the corner. But this is also RQ understanding, understanding that with the broken buy, they can't yep. play a full spread out default. I, this is a risk yeah. that Gem can take, but a very yeah. timely yeah. one. Yeah. Yellow being given up relatively free. Estrella just hiding. They think that yellow is free. Eventually, they swing around. But it's going to be the rest. The trees are just there. Elmore and Xfero. The duo continuing to rack up more kills onto the scoreboard. We talked about it, but the ace not going to happen in this round. And it's going to be Xfero this time with a 4K. The third one for RRQ players in this half. There's a chance to make this 8-4. As one side of this, it's about to get this over to an 8-4. You corrected some of the wrongs. Uh, yeah, that you showed yeah. against Talon on your so defender side on this map. Try to There's still hope here for Bleed. I, I really do feel that way. A and they even won the Eco against Talon. If you think back to it, Talon won the first pistol, and then it was the Eco sure. win by the follow and the follow-up round as well for Bleed. But after that, they did not win, win a single round in that half. So certainly looking Look, to get this over the line. Chilling at least you've got a full purchase. Still have to deal with this operator. Still have to deal with some big alts coming through. Hunter's Fury gathered oh, by Elmimor. Yeah. Lockdown as well in play. It's going to be tough for Bleed. This is a very, very tall order. The op there as well. Well, you don't have your ults. It's online. Another flash. It spots Jeff. They know they pushed him off of the box. So they weakened up just a bit. But Bleed, they've tried this before. They think just by pushing the operator that RQ will rotate. And this time, Jem it's King actually the reverse. Deka. They'll just send the operator Rest. to the other side, reading that bleed Pace will most likely go for deka. another shift onto the B side. They're pinging deep here. They're expecting this. Absolutely. Offset up outside of Snowman. 
Gets spotted by the Dizzy. He'll have to back out. Respect the Toxic Scream. But what in the world? The oh, Hunter's Fury catches Ratla. Oh, seemingly inside the tube. Now pushing pass into Snowman. Yay, we'll try to open yeah, up the site. They need to get the spike down. They've dawdled for so many rounds. And again, the spike is dropped in the middle of the site. Lockdown activated. Yay, stranded in the middle of it. No exit whatsoever. There is no room in the corner. It is too much distance for you to escape. And eventually, you will be detained inside your own pit. Flips trying to run in. He spots one. He knows he's just buying time for his teammates to come back in. Xfero gets one. Pit drops. Where oh, is Yay? Xfero tapping the spike. Doesn't quite see him yet. He God. expects it. But Yay getting the ever so needed technically, four round win. It's an eight to four score line. Yeah, it took everything in the kitchen sink. More timing to get that round. I mean, it's a tremendous deep push by Yay. Uska. Set up Kildjaka. nicely by the flash, but it still Kildjaka. never really Kildjaka. felt Kildjaka. comfortable. I think Elmi more kind of overheated Kildjaka. a little Kildjaka. bit in that round. He might have went for a long range Kildjaka. kill. Was a little ambitious, having to repeat that angle, but I mean, he was feeling it, so <laughs> it is what it is. I, I'm not I mean, going to got a player nearly 20 kills right in the first half. You can't really blame him, I guess. Yeah, buy the bleed bundle. Yes, please do. Buy all the bundles. Yeah, all support. the Pacific bundles. Yes, all of them. The Americas and EMEA ones, are, they're kind of yeah. cool, but they're you know. Okay. If yeah. you want to. I mean, you, you do you, but yeah. as long as you buy the Pacific bundles. I mean, I'm sure Leviathan got a bump today after cool. I was just drop that 47 bomb but well, that's true even 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 uh Depp was deciding to bring it out earlier so yeah. you know you gotta like it but Some fans of the korean casters as well out in the yeah. crowd Been inside of it's extended yeah. Yeah. i am too still just think about yeah, we've, got, we've got a good spread of casters out here on pacific on really what these teams and players can do and you know everyone used to joke about pacific they're still far behind etc and i think now with things getting a bit more competitive, and maybe some of these games getting harder to read, look, a lot of eyes on here. Look, we're one best of five from being the best region in the world. <laughs> Three okay? times, four times. We are one best of five away. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> we're so That's close. <laughs> I mean, listen, DFM has really caught the eyes of all the coast streamers oh, yeah. around the world. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. You better be paying attention. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's a DFM fan now. Yeah, <laughs> you want to be there when it happens. When DFM wins champions, you want to be there. You don't want to miss it. <laughs> Everybody's now like coming out of the woodwork and be like, I was always a DFM fan. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> well, it's going to be a fast hit this time. The same up on top of two, but this time on the pistol round. And RQ, they've done this a couple of times in the past as well, where you just plant Jemkin and then it's the main force elsewhere. They're happy to put their duelist on the lurk. Jemkin hoping to outdo Retla. Retla, though, tucked himself in behind the box. Still, Jemkin gets the better of him. Yeah, just on that second shot, bounces right up to the head. Now, now scary. this. RQ recognizing that it oh, might no. be a yeah, push yeah. out, and Scary can't land the first shot. So crucial. Okay. If he could have gotten just one Ten kill, four. even backing out, allowing for his teammates to pinch, but no, it will be the death. And now a 4v2 advantage for RQ. That's that's a heartbreaker. Oh, the ayahs come out. From there it Clint. is. There's the ayah. Oh man. Ayah. Well, at least. Uh, split up. Darion, just checking for mid. Zest spots one. Now they've been spotted. RQ trying to see if the other one's gone the flank around, and the dizzy sent out, but it's closer than Zest thinks, and they just cannot get the pinch. The reload, and it's the <laughs> shot start. Tell me more. Just so has to now get a kill by somehow bouncing the recon dart with enough velocity. He'll got a kill with almost everything in this game. Yeah, but can you headbutt somebody with the owl drone to get a kill? Just like, I mean, 24, 14 rounds. Ridiculous by this guy. He's having just an unbelievable match. Uh, just so we are clear, Flips also still has zero kills, but maybe it's just because LB more stealing all. Doesn't matter. It just I mean, sometimes it doesn't matter. You're right. Who cares? I guarantee Flips does not Jeez, dude. care one. Bit that he has zero no, kills. not at all. Not at all. Well, may maybe a little bit. Yeah, maybe one of the percent at all. <laughs> well, well, you know, kills or not, RQ definitely feeling good about this match. Can challenge abhi bhi ho hai. So abhi far, the outlaw back in Shiro's hands. We saw how much damage this thing can do on both maps. And he'll just start to creep forward, clear all the angles for his team. Holds that as and the drone clears Is out all the close little cubbies. And B main is clear. 
gonna be tough. You do have a Marshall oh, that's on the other marks. side of the map. Damage done to Scary. Has to back out. It's just the DK and Shock Darts to clear the corners. RRQ looking to set up a potentially comfy post plant, but they're really Scary taking their time here. They're, they're sensing a trap. There wasn't any Didn't contact really. Even a little bit from Scary, so you're you're worried now. And I, I think RQ might want to pull back and try a different sight. They're gonna go for it. Oh, they wait for the screen to go back up and then immediately goes down as they start the plant. Draws out everyone from the woodworks to bleed. And now only Zest remaining with the bleed classic. He can work some magic. Things might look a little different. Couple members low, but Xfero is the one with full health. Watching out from afar. Not quite checking the right angle. And Zest will try to swing to the kill for Xfero. That could have been a little bit worse for RQ. Uh, that, yes. was, that took a little bit longer than I thought uh, that they would. You know, maybe just feeling confident. I expected them to kind of pull the trigger on that plan a little bit quicker. But again, it felt wrong. So they had to hold up. Still eventually going for it. Yay, good for one with the marshal, but immediately shut down. He's the been phenomenal with the sniper rifles for RRQ today. Doing a great job holding angles, being that backline support. Even in that case, a little bit right on the, the plant site. Holding it down for him. And now a lot of half armors in here for Bleed. So that outlaw could still do some serious damage. Still clearing out these angles on B. And boy, oh boy, that's a lot of vision gained by Xfero. He'll get spotted, doesn't mind at all. Knows that if anything, that might create more pressure for Bleed to leave one person on the anchor. The Toxic Scream going up as well. Now RQ, they think they've Bleed sold this fake far. quite a bit. And maybe they have after waiting a couple extra seconds as it's been absolutely silent yeah, on the A-site. Yeah, Banana dark. swarms have been cleared out by the shock dart. Jemkin gets the first kill far away all the way to the back corner. And the Bosch pushes him out. Retla at least trades for one. By flip commanded the place. Crazy. This is working so well. Uh, Ye just walks into Elmi Moore's guns. I think he just has to clear screens first, sure, but it's too many angles for you to clear alone. Ye goes down and bleed. It's a 10-4 score line. You don't have creds, but you feel like you need to flip call your way flip. on this anti-bonus. Flip! And they will not be able to get Darion. Please. will have to save this rifle. I really felt like Bleed had a good Mar lead on flip. this round. It felt like they were going to be able ja, to get this win, But they never got competent. It just seems like... Oh, they, boy. Jeez, I'm feral. Uh, but it, it just never felt like they really understood the timing in the situation all together. You know, there are a couple players playing on site and there's a couple players playing back. They either need to decide we're going to play for full retake or we're going to try to commit to preventing uh, the spike plant or at least disrupting the execute as best as we can. Neither of those happen. It, it's completely disjointed for bleed. They, the map read is correct, but the tactical read is not there for them. And that's super concerning. Elmi Moore with the Hunter's Fury has Guardian, a challenge as yeah. Bleed knows that they are on their last legs. <laughs> I think yeah, Bleed don't want to give up match point. You want to play for it. It's going to be the early util, and Ye's already ahead of it. That's the start that Bleed needs. Taking out Elmi Moore, cooling him off, takes away that initiator. Now Darion holding close. He sees the gun rally. He's waiting for him to peek Dark. out. He's patient, and he will be rewarded. RRQ, Look couple by, of their time. tendencies, could, the weakness tendency starting to show where they start to it. try to just okay, answer MVP back, they love to the fight, the bleed Ab, use that against them. Yeah, it's so Ab funny, ja. yeah, I know it's also taking a page out of RRQ's book there, Flips was pushing that angle all the now time, it's time to in the previous half, and so they're huh? saying, well, we can do that too. And now we've got these Guardians go with flip. these cracked aimers, should be able to put them to good use, and they have so far, the real question is, is even with a 3v, we have we have to do this. So, somehow, some way, so like going to move on way back time into this. I mean, especially looking at the hold right now from Bleed. Huh? Yeah, you're holding a bit of a crossfire, but it's within oh, yeah, the oh, site. Yeah, oh, yeah. have clear really quick clear exits yet. Darion will be able to spot x first. They both get spotted, and Darion calls her back up. There's a crossfire. Let's and trade. And RRQ now only two members remaining. They will get the spike plant. One point towards that thrash for Flips. He's up to four. Hello. Coming in from Ye. You'd have Estrella wary of it. If he can get this kill and regroup in time, RQ might have a shot, but Ye misses the first shot. But he knows they have the numbers advantage. Let they just need to buy for time. Flips cleared out in the site. Now you can start to push pull back in towards the site. As you start the defuse attack for it, Estrella swings out, but he won't connect to the second and bleed, trying to catch up with their fifth round win. Now, this this is looking good now for bleed. Starting to work the map a little bit more, being a little bit more patient. 
you know, off the rip, obviously the aggressive push works out. Goodbye, Best love you. you know, Ye taking his time, not over aggressing on that angle, not giving up a free kill. Starts out hot. Gets Darion into position. A little bait and switch at the beginning. Retla hitting some good shots, so the Guardians are going to come through. They're still up here. Still Darion trying to keep him in the game. Zest has an ult, Darion has the null command. Elmi Mort still with that Hunter's Fury. Right now here. you have an opportunity to start to change your destiny a little bit. See if you can get that economy going. See if you can stop this momentum that our seemingly has been building throughout this entire match. Yeah, if you can just cool them off, right? Start to gain your own momentum. We know that Valorant is a very streaky game. And Bleed hoping for the best of it. As Ye, the only one holding inside the site, but he does have an exit prepared right around screens. Mosh coming down, he's trying to clear the mollies. Just trying to let RQ know that there is presence on the site. Jemkin sees where the shots are coming oh, from, fuck, though, mother. and he is trained in. Takes down El Diablo, and Jemkin holding on to the site, Bye, the wind the wind the wind the wind the wind now we see RQ moments away from creating match point. Against Bleed Esports, Thrash will have to be used. Bleed, they don't want to let this go away. They clear all the close corners, but they don't quite find anyone detained. Jemkin will go for the drop. He's trying to fake it out. Scary on the lurk out. He finds it. Estrella with his gun Let's down. Go. I'll be down to be Jemkin now fighting for his life. Dodger's Fury coming in. Elmi Moore catches one. Blade! Another no. He's instantly just going to have to buy for time. A quick pass through the toxic screen. And RQ. A triple kill for Jemkin. <laughs> I mean, Ye just overstays his welcome there a little bit. Should have just backed off, waited for the reinforcements. You know, Scary's able to catch the lurker. But then he's caught to catch up to Jemkin, and Jemkin's just moving silently. Scary has to hook it and try to press, trying to get into these deep post plants. You know that there's mollies and lineups for days that are going to be behind this spot. And it's just great positioning, great map awareness. I love the way Jemkin navigates all that utility. You know, he's able to dodge the thrash, work on down, and here we go. They're pushing hard, and they're taking a lot of damage. Everybody, yeah, Ye got everybody. spotted by the zero point. Thinks he might be able to still sneak in, but that zero point doesn't quite cover pipes, so it's immediately spraying through the wall. There's a close drone. He tries to swing on it. He can't get to, as there's still going to be the crossfire. Zest only dropping the opponent's gecko. So he'll trade for trade. No more win at this round. Stereo yeah, maybe to give up this position, Please. finds one, but doesn't land the first shot. He knows he has to back off. Yeah, maybe he can't come. get a weapon upgrade. But right now, your life is ever so Please. valuable yeah, maybe as you hold on come. to another flash drive and a fragment. Can he get this? It looks like they might be trying to body block that fragment as well. Doesn't look like it would have worked. Still going to destroy that lockdown. Yeah, nice, nice lineup. I like the thought from our Q. Try and put it in a different position, but Darion with a good lineup with the fragment. Flip now, full forces, forces of our lineup get stream on it. Trying to man. clear if there's any nanos there were. Jemkin going to get up on the rafters, see if he can cut PG3 off his PG3 position. Set up a dangerous crossfire. Yeah, this is so much space as well. Only more on top of Ness, and it's just so late regroup for B. They're aware they have to clear every single possibility. They're trying to jiggle onto that nest. It's going to be given up by Elmi Moore, but he's back on the box. Jemkin now hiding on the side. Elmi Moore eventually gets traded. It's still a 3v3 as Bleed start to approach, but they can't quite clear Jemkin in time. It's a one-for-one -one trade. The pit still up, but it's going to be Estrella far back away from the side. He actually starts to creep in towards it, trying to hold close. This is absolutely unread by oh Bleed. They have no idea that he's still moved on into the middle of it, and Skier will find him in the last moment. But time is ticking away, and RRQ will get a 2-0 victory in their first match of week two, getting another on the board. It's beautiful, it's clean, Valorant from Bye. RRQ. The game plan, immaculate from Ewok and company. Really looking good, and a, a big sigh of relief from, <laughs> from Flip. That was uh, <laughs> definitely quite the joy. Did he end up with zero kills? Yes, I, yeah, I think that's part of Bye. it. He said zero kills, Who so cares? if they didn't win it, that would have pumped the fight of back. <laughs> what the hell is going on today? I mean, this might be another record where a team is winning so one-sidedly with one player having zero kills, but it's not the Jet, it's not anything else. It's your Sova that goes on a 30-kill rampage for Elmimore. Was, was <laughs> RRQ like... Just switching places I'm with Zeta today. I don't know. It's like it was so weird. Like 
it, it was just kind of like a tale of very two similar stories because we saw the same maps. That's we saw, true. Like, similar play in terms of how the maps played out in a way, except for Lotus, which is very different. But I mean, a two zero kill games from players. I mean, not again, a very different result for RQ. <laughs> but it, I mean, I wouldn't care at all. If I'm I clips. mean, I'd yeah, like, as yeah. an IGL, you got to be happy that your reads were correct. No one got to keep up the the man. Man. Hey, Jesse, it it's over. time to leave well, your team from our, from our and fight a and new team because to break it down zero pe aap ho. There is a team who is zero in GT. On zero Jesse kills, like but on shot. this match timeline, it doesn't matter huh? because RRQ like finishes dominantly in a 2-0 fashion against Bleed. Crazy, this is their time like crazy. to shine. <laughs> it really is. Tell I mean, me more was like wiping the sweat from his uh, oh man. forehead. Huh? 20 plus kills for this guy as the support is gonna He dropped 30 by the end of it, yeah. I mean, that's, that's the funniest thing too, it's just like, we flipped rolls and flips ended him still on zero kills. Uh, but he is a true MVP because the calling, the, everyone doing their job on this map, it, it just shows zero so much in RQ's prep work, the coaching from zero Coach kill Ewok, map They knew exactly what they had to do and they did it right. It was just... Basically, Dream Team is going to be every player region according to you. Coming away from this match and not having a uh, three of the maps would have been a cause for concern Four because they do, you know, they do. expecting a lot from this team coming into this year, William especially, <laughs> uh, diving on the grenade, <laughs> not predicting them to, to spare them perhaps, but, you know, this, this is a team that has an immense amount of talent, the, the hype signing of Jemkin, etc. They have to go up against Jemkin twice in kickoff, they push them, they take maps off of them, how do they look up in kickoff, minor struggle. Hey, Vore! Benji Fishy, Benji Fishy, Benji Fishy. Ye team chiye mere ko. Poster by Tens, Forsaken or Benji Fishy. Bas. Samajh rahe ho? Arya jite har din me ek kula post dalunga. Bas, mera ho gaya. Kya bolte? Tibon by. Flat fit. Yeah, Kuru ya Tibon ke saath. Tibon last friend gone. Tibon by sub. Ek match me kulunga, ek match wo. Sare famous bande ko le raha hai. Bhai shout out milega bhai. Har ke jeetne wale ko bazi kar ke the shout out milegi. Benji Fishy ek side dekho. Sab log ko wohi call rega. Tens bhai ap ek side dekho. Benji Fishy bhai ap ek side dekho. Baaki ham teen chilling karenge. हर मैच हारा तुम जो भी ट्विटर पे पोस्ट करोगे मुझे टैग कर देना बस लव यू सिंपल चलो गाइस जाता हूं अभी बाय 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 आई नीड रेस्ट अभी तो मैं सोने पाऊंगा एक घंटे बाद बट रेस्ट चाहिए एक बार कुक कुक आके चले जाए होपफुली 9 बजे तक मैं रेस्ट लूं और 1 बजे आ जाऊं ट्राई करूंगा 1 बजे आने का ताकि थोड़े गेम्स हो जाए ठीक है 12:30 बजे ठीक है गाइस Bye 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 chat adios chat me padios take care good nights milte hain raat ko heavy matches dekhne theek hai chalo aaj demon one maarne wala hai demon one hone wala hai aaj chalo guys bye 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 take his care good nights aur pick up watch party ke baad jis din ek watch party rahega us Hello. Bye 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 bye.